Dragon Con is a writing track, and all the content in that track is focused on writers and writing. I see. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Does that sound good? Let's put a little more bass on that. A little bit. That sounds better to me. What do you think? Just put a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to blow out people's speakers. You know. Yeah, this game is a great soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good too, Randy. Uh, oh fuck! I always forget when I click outside. This game is old, so it still does that. You know. No lemon. No. This was a remake of Wanderers from East, which was a side-scrolling action game on a lot of early consoles. Mm, it makes sense, I watch. You'll see. We're just about to get right back into it. We were here in Eldurm trying to climb it when we had many technical oh, audio issues. <laughs> Dude, Darkit. Thank you for 133. And Randy. Got some Golden Sun and Legend of Dragoon votes. Still in just chatting, says Brian. Dude, Brian. Solid save. Solid save. Let me let me fix that. Actually, mod. Can we have a mod put me in the retro category? I want you want to test the new command. Do 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 do. You tend to ignore what? Ah! Excuse you. Well, that guy was rude. What's the trigger? Um, I don't remember. It's in the mod chat. I don't think I pinned it. <laughs> uh, scrolling. Oh fuck! What was it? Who remembers? Who remembers? Do, do, do. Sorry, we usually have more mods here. I know one of them knows. I don't because I don't mod, right? I just like stream. Here, I got it. I got it. Uh, D I R, and that. Yeah, that's it. You got it. It's penis. How'd you know? How'd you know? Hey, it works. It works. Teamwork. It's teamwork. All right, let's go. So yeah, this is a PC only remake that came out in 05 initially in Japan only of of East 3. Um, and then it later got localized and released on Steam like I want to say 10 years ago. And then, I think voice acting was added to it just a few years ago. Is my understanding. So this has voice acting. It's really good. The combat's really fun. The music's great. Yeah, mods can change the category now. Yeah. Because we keep forgetting to leave just chatting, but Brian there, great catch. I forget almost every time, like legitimately. That's why mods asked to see if we could make a command for it. Ooh, excuse me. Those guys hit me every time. I have yet to learn how to kill them without damage. Elephants, Randy, are your favorite animal. You love how intelligent and caring they are, despite having the size and strength to be pure chaos. <laughs> Conspiracy track. Is that a Magfest thing? Wow! Wow! 
Ah. The only thing I know about Magfest from people in this community is there's a lot of thirsty people that go there. For whatever reason, they chose to focus on that facet. And not the other stuff. <laughs> Like, all right. Nice. I didn't take damage. Dude. What if I just like, I've already done all of this. What if I just go? Oh, I start taking tons of damage. Apparently Maybe that's not the best play, huh? I just got PS1 ASMR. Dun, dun. So let me balance this better. Thank Adol you. Adol was able to jump more than 30 feet in the air at once and was questioning why he was wasting time being an adventurer. He traded his sword and armor for a basketball and jersey and went pro <laughs> in the Felgana Basketball Association. Mm -hmm. How'd that turn out for him? You know? Hell, Darius. <laughs> Thanks for 100 bits and the uh, backstory about Adol here. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. It's still hit. What's hitting me? I was nowhere near it. Those things don't make any sense. I leveled though. That was cool. Ow. Yeah, we've already collected like all this treasure. We just need to get to where we were. So last time I was here, my mic kept cutting out. I had to end stream early. It wouldn't stop. We later figured out why. Seemingly. No issue since. But that was like a three hour Discord live stream of me trying to diagnose it with the help of some people in the community. It was a vacuum tube in a channel strip. If you know, you know, but apparently those die a lot. I had a spare, so I should buy another one now that I don't have a spare. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. You won Kirby merch? Nice, Chibi. Clinical Insomnia. Played Rock Band and large projector screens. Dude, that's really cool. Whole half of one of those three warehouse halls dedicated to pinball machines. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I did years ago, I watch. I don't remember any of it, but... When it comes time, I'll look for the same ones people said to use. There's specific ones they said are better for this. Uh, you can't get TTS with just one bit darkens. It's got to be a hundred or more. Sorry. Thank you for the bit, though. Oh, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Wait, I don't know if I got this. Uh, I did. Okay. I did. I love that you can get double jump in this game. Look at this. How cool is that? I want that money. Bouncing. You need a spanking, Randy. Thank you for 29 bits. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ice physics. Get me out of here. Okay. What'd you vote for? Golden Tide. What Darkens vote for? Legend of Dragon. <laughs> really? 
really? Fart, 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 art, art. I said fart, 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 art, art. Sometimes I do feel like farts are art, so it's relatable, okay? It's relatable. Farts can be art too. Right, chat? Ba -na 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 -na. Got that. Just trying to get back to where it was. You know? Some farts are definitely works of art. Chris knows. Chris gets it. It's just another kind of instrument, you know, that has an, an aftertaste. <laughs> you know? Makes sense, right? It wasn't letting one of the cheers through saying try again later. Weird. I've seen that before on my end. It's really uncommon. Oh, the timer's actually accurate tonight. That thing was off a lot lately for some reason. That's good because when those ads start, I'm going to get more water and maybe heat up some tea. This is dryness. It's from fight. It's fighting me. <laughs> It's fight me. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, the ads have begun. I need water. Really bad. <laughs> really bad. Oh, my mouth is so dry. I'm like, I have water. I'm just going to get more. I'm going to get more water. Okay. I'm going to get more. And heat up tea. Yeah, let's do that. Also, thanks for the bits.
Job done. My tea's heating up. Someone chat. If you could all be kind and remind me to go check it in like five minutes. Because I'll forget. <laughs> I'll forget. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yo, what's up, Rico? You say cats are your favorite? The kitties? The kitty cats? That's mine. I might die again. Maybe. This is going really poorly. This is going quite poorly. <laughs> this game is just on normal right now. And I, could possibly go wrong. I, I still get my ass kicked. Hold on. That was like blasting my ears out. Hold on one sec. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, I got to lower that. Sorry. Okay. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Okay, I think this is about as far as we got. So now I gotta play it safe. I gotta play it safe. Thunder. Ooh, okay. This mouth dryness is really messing me up. Ooh, we got a safe point. That's good. That's a, that's a heal. I wonder if that means there's a boss soon. Your favorite animal is man. The real monster. Okay. All right. Did you see that? What did I just do? Wait, how do you do that? It was like I jumped off the map. Do that again. All right, never mind. <laughs> it was weird. It was like flying off the map. I just want treasure and secrets. I don't care about anything else. Here we go. I've been waiting for you. Who dat? Is that the wizard thing? This guy, yeah. Burn to the ground! <laughs> I never thought you'd return from that hell. What's more, you've communed with the spirit of Genos himself. Yeah. I can no longer allow you to live. That's not up to you, whoever you are. Ergo. You shall die in the embrace of the Furies. Who's the Furies? Their purrs can help their owners. Oils in their fur can keep their owners healthy. I never heard that. I've heard that the, uh, heard, right? Ha! Ah! Oh, like actual the Furies. Okay. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, one of those doesn't like wind. I think it's this one. It's not that one. <laughs> Which one did it like win? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh God. Gotcha. It's just the green one, I guess. So use the same color and the right thing. I'm almost dead already. Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup, the Furies. <laughs> This'll do it. <laughs> oh, no. oh, ah. Ow. They just say I went down quick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. What a jerk. Ah. You believe that? Check my tea. How <laughs> are you watching what we're doing here? <laughs> oh.
This game, you can't pause in boss fights in this stupid game. Oh, thank you, Chibi. You very kind person. Just a reminder, I want my tea. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. I gotta recover magic. My 38 hit points here. Are they still working on live action power puffs? I didn't know that was a thing. Freaking rude. Oh. oh, okay. Mission found. We'll get them next time. Are there no healing magic items? Not that I know of. No, I don't think so. And this is just normal difficulty. It's not hard or nightmare. Can any of you beat this game on Nightmare? Because that would be dope to see. These games, they are ruthlessly hard. All right. I'm not going to sit there in the land of unpossible nonsense. So I just reloaded. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, yeah, exactly, Sumo. I could have left you all there sitting there listening to that or... Yeah, let me go get my tea. I found a pee pee. Mm -hmm. Banana. You can beat any game with your rubber mallet. I want to watch that. Can I watch that? That's the best way to handle Superman 64. That's wise. Yeah. These tea bags are. You get what you pay for. Sink! <laughs> Go! <laughs> you would play a game based on the never ending story. Did they ever make one? Was one ever made? How cool would that be? Except for the part with the horse. I don't think any of us would like that part, you know? Too soon? I've been waiting for you. Oh, right. This doesn't have cutscene skip. Like, I could totally see, like, some early 90s point-and-click adventure game being made based on it on, like, DOS. Oh. Ooh, excuse me. I never what's right. Egg. Artax, no! Poor Artax, you know. Ow! Stay away! 
So much bad touch in this fight. Zach! Was unnecessary damage. Keep those music notes away from me. Gotcha. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. Whoa. Oh, jeez. This is fine. Uh, uh. How do you dodge those? What the? F <laughs> wow, he went down quick. No, he didn't. Oh, Jesus. Those things are rude. I see, Sammy. Hello, Dark Gamer. Can't see or hear the video. It's always something. That felt that sucks. Hope she can figure it out. Ooh. Ow, Jesus! This game is so hard. Here we go. Nope. I was trying to knock her away from the center. So I'm not really sure what happened there. That was a little odd. Let's try it this way. Oh, just kill her. Hell yeah. Ugh. Dark, get that up. Suppose you could help her with that. I don't know if you two are in close proximity or not. Aren't they supposed to get easier as you take them out? That's what I thought too, but here we are. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go for the blue one instead of the red one. I don't know what happened there. All right, blue one's gone. <laughs> wow, he went down quick. Oh. <sighs> oh, man. <clears throat> There's a text-based game for the never-ending story in Commodore 64 in 1985. Wow, SOG diving deep. Interesting. Spreading the damage is the move. That's not a bad idea. You know? It's not a bad idea at all. What if we just get rid of the blue one first entirely? Like, just get the blue one first, right? Spread the damage. Cats, Mandel. Hi, Mandel. What is Orin Quest, Mr. Aridan? What is that? Did that hit me? I think that missed. Uh, 
too close. Four hit points. They're like homing missiles. Oh. Dude. They hit really hard. Yeah, and I have good equipment too. All right, blue one first. I like slappy strategy here. Get rid of the blue one, then spread the damage in the last two and try to kill them at the same time. I think that's the best way to do it. Dude, stop homing it on me! <laughs> oh, these things are so mean. Oh, that still hit me. Damn. Doing okay on hit points. I think the franchise may have been Sammy. Yeah. I think the East franchise may have inspired elements of Crosscode. We can do it, chat. Here we go. What the fuck? Oh, the hitboxes are so janky. Yes! Let's go! Disappear, you impure people! Woo! Impossible. How can you command <laughs> such a GG! Oh. GG! Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chibi. Thanks, Lemon. We'll go with that, Sammy, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Randall. <laughs> Perhaps. No. It can't be. Where are you going? Oh, he always runs. It's a love him and leave him kind of NPC. I'm gonna go save. We got a convenient hand to dandy to save point. Mm -hmm. He left the oven on at home. <laughs> That's what it was, huh? Okay. Oh, come on. These things are very rude. Okay. I still have yet to figure out how to like fight these without damage. Maybe we do that. Bait them. Let them land and then hit them. Let's try that chat. Also, if you see treasure, yell at me. Be like, get the treasure. You use yell emotes and everything. It's a lot of fun to try it. There's a house. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. Let's go in the house. I'm gonna go on top of the house. Okay, let's go. Oh, look, there's a treasure chest. Where? Hmm. Hmm. Fiery red hair, clear black eyes. They're just as he described, Adol. It me. My name is Burhart. I suppose you could call me a hermit, though I'd prefer you not. The muscular man, Ginger Chris, not just any. Since arriving at my cabin, Dougie's done nothing but speak of his journeys with you. I assume you've come to see him. Did he just call him Dougie? Interesting. 
Yeah, I didn't know if it worked. Yeah, it was specifically for that purpose. <laughs> Lemon. <laughs> Somebody sound requested it for that purpose. To tell me, there's a treasure. It's like, oh, cool. Adol explained the circumstances of his visit and inquired about the legend of Genos. I see. Dogi expressed similar concerns, though it seems things are much more urgent than I'd assumed. Am I the only one hearing him say doggy or Dougie instead of Dogi? Very well. I'll tell you everything I know about the legend. Lord up, let's go! You've heard some of the story from Mayor Edgar, of course, and I you can it? verify that everything he told you is true. I'm not alone. I'm quite familiar with the rest as well, and indeed, all of it is entirely factual. None of it is myth. Ages ago, a demonic creature called Galbalan drifted ashore in Felgana and assumed control of the entire land. Imagine just like living your life on an island that has had a civilization for like centuries and then a just demon floats ashore. Where did it come from? <laughs> and yes, eventually a warrior named Genos did indeed defeat the creature. Things are never quite that simple, however. The I like story that art. Continues. I like that art there. You know what would be cool to improve this sequence if it showed like like the demon in the distance, like floating towards the island. After he defeated kind of like an ominous Galvaran, foreshadowing. Genos used the power of four statues known as the Holy Treasures to seal him away. Have I heard of Australia? Yeah, I didn't realize that demons randomly floated ashore and took over the entire continent. But, you know, I didn't have geography classes when I was a kid, so... That's where that knowledge gap comes from. In essence, since a being of that caliber cannot be destroyed so easily, Galvalan was shackled, imprisoned. Genos later wow. hid the statues in the most inaccessible, inhospitable places he could find, far from human hands. To ensure mm. that the power sealed within could never be released, he appointed his descendants to watch over them. It would seem the statues you found are indeed those same holy treasures. And for some reason, the vile power they're meant to contain is leaking out into the countryside. I don't know if that's true, J-Rock. That looks a little sus to me. Have you seen the size of spiders there? Pretty much demons. I don't know if I can argue against that. <laughs> I believe that's the reason for the monster attacks over the last year. Perhaps it's all part of Count Maguire's evil scheme. Whatever that may be. He's probably deluded himself into thinking he can use the statue's power to make the monsters do his bidding. I want to know how Count Maguire took over the country here. He was just like some random guy that showed up. I don't know, Bob. That's pretty wild. I wouldn't be surprised. What's up, Lee T? How you doing? From what you and Dogi have told me, it seems highly likely that one of the statues is here in the Elder Mountains. Dogi went deeper into the caves in search of it, hoping to get his hands on it before Maguire does. Maguire. If you intend to go after him, and undoubtedly you do, I'd suggest you hurry, because I'm sure the chase is afoot. Okay. Let's go chase feet, apparently. That's what we're doing, okay? Can I steal anything from your house? I'm a hero saving the world. Ooh, there's stuff. But, uh, okay, he's just repeating right there. The voice you hear in the mind is this Genos the hero himself. Okay. The bracelets were his too. Holy sword. I want a holy sword. Who's got a holy sword? 
Gabalan's power is seeping out. He doesn't want to talk about Chester. Huh. That struck a nerve. What'd you get? You got my champ. Cool. Cool. <clears throat> what the hell is that thing? It looks like a lever from Zelda. Remember those? I did get my tea. Thanks for asking. I did. You fool! I've already converted everything I wanted to background objects. Yeah, that's the the true foil of any hero in an RPG. Convert your belongings into static objects, and no one can steal them. They're not dropping healing items. This is a crime and I need to file a complaint. Okay. Ow! I need to level or they need to drop healing items. One of those need to happen, okay? That didn't work at all. There is a terrible healing item, but can I get over there? You see that treasure in the distance? Hmm. We got to figure out how to do that. Like that. <laughs> wow, you could go really far when you do that. Interesting concept for a game. <laughs> GG. What? Converting things into static objects? Oh, you know what I should do is turn these things in. I have a quest item. Complaint noted, complaint dismissed. Listen, all right? I want to appeal, all right? I'm going to file an appeal. Getting an NPC to convert something it needs from a static object. That could be interesting. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. I got to give them to this kid. Really? Really? Yay! Thanks, Mr. Rattle. <laughs> I don't think you have enough here, though. Damn it. I'm not sure how many we'll need to save them all, but it's more than this. Appeal granted. All right. Feels good. You know, feels good. Justice. Justice. We've had the justice. Where's the, the merchant guy? He just kind of left, didn't he? Oh, it's the mayor's house. I don't know where the merchant guy went. Maybe he's in the, the inn. No. The guy that wants ore, right? There's a guy that wants ore, and I have a bunch of ore. I have 313. You can look in the bottom. See it on the bottom? 313. Welcome. Also, waifu. Hello, waifu. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Mm. You're you you're double fired, Sumo. Okay, you're just double fired now. I've got big tits. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. <sighs> Welcome. Amulet. Spirit necklace. Sixty thousand fully revives, but only once. Don't be a stranger. This game doesn't have healing items. Isn't that wild? 
Okay. Back we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Back we go to Elder Mountains. What's up, Salmica? Sharnica. Mm hmm. Okay. What the hell hit me? <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, those things. Do, 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 do. Yes, this game does not have healing items. It's pretty wild. Mm, I need to find more of those herbs for that kid. So I can heal his... Pig chinchilla things I don't know what they are they're interesting though big chinchilla things ow ow I'm already at half health wow this game just ramps the damage up on you all right we're going this way Woo. I remember doing that chugging healing potions nonstop in Diablo 1 and 2. Those were like the main things I would have fixed with those games to make them better. Because a lot of the time they just felt like specific enemies you fought were just potion chugging simulators. Crap. Seven hit points. Good. Oh, we're in trouble. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> Man. I feel like I'm missing something important. If I'm getting my ass kicked so quickly but maybe not these games aren't supposed to be or known for being easy at least not the 3d ones that'll work still hit me somehow Okay, that one didn't. Good. I love Diablo 1 too. It's just, that would be the one thing I would change to make them better. Don't make them so reliant on potions. I kind of like the way uh, Path of Exile did its potion system. They're permanent items you hold. And every time you use one, it uses charges from the potion. However many, depending on what the potion does, right? And then the way to get more charges is to kill enemies. So you can't just like use them nonstop. But they also don't, you know, go away after using them. So you could have like a potion that's like, oh, it recovers 100 hit points over four seconds or whatever, right? Okay, forget those guys. And then you could have one that's only like 80 but it also gives you like 20% extra defense while it's at, while it's healing you. To date, that's been the best potion system I've seen in a game like that. Are there other games that do it differently that any of you can think of? Like ARPGs or games that use healing items like that? Yeah, that's Path of Exile, Selnica. 
You like that new global Twitch emote, Lee T? I'm glad they finally added a global animated emote. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to fight that. Okay. Ooh, I leveled. What is this down here? Like it lets me go down here. I don't know why. There doesn't actually seem to be a point to it. Unless I'm missing something. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, can I go up there? I can. Okay. What was the point of this? I, I don't know. There wasn't one. Okay. I love how far you can go if you do that, though. That's so cool. Yo, Bitwizard. What up, dude? I was your stream last night. Doo -doo. Diablo 4 uses charges on a tool second. Two second cooldown. Killing enemies or opening chests has a chance to drop a potion charge. Huh. That's pretty similar to Path of Exile then, yeah? Sammy? You almost finished Sweet It in 2? How's Ease? Really hard. I like this game a lot. But I know it's very niche. This game is very niche. Ah! Where'd he go? Those guys disappear a lot. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Oh, there he is. Ooh, that's good damage. Ow, he does good damage too. Nice aim, Adol! <laughs> I want to see where that blue bar goes when I kill it. What? Where'd it go? Do 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 do. A bear. Oh, okay. That was pretty good, actually. Not too different. They took a number of things from Grim Dawn and Poe. That's fine. That's why competition's important, right? Everyone can learn from each other and then try to make the best. Ooh. Did you like four, Sammy? You almost... So, oh, what are you going to do after Sweet It in 2, Bitwizard? I still got to play that one. I just don't have it. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm actually going to do about that. Oh my god, what the fuck? That was a large insect. That was an uncomfortably large insect. Okay, don't fight those up close. Oh, uh, we got multiple paths here. Okay. I'm going to go back the other way. Mm. Ha! Got him. Got him. One of these is going to lead to treasure. That's what I want. Overhead strikes is one thing you wish they didn't bring from PoE. What's that? 
You're gonna do Breath of Fire 4 or Final Fantasy 4. Ooh. Those are some two good choices right there. So I guess the question is there. Uh what the fuck? That thing invincible? Okay, let's not fight whatever that thing is. Because it seems to be invincible. As you can see. <laughs> Good, we got ice physics. No! Nope. No! Nope. Give me those! Nice. Oh, Jesus. We're stuck. I think we're dead. Yeah, it won't let me move. Doesn't let me move. <sighs> so, yeah, I guess the question is between um, Final Fantasy 4 or Breath of Fire 4. Are you going to go for. Well, one's clearly way more popular than the other. But then you also have to weigh which one do you think you'd have more fun playing? Do, 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 do. Give D4 at least another year, if not even until first expansion. Right now, it feels like an open beta. A lot of balancing going on. Not as rough as D3's launch. The real money's all cosmetic. Gotcha. Yeah, what happened there, why I died, is because the quote-unquote ice physics in this game was broken. I just had infinite reverse momentum there. There was nothing I could do. There we go. Give me those heals. I'll take that level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just forget all of these things. Chad is the treasure at the end of the hallway. <laughs> Breath of Fire 4 is a super nice looking game. Breath of Fire 4 is probably some of the best pixel art I've ever seen. Maybe I could do the overhead stun on those. Well, that doesn't last very long. <laughs> Overhead strikes is a mechanic from PoE. Wind up attack with massive damage if you don't manage to get out of the way. Hmm. Is that a new thing in PoE? I played it like a year or two ago. Now, granted, I didn't use every single skill possible, so it could be a thing I just never used and didn't know about. Giant, gross, flying bug. looks like there's something up there in the past few years gotcha there's a big thing with boss mechanics 
I didn't do any end game stuff, so maybe that's why. What, what are you doing here? Adol told Dogi all about the events that had led him to the Elder Mountains. Dogi. Man, you've been busy. The master filled me in on a few things too. And I definitely think we need to get all the statues before Maguire does. Yeah. But, as you can see, we seem to have reached an impasse. Like, a big-ass gorge kind of impasse. <laughs> I mean, I can get across there easily. Do, do, do. I've searched everywhere else, so I figure Eldrum's statue must be somewhere on the other side. But, wouldn't you know it, you'd have to be able to fly to get over there. There's gotta be a way. You think so? Yeah, I wonder. Oh no, I did it the wrong way. Darn. Shoot. I want a treasure, okay? Welcome to the world of death and ice physics. <laughs> I'm here for treasure. Fuck everything else. Do -do. Whoa. How many hit points did I have when I died right there? It was like instant. Must have been almost dead. What? Oh, okay. It's hard to see where I am sometimes. My depth perception's all off. Oops, wrong way. Gotta go this way. Okay. At this point, with how much I'm dying, I'm not gonna fight anything. I'm just gonna ignore everything and see what happens. Ah, what the hell is that? Oh, it hatches flies. Okay. It's kind of gross. Do, 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 do. All right, we're going to talk to Doggy again. Doggy. Doggy? And me. What are you doing here? Uh, you know, living. Okay, I'm trying all the buttons. Told no cutscene skip. Master Phil, but What's up, HQ? Favorite animal is the Tasmanian devil. Your dad's Australian. They're endangered. I've searched everywhere else, but facial cancer. Wow, that's pretty wild. Do I have something for? No, I have nothing for the ice physics. Thought there might be like boots or something, you know? No. Give me the money. <laughs> Give me the money, Lebowski. That's not even money. That's not even money. I got ripped off. What the fuck? Stop going that way. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. That was unreasonable. <clears throat> it's down there somewhere. Let me take another. <laughs> Contagious cancer. Wow. I didn't even think that was possible.
Ah, what the fuck? That did a lot of damage. Rational got the joke. He knows. Do, 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 do. Go! I don't want to fight giant flies and ice physics golems. All right, here we go. Nice moves, at all. Could it be weak to magic? Only problem is, possibly. they don't help me in the slightest. I can't possibly join you. Uh, wind didn't work on it, and I couldn't hit it with fire because I kept missing. So it might be weak to fire. But with how it just knocks me flying every time it hits me, it's not worth fighting. Fire. Yeah, that's messed up, Bob. Guess you'll have to go it alone from here. Oh, but before you do, there's something I meant to give you. Here, catch. You better not drop it. Oh, God, my butt's on fire. Nice. <laughs> Commands the power of Earth. I can't wait I to see what this does. That while searching the mountain caves. Oh, he's just responding to the. I noticed it looked like the other two bracelets you were using, so I, I figured I'd hold on to it for you. Well, thanks, All doggy. All right, show stealer. I won't hold you up any longer. I can tell you're rearing to go. I'll be waiting right here for you, bored stupid. So make sure you hurry back, okay? Okay. All right, we got a new uh, elemental attack. Uh, okay, hold on. It's too high. Wow. Okay, it's really good on those guys. Really good. What the heck was that eyeball thing? <clears throat> There's a fork in a bath. Ooh, what's that? Oh, we can finally break those. <clears throat> doodle, doodle, doodle. Technology. Wait, so I can do that in other broken walls in this game, except I don't remember where any of them are. Oh, Jesus. I'm going the other way. <laughs> uh, let's see what's over here first. Oh, they don't get hit very hard by that. No, it's on fire. Shit. <laughs> oh, I get my butt beat. Where'd he go? There we go. What the hell was that thing? It's dead. That's what. Oh, fuck yeah. Nice. Not only did we find a save point, but we powered up the uh, new ability we just got. Let's see what it does. Same thing. 
Same thing. Question mark? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was pretty good. That was definitely a Chozo moment. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, that does some work, doesn't it? Ba -da -da -do 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 -do. <laughs> oh, fuck, where am I now? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, is that an ad break? Okay. Mm -hmm. Did it imitate the Metroid item get? No, we think Metroid imitated the ease item get. That's the working theory right now. <laughs> it's a good question. Oh, you're talking about the sound effect in chat. My favorite racing game? It's a good question, Juno. Hmm. Sec. This game does not let me. Uh, there. Does not let me all tab. Uh, let's see. Favorite racing game. That's a tough one because I don't really like racing games for the most part. Hmm. What is my favorite racing game? Um. Maybe the PS2 Gran Turismo or one of the first two Mario Karts. Maybe one of those. Hydro Thunder. Arcade game? No, I don't like arcade racing games. Cruise in USA. That one was fun. That one was fun. It'd be three or four. I'm not sure which one then. I thought the first three were all on PS1 though. Maybe not. Burnout Paradise. Yeah, I didn't play a lot of racing games. So most of these, I'm not gonna even know what they are. Oh, probably the original Mario Kart. If not that, then it was one of the Gran Turismo's on the PS2. Forza Horizon 4. Is that the new Forza that came out? Huh, Juno. Okay. Gotcha. It was probably 3 then. I don't think I ever played for Gran Turismo 4. Makes sense, Sammy. <laughs> it was probably Gran Turismo 3. But I think I like Mario Kart better than that. Speedboat racing game. Oh, I definitely never played that then. The only Gran Turismo's I've played are the first three. Uh, yeah, that would have been it. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I wasn't really ever into the genre. So it had, they had to be exceptional to get me to play them. If that makes sense. <clears throat> like Gran Turismo games, for example. Oh, this is a bad place. Well, that can help me move around here, at least. A little bit. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, there you go. You can get a little momentum with that. <laughs> where am I? I don't know. 
This ice physics den of hell. That's where I am. Oh, jeez. There. Do do. I forgot that this game has some of the worst ice physics I've ever seen. Katamari Forever with the best racing games. I've only played the first Katamari. You're mostly into ones that have an in-game economy. Makes progression feel good. <laughs> he tried. He tried. Oh god. Oh my god. The <laughs> How's it going? Uh thank you for the gift sub. Thank you so much. Stop going that way! Fuck! <laughs> Ugh, I hate this shit! Oh, don't you found that new statue? Uh, no, I didn't find it. Dun, dun. This isn't even ice physics. This is just insanity. Like, look what it's doing. <laughs> what is that you were playing, D? Mist beyond the mountains. Ba -da -na -na -na. Look, look what it's doing. Like it's, this is like infinite ice physics. <laughs> oh my God. Statue where you got the upgrade. Yeah. You mean the, you mean the checkpoint? These a mod. Yeah. It's been a mod for a while. These just here to cause chaos. Let's be honest. That's, that's why I wanted her help. <laughs> I wanted her to get people, you know, get people uh, reacting to her goofiness. And, you know, I, let's be, let's be honest. I didn't know what I was getting myself into because I just got a gift sub to PP pee -pee in the poop hole. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what's up, Jay Boogie? Twinsons? Vasatech? How you folks doing? I have no idea where I am now. We're very lost. I think that was a treasure I just missed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're back in it. We're back in it. Peep me in the purple. Oh, this That one took some creativity, okay. That one took a little creativity, so. These enemies are the worst of all time. Ooh, a treasure. Let me get it without dying, maybe. There's so many of those guys. Oh my God. Stone shoes. Those better do what I hope they do. Okay. There's a treasure chest. Fuck your ice physics. Let's go. I can play the video game again. Yes, let's go. And a Kios raid. <laughs> so cute. <sighs> oh man. Kiyoshi. What did he say? He said Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi. Kios, thanks for raid, man. How you doing? You going to TwitchCon? Or no? I'm trying to see which of my friends are gonna be there. 
I am almost dead. We need to use this. Yeah. Twitch relies on the reporting system for everything. So if you see something sus and you don't report it, no one else does, then nothing's going to happen. That's how it works. Key on restarting. Hello. Fellow fellow viewer of Kiyo's Little Monster. He did some cooking today after 15 kicked your booty butt. Oh, no. How do we prevent Kiyo's booty butts kicking? Is that what that said? <laughs> <laughs> wow, how about a hype train? Thank you, Anonymous, for the gift sub to come on the magic school bus. We got some D gift subs. Kios with 33 months. You legend, man. And then Anonymous, a kind, mysterious benefactor. Sam. <laughs> Sam. Oh my God. No clue who Anonymous would be. We have no way of knowing, honestly. There's no way of knowing. That's which I like. People keep their anonymity with that kind of thing. Only like Twitch can know. May or may not be D. Could be anyone. Could be anyone. A comment will disappear. They all will, won't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all will. How about that? That was pretty slick, wasn't it? I bet you're jealous. You're not jealous. It's okay. It's okay. What's over here? Other than sip. You're all making me thirsty, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> do, do. Today was a great guy halfway through the second act of Diablo 4. You enjoying it? Kios, are you going to go to TwitchCon? Kios? If anyone's new here, by the way, hello. I'm Phenomenon. You didn't know how to say it. People here like chaos and weirdness and you know i just roll with it because you get all these little bears <laughs> you spent over a thousand points hell yeah chaos i'm very lost by the way we're very lost ow oh that does a lot of damage Do, do, do. Story as you invested? That's good to hear. The story's greatly improved over D3 cinematic. Nice. <clears throat> See, did he answer? Oh, he may. Maybe he had to raid and run. Maybe he had to do the raid and run. The self post stream self care. Do, do, do. Can you use a spin attack as a double jump? No, I just use double jump as double jump. See? The game already has double jump. There's too many bugs. There we go. I think that thing was spawning them. Do, 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 do. 
Zip. Two point five jump. No, it doesn't really give you any extra height. It just gives you extra distance. That's it. We're probably gonna die. You know what? I don't want to die. Yo, thanks for the hype train, everybody. <sighs> four sumps. Appreciate it. Thanks for the four sumps. I think it's this way. Maybe. Actually, I'm really confused now. Yes, 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 yes. It is this way. It's this way. And then we're going to fall. So we don't have ice physics now, so we can actually look around down here. Eyeball things are scary. Maybe I'm easily scared. Although if you've ever seen me play a horror game, you would know that's pretty much true. I'm very easily scared. Ow. Ah! Okay, let's go. Boo. Ah! Got me. He got me. <laughs> Professional peed runner. We're going to play that again, Sammy. I got a copy now. If you don't know, I have a copy of Silent Hill 1. You kind of miss the Horror Nights? I... I don't. I don't miss the Horror Nights because they just felt like an obligation. But I like some of the games that I got to play from them. Because I got to experience Silent Hill franchise, Fatal Frame. Um, as far as what stands out, those stood out the most to me. I can't remember most of what else I played. Not offhand, anyway. Here we go. Oh, I almost missed that jump. This better lead to treasure. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did do Layers of Fear. No, I never played Alien Isolation. Observer? That was good. Observer was really good. That was really good psychological horror. <laughs> I guess that was the wrong way. Ugh, okay. Let's not do that again. Subnautica wasn't even from those streams, though. That was just a next list winner. That I had no idea was going to be that scary. It was way too scary. Okay, cool. Now I know where to go. Is it this way? No, 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 no. This way. This way. Okay, we're well now we making progress.
Hellblade? I don't think that was a horror stream either. It was just a game I wanted to play. And yeah, that one messed me up. I wonder when two's coming out. Have we heard any news on Hellblade 2 yet? Okay, forget these enemies. Holy crap. Too much going on. Oh, I thought that was a ledge. I'm going down there. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> All right. I actually don't know where I am now. I think this is a new area. Whew. They're pretty good at the mazes in this game. Oh, it just looped back up here. Okay. Two different ways to get to the same spot. 2024. You recently started an RPG maker made horror game and you're loving it. What is it? it? Seems like an arbitrary restriction key, but hey, live your best life, right? Kios! He's back. Maybe he can answer now. Kios. Kios. Hey, Kios. It's using Unreal 5. Oh my god, awesome. Hey, Kios. <laughs> I have a question. If he's listening, he may be doing his night, his lurk. Might have to do his lurk. Do, 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 do. What? Oh, okay. The background was throwing me off. Okay, this looks right. Multiple paths. What's down here? You guys do too much damage. Look at that. Wow. I had like a hundred hit points and then just dead. All right, now I gotta try to figure out where to go again. This way somewhere. Hellblade 2 will be on Xbox, Steam, and Game Pass. Okay. So Steam clearly works for me. Pocket mirror goldener. That name just seems like four unrelated nouns. Like, what is that? What's the name of the game? Three more days till BG3. Yeah, you and Mandel are both like three days left. <laughs> Super hype about it. It's pretty awesome. I keep thinking like, you know, like my brain with new releases it's like oh yeah we can't be spending money right now on that stuff and then i realized like, like i got it the early access of it two or three years ago so i mean i should still right like i i own the game so i'll get the whole thing when it comes out yeah yeah i keep forgetting oh i don't have to buy it again <laughs> you know it's like oh all right you need to upgrade your 1660 Ti. I mean, I'm still rolling on the 1080 Ti that I have. I don't have monitors that can do HDR, and I don't really care about RTX, so... I haven't had issues with any games. Even Cyberpunk on that 1080 Ti, so... Pocket Mirror is on point. Pocket mirror, goder, 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 
Sounds German. It does sound German. Yeah. Go to Neutrum. Most big titles suggesting 2060s. Hmm. You know what indie game I was curious about taking a look at was, uh, I think it's called like viewport or viewpoint or something like that. Has anyone seen that one? Yeah, mine is the top of the line 1080 Ti. Like it was one of the best ones you could get. BFA. True Fighter 6 was giving your RTX 2060 frame issues. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played True Fighter 6. The newest games that I played on max, basically max settings on my like modern games. We'll say modern games, right? Because it doesn't count indies. They don't really tax your system. I played Cyberpunk and Elden Ring on this 1080 Ti, like basically max settings on both, no issues. But like, I have a 1080p monitor. I don't use HDR because I can't. And they're capped at 60 FPS because I stream. And it adds a lot of annoying complexity when you try to use monitors that are not an even multiple of Hertz with what frame rate you're outputting on a stream. So 1080p, 60 FPS, max settings and all those games, zero issues. You've heard good things about Baldur's Gate, but you haven't watched any gameplay yet. Uh, it's very much a D&D &D RPG. So if you're into that, you're going to want to try it. If you don't like D&D &D RPGs, it's probably not up your alley. Do, 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 do. It's German and it means golden dream. Oh, hi, Fanacut. I was wondering if we had any of our German viewers right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use 3080. I think that's it, Rational Viewfinder. Yeah. Where you like, you take a picture of something in that game. And it like encapsulates whatever you photographed and then you can like place it somewhere else in the 3d game space it's trippy and really clever yeah yeah it does not look cool i was thinking of trying that oh people already have stopped willingly paying it i watch the install base for like 4,000 GPUs right now is like 1%. <laughs> it's so comically low. Getting used high end last gen is fantastic because you can get cards that are literally still under warranty. Hmm. You find it amazing. You've seen it, Chibi. Have you played it? If you play a lot of World of Warcraft and you like the Earth Silent Story elements of D&D, so you'd probably enjoy it. There you go. Yeah. So if you enjoy that, there's other games you could look into, like Divinity Original Sin 2, um, the uh, Pathfinder, there's Kingmaker and Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, and then if you want to go older, you could have like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, stuff like that, if you've played any of those. Kios, okay, round three. Maybe I can catch him this time. Kios, are you there? <laughs> Third time's the charm, let's go. Your friend played viewfinder and a camera controller. Yes, Nico Hart did play it on a camera controller. <laughs> and Elden Ring, and it was awesome. Consider muting the voices. Uh, is there any way you can uh, elaborate on that without any spoilers, Juno? You were watching Willow play it two days ago? Yeah, it's cool, right, Sonica? Do, 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 do. I can't catch Chaos. I just can't catch him. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to send him a DM. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This is funny. Chaos. Here we go. I'm going to show you what it looks like. 
I'll show you what it looks like. You can actually see. <laughs> uh. There you go. That's what I sent him. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Carry <carrying> on. <laughs> Could be a one or two stream game viewfinder. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't sleep. Oh, I hope we can get some at least some banana cut. Mm. A humble bundle of what? I can't check without muting the fucking game. So. It drives me nuts when games mute just when you click outside of them. Like, they need to stop doing that. Well, there was, I think it was just the thing that happened with old games. Do, 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 do. Jesus, dude. Okay, fourth try now. <laughs> fourth try. Let's try this again. Oh. <sighs> I've been trying to talk to you since you raided, wise guy. <laughs> uh, your brain is like melted, dude. It's fine, minus two. Are you going to TwitchCon? You may have answered me, and I was just I didn't see it. You want an old D and D PC game, Anomaly: The Temple of Elemental Evil. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that when it came out. That was like early 2000s, right, Andrew? Viewfinder added some narrators people do not like to listen to. It's mostly just the writing that's awful. Huh. Are you sure you're not talking about only up? Because that one definitely has that. You are not going to TwitchCon. Oh, because you did that Japan trip finally, right. You'd feel awkward at TwitchCon? I mean, same. I've just never been to one, so I need to. I'm not gonna lie, you would be the last person that I would think to feel awkward because of your, like, freaking awesome personality. But I'm also not trying to diminish that experience for you, so. I understand. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Big conventions give you anxiety. Uh, they don't bother. Like, huge crowds don't bother me. I used to work in the sports security industry. Because you're invisible in a huge crowd. Nobody... Like, nobody's... Nobody sees you. They're all just trying to go where they're going. Social settings give me anxiety. Mmm, 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 mmm. What is that thing? Well, that didn't do any damage. Okay, we gotta get rid of that fly. Okay. Now it's cronies. Ow! Alright, forget those. They shotgun me. <laughs> forget them. You'd rather spend time and money going to RPG Limit Break? I'd rather do both, personally, but I can't. Yeah, I remember that now, Andrew. I never did play that one. It's the mental process of rendering so many people you get overwhelmed in groups of 10 or more. I Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say oh because this is how it is for me it should be for you i'm just i was just trying to relate to you how i through my own anxiety am able to reconcile huge crowds i hope that makes sense 
Kios has seen how nervous I get in person around people. Kios knows. I hung out with him a lot at RPG Limit Break like four years ago. Yeah, I hope you do, Salmika. I hope you're able to do all the accomplish all the things that you want to, you know? You like it enough your wife supports you and is willing to go to Limit Break for a week when you go. You're not gonna drag her to a hype gamer fest that in no way represents what we do on a nightly basis. I am not going there to go to the convention, really. Like, that's not my motivation, though. You're very good at calming people who get anxious? Yes, you were. <laughs> Dude started massaging my shoulders, and he was like, Damn, do you sleep with your arms crunched up your face? I'm like, how do you know? <laughs> I was like, oh. It's a great place to meet other streamers, yeah. There's a lot of streamers and viewers that might be going that I'd like to finally meet. And then maybe I can make some connections on the side. I will say I do have extra motivation for going, uh, but I can't say what it is yet. But it's a, I guess we'll say a work opportunity, right? So that's cool. Yeah, I don't like that it's at Vegas either. Neither does the CEO. Like they didn't want it to be there, but the freaking convention was like booked right away. Somebody beat them to it. You'd like to go to BlizzCon, Key? I used to want to go to that. It feels like I should be able to get over there, you know? See that busted wall? Oh, man, that must be a different way. We'll figure it out. We don't want to lose treasure, right? I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big sloot for the treasures, you know? I'm a big sloot for the treasures. You wish you had Kyo's confidence? He's pretty confident. And if he says he's not, then he's exceptional at masking it. <laughs> That's what I want. I want to get that right there. I wonder how you get that. There we go. There's one. Those big bugs suck. Yeah, there we go. Two dead biggie bugs. I just want the treasure. Ah! Well, this looks important. Okay. You feel like you're not good enough to be there? I don't... I don't agree with that. That's a discussion for another time and with your therapist. Placing yourself in situations where you can't back out is how you get through it. That's kind of one of the goals for me this year, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's why I think you're good enough, Kios. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying you should go, right? The only reason I can go is because someone's helping me with the hotel. Otherwise, it would have never fucking happened. Like, plain and simple. It's the only reason. Because it's Vegas. It's a convention in Vegas. Like, it's ridiculous. It's the only reason. So, before anyone thinks I can afford hotels in Vegas, goddamn. <laughs> Thank you for that vote of confidence, first of all. Whew. Right key? Yeah. I would love for GPUs to tank in price. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I know, I know it's not tenable for you, Kios, after what you just told me, but... You and I are in full disagreement about whether or not you deserve to go or belong there. 
I'm almost certain there would be plenty of people to like to see your kind of representation there and just you as a person there, you know? And that isn't just like viewers and streamers. You know, you're definitely the kind of personality that a lot of people can latch on to. <laughs> and I think companies would like that too. Do -do -do. When you were last there, the Star Trek experience was still running. Was that the one that had like the recreation of the the 10 forward bar on the Enterprise, Sammy? Do -do -do -do. Your influence isn't representative of your metrics. I agree. At that point, you have to learn how to convey that, right? And that's, I don't know how to convey that at all. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I have streamer friends who help me with that. Like, there's DMs from one of them, like, that I have, have to answer after stream. It's tricky, it is, yeah. Mm, exposure therapy is legit. You're a therapist, and that's your specialty area. Oh, interesting, forward. And that, and what you mean by exposure therapy is what Kios was saying, right? Like just putting himself in those troubling situations to, to work on overcoming them. Is that what that means? Understanding how you mask is a goal of yours this year. You figured out you get anxiety paralysis, which has been good and working through it. Hmm. Okay. You did Vegas earlier this year, Makagish. Largely the same as it ever was. Some great food, too many people. They replaced the smell of cigarettes with weed. I'd prefer that. I'm allergic to one and not the other. Exposure therapy is progressively facing your fears. That's part of why I started streaming seven and a half years ago. I was working in an industry where I was encountering people who were like, minor or major celebrity and tons of people with lots of money and i needed to be less shy <laughs> that was one of the motivations of streaming they had a timeline of the entire series a massive walkway with splitting paths due to all the time travel that happens in the shows and there was a ride where you're on a ship under attack and need to escape oh that sounds pretty cool mileage may vary right yeah I don't like the smell of weed, but if I had to pick between that and cigarettes, it's a no-brainer. It can work with PTSD, but it doesn't work for everyone. Right. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? So, yeah, I'm sorry I won't see you there, Kios, but I also understand why I won't see you there. It's stupid expensive. <laughs> It just really is. Oh. I have assistance in a lot of that. I'm very fortunate enough to have that, so... It's the only way I can. Trying to find treasure. I just went the wrong way. Whoops. Let's do that again. But... I'm hoping that if I'm able to improve my situation much more in the next 12 months, I'll be able to do TwitchCon and RPG Limit Break. Because RPG Limit Break was awesome. That was worth it. I got to, you know, volunteer to help charity. I got to meet a lot of great streamers and viewers. I got to see, I got to go further west than Missouri for the first time in my life. So that was neat. There was a lot of pluses that came out of that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that's very relatable, Key. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't even remember the name of the hotel, Makagish. It's booked. I think it's the hotel where the convention is itself whatever the name of that is or right next to it mm -hmm. you had a huge 
stack of calling cards people shoved in your hand while walking down the street. <laughs> oh, I hope it works out for you, Spark. I hope you find one. Yeah, when it comes to that CPU thing, I think the US is starting to really invest heavily in factories for super like superconductors and whatnot. <clears throat> um I don't know what the name of the hotel. I'm talking about the hotel that was uh that's for TwitchCon. I think the Double Tree is where we were at in 2019 though. That sounds right. That was a nice hotel. It was confusing to navigate. Really confusing, but <laughs> it was nice, you know? It was nice to be able to just like, whenever I got anxiety and overwhelmed, I could just go to the hotel room, you know, and just reset. Just be, you know, find my solitude for a couple hours. Mm -hmm. You have some coping strategies? That's good. Your wife does almost all the hiring for... I don't know what those uh, acronyms are. Doo -doo -doo -doo. ASML TSMC. Mm -mm. So does Shibs like work in like a... Two biggest silicon chip producers globally. Does she, does she work in like their corporate HR? Like doing hiring for them? That's sounds like a great job for her. Holy crap. Like legitimately, cause in like the short week I got to know her, like immediately I knew she was like, oh, this is the kind of person that could see through bullshit in like two seconds. <laughs> they outsource to a contractor, okay. American Sasquatch Monitoring Company. I'd work for them. Yeah, Key. I, I mean, I can't drive, but I don't have a car. Just don't need one. They outsource to a contractor, which she works for. Aha. Gotcha. Mm -mm. Worldwide duopoly big. Wow. Okay. The fact says it's at the convention center. TwitchCon? Um, okay. Well, I was told the hotel that was reserved is really close to it. Like, really close to it. Let's see. What did he say? What did he say? Because now I'm curious. What was the name? What was the name? Uh, here. Westgate. Westgate is the name. I haven't looked at it yet, like where it is, but I was told it's pretty close. <clears throat> that makes sense. Do, 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 do. Kios, thanks again, man, for the raid. It's always good to see you. <clears throat> Say hi to many people. Know you. <laughs> okay, where were we going here? I think this way. Yes. Hmm. Right, right, right. I wanted to go in here and then not just immediately fall off the cliff, which is what I did last time. That didn't really do much favors for us, did it? There we go. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Freaking ice physics.
you believe that? <laughs> At least I got the loot. Oh. That was kind of just comically absurd. I couldn't control my character when that was happening, so... You almost forgot you were hungry? That happens to me all the time. I have been told that is a... For me, it's an ADHD thing. So... You just forget to eat, to go to the bathroom, all that stuff. Where do I go? I'm actually lost at this point. Ooh, this way. We didn't go this way yet. You go to a convention or on vacation, do you go for the cheap room since you won't be there much? Or high-end room since it's such a rare thing? Depends on how much money I have. That's basically the only consideration. I, get, I would say then I get as good as I can afford. So, with respect to your question, it would be high-end if I could. <clears throat> you very set way, so you look around for 30 minutes, only to eat the same few things. For me, it's very... If someone else is picking where we're going, then I will almost always be down for it <clears throat> and then try to try something new. If I have to make the decision, I do the same thing, Key. Like decision paralysis, and then I end up just picking a known quantity. Well, that didn't work. Oh, jeez, I'm almost dead again. Oh, okay, I got a little bit of heals there. <laughs> no, I don't want to fight those weird earwigs or whatever they are. They look like earwigs. That end, okay. <clears throat> -da -da -da. Sometimes the cheap rooms are like unacceptably cheap and barely livable at an absurd price. Really? Why would you make ears wigs for ears? I know, right? It's it's bizarre. It's bizarre, Selmica. They don't need them. I mean, maybe they get cold, you know. Maybe they get cold. <laughs> oh, fuck. Really? Oh, that was pretty rude what this game just did. Okay. Thing. Should we make wigs for ears? Is that good? Oh my god. There we go. That enemy was not cooperating. I got a bunch of healing items though, so we're good there. Do any of you in chat well, let's phrase it this way. Because I'm curious. Do you like going to conventions? Like one 
Yes to no. I'm curious. Everyone's opinion, experience on that. Boy, these enemies are relentless. They just keep coming. There we go. I don't think those can jump up here. Let's see. Do 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 do. One 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 two one. Two. One. You like to hang out with some people, but not the convention itself. Hmm. Enjoy some conventions. Hmm. So yes, you do enjoy conventions. Pretty interesting split there. You'd love to go, Salika. I think you would like them once you're able to, you know, feel comfortable with it. <laughs> Sammy, Cheech and Chong hairpiece skit. Azure, Witcher, you both put three. Never been to one. So one or two, would you like one, right? You could still do one or two. <laughs> Many reasons besides the convention itself. You usually go to see people you rarely ever have the opportunity to see. That's one of the main motivators for me. What's Asen? I've heard of that, buddy. Lemon's not a fan. A lot of people just don't like the big crowds, you know? I think that's a pretty... Oops. This freaking alt-tab thing. I think that's a pretty common experience. Depends on the convention, Makagish. Yeah. You mostly go to gaming, board card, RPG type. Even if it's not offering great activities. You can get a day or three out of nerding out on the sales floor. BYOC land parties. I know what a land party is. I don't know what that first part is. Never been to any. For the most part, I haven't either. You like convention in general, but hate a lot of things that go with them. You'd like to go this year, but transportation would be difficult. Yeah, my roommate, like my roommate will be able to drive me to and from the airport. So that's nice. Semi-frequent disregard for hygiene. I w if you can count RPG Limit Break as a convention, then I was pretty impressed with the hygiene overall. There was like hand sanitizers everywhere and I didn't smell anything weird from anyone other than one time. You don't get a kick out of shopping. You don't want to deal with the crowd. Yeah, I think a lot of people can relate to that. Bring your own computer. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about now. That's cool. Crowds annoy you. You turn around from Walmart because it was packed. But if it's a crowd that's your people, it's fine. Sense of belonging is important to you then, isn't it? That makes sense. Asen is anime central. The first year we went there, one of the biggest lines got boring and people started a giant conga line behind a violinist. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, you need a passport, right? Because you're in Canada. That makes sense. Do do.
I'm trying to think of like what I would do at TwitchCon once I'm there. There were some skunks in the crowd. It's a way to put it, Makagish. Wow. Like I want to see the artist stuff and some of the panels. And I most primarily want to meet like streamer friends and you know, check out like game devs that are going to be there too. Looks like ads are about to start. If you don't have a sub, you will see up to three minutes of ads, but we're gonna, we always keep gameplay paused so you don't miss any. Well, that was early. Weird. It is a tiny bit early. It's fine. Oh, yuck. I watch. I can't speak to. I wonder if it's just a crowd at that convention. That's weird. See if Crystal's gonna have a stand there. She might. I haven't asked her yet. It's a huge crowd. Right. I'm just, I'm relating my own experience to that, but it's completely different, right? The amount of sporting events and concerts and ice shows, et cetera, that I worked versus a convention for like anime or whatever. Like I never worked one of those. They're public areas so anyone can walk into the hotel without a badge and watch the cosplayers. Gotcha. All right, I got to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. I got a potty. Away, a completely different way to meet a girl just like me over the phone. Time to take a piss. Solely searching for the father of your baby. Girlfriend while he was sleeping with Finn Nom. Finn Finn Nom. Men on. Finn Nom. Men on. Finn. about the show i couldn't tell you like who started episode number 13 Shut up, Wesley. you know in the second half who was the main focus or anything Shut like up. that um what i do is i love oh. to read the book Shut up, Wesley. the novels i haven't really gotten into yet no! but like the comic book i read uh the old series i watch every night unless i have to get up real real early for work the next Filmed in front of a live internet audience. Afternoon, everybody. Phenomenon. Fintos, the fresh maker. right there get it get it it's not dead yet get it get it that's that's how you kill those right right That's how you do it. Yeah, that's what you do. If you didn't know. Okay. <laughs> Is it dead? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> da -da -da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
It's clearly not a horse. Yeah, the jury's still out on what it exactly it is, but yeah. You right. I don't remember if I came from up here. I don't think so. Okay, this is new. Icebound cave, a stillness broken. That's ominous. I need a save point. Oh dear, okay. Oh yes. That also means there's probably a boss. It was fish before it went in the microwave, I swear. I believe you. I believe you, Key, okay? It's still bleeding. It's not dead enough. Box knows. It's a box. Let's go buy some better gear, okay? We're kind of getting slapped around here. We finally got the the minerals to do to do it. Welcome. Welcome. Ten more attack power. Yes, ma'am. That's the one you want? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we'll buy this because it's better defense. That's the one you want? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't be a stranger. I think that's Jennifer Hale. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Kind of sounds like her. Oh, that's so cute, Lonnie. Take pictures. Take pictures. I can't remember if that was Silent Hill, that clip. Was Silent Hill 1 or 2? It's one of them. It's one of them. Doo -doo. What do you got for me? I want upgrades. This the one? Good to go. This the good to go. <laughs> this the one? Come again. That's good enough. All right, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what this has to offer. Hello, mozzarella. How are you today? Did I save or cancel? Do it again. Okay, I did. Okay. Chilling? Poker? Something else? What game? What game is everyone playing right now? Not like this second, but like your current game playthrough. Do you have one? I need to see this. Okay. Oh. Chat. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Just worked out. Oh, good for you, Mozzie. You're pretty sure Silent Hill won? I think so. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you're right. Final Fantasy 12 Rational? Yeah. Uh, Zodiac Age or, or different version? <laughs> Do people even Bitcoin mine anymore subnautica ooh four job fiesta nice tango i do love me some four job fiesta it's funny i've never actually done it but i really enjoy watching them <laughs> quite a bit when i was 14 and 16 skull the hero slayer i watched uh, the strange play that quite a bit <clears throat> look pretty good what's whoa long bob biscuit you're in between games. This is a key picture, right, Ranko? Dave the Diver and 16. Same. Those are the two for me. <laughs> Though I haven't been able to play either in weeks. I've just been too busy. You doing Zodiac Age? Nice. Street Fighter 6 and Tears of the Kingdom. I still have yet to start Zelda. It was Silent Hill 1, the children aren't in 2. There we go. Yeah, I figured Sammy was right. Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Oh, wow. I remember doing my three heart no game over challenge of that. You're playing Fire Red, ROM hack? Is it Radical Red or something else? Started Tales of Berseria a few days before getting Diablo 4. You still playing it? I still got to play a Tales game. Oracle of Seasons. Oh, I love those games. 14 mostly because you've been playing with Roy and Sasha. Kitty bit. Kitty bit games. Kitty, kitty bit. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Rocket Edition. Oh, is that the one where you play as like a Team Rocket? Trainer. Halls of Torment. I played that one. It gave me like eight hours and then I had already done all the content. Hopefully they add more. Physical puzzles? Ooh. It's been a while for it. What do you do? Then what do you do to keep occupied? Knight, Time Mage, Ranger, Mystic Knight. Oh my god. That is OP. <laughs> Knight, Time Mage, Ranger, and Mystic Knight. Yeah. That's a lot of barrage or X fight, depending on what you, which version. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, Sonica. Diablo 4 for Sammy's current pick and put down game. Pick up and put down game. Subnautica for relaxation. Bloodstain for your exercise game. What do you do when you're playing blood uh uh when when you're playing bloodstain, what do you do? Mm-mm. -mm. Wolong is a Dark Souls style game made by Team Ninja. Oh, wait. Wait. I think I watched, uh, what's her name? Spinach. Her name's Spinach, but with two E's at the end. I watched her play some of that. That actually looked pretty cool. Them kitty big gamers? Yeah. Du -du. Stationers. Sewer. Just checking all these audio levels from sync. There, that's better. <clears throat> Stationers. What's that one? I feel like you've, you or someone's told me about that, but I forgot. Everspace Two and Oblivion are the two games you've most recently invested time in. Everspace Two sounds familiar. Obviously, I know what Oblivion is. I think most of us do. Do, 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 do. I haven't played Oblivion since it came out. Cool game. Bow, bow, bow. You have four kids, so they keep you busy. Pfft, yeah, that would do it, wouldn't any for it? <laughs> Postman drops your copy of Greek Myths that inspired Final Fantasy VII. Ah. Idly grinding for XP while watching. Hell yeah. Get them stats. Mm. Mm. Giant clump of ice. Faint sounds of breathing can be heard emanating from within. Oh, good. You have a recumbent bike, so you sit on that and game while you exercise. The game keeps you focused so you can work out longer without getting bored. Ah, okay. Brown, 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 brown. Building stations on moons, very heavy on atmospherics. I do like when games do that. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. No damage. No damage. No damage. All right, that was not great damage. What about hitting its feet? Okay. Ah, okay. So we kind of have a plan here. Hit its feet. <clears throat> Hit its feet. And then just melee at normal. Okay. Bam. Hello, Kraken deals. How are you? Oh, don't do that. He bitey. He's like Mog. He's like my cat. <laughs> you will give me an egg. <laughs> A dragon egg, perhaps? Oh shit, where'd it go? <laughs> I 
Uh, okay, this is going well, wouldn't you say? What the frick? Am I getting ice physics? Yes. <laughs> Maybe it was wind. Maybe it was wind. Doing well, Kraken. Thanks for asking. Nice to meet you, by the way. <laughs> it's a tough game, but it's fun. Mr. JRPG. Thanks for the raid. How are you? How was your stream? How the heck was your stream? How goes the dragon fight? That was just our first attempt, and I think we got a good start on it. <clears throat> I think we got a good start on it. We're about to try again. Boxkid, good luck with your projects, man. Ever Space 2, open world space combat. Yeah, the music in East games are great. Always great. You're always going to get some audio satisfaction when you watch or play these games. Mr. JRPG, how was Legend of Heroes? Thank you. Thank you for picking my channel in the raid of all the channels out there. Finish up the main story. So you're going to move on to the next or you plan on doing like post game stuff? Mm -mm. I think I know what box it's talking about Everspace 2. I think I saw somebody stream that. <clears throat> Blue Ice White Dragon. I, I get that reference now. I've never seen it or played it, but I get the reference now because someone explained it to me. <laughs> You're a sucker for post game when it's actual content. Made by Falcom. I did know, yeah. I've heard nothing but good things. Now I know those are the, that franchise is gonna be the kind that I wanna play on my own someday. Because of my attention span. But I know I wanna check it out someday. You play the the Legend of Heroes games when you wanna immerse yourself in a lore rich world, right? Gotta go to more Falcom goodness. It makes sense. Yeah, this is the uh, the PC remake of Wanderers from East. Most people played it on Genesis or Super Nintendo initially. Uh, you may have also played it on like TG16 or something. Japan released a 3D remake of it in 05 for PC only. That's this. And then like 10 years ago or so, it got localized officially and released on Steam. So this is the Steam release. Um, yeah, that's what I'm playing. It's pretty good. I actually played a fan translation of this before the Steam release. Ooh, I see what you're saying, Jin Gear. Post-game story. You like the series a lot. The fans can be very zealous and gatekeeping. Oh, that's too bad. Story makes a big difference for you, Key. Yeah. For post game, yeah, absolutely. You also played the Felgano fan patch. Yeah, it was cool, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's try to beat that dragon. I'm gonna try and beat that dragon. For all y'alls. Okay. Can't skip the cutscene. It's eerily quiet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Older PC game has older PC game problems. Wing Buffets. Oh, okay, so charge ain't gonna work on this. All right, that's not very strong either. <clears throat> Excuse me. There you go. How about that? Okay, okay. It's getting cute now. <clears throat> Jeez. 
What up, Befalness? Welcome back. How are you today? <clears throat> Ah! <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> oh, God. Uh, this thing's mean. Get all this crap everywhere. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I'm almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. No, don't go up there. Oh, that hit me. What? What the fuck? <clears throat> that just happened <laughs> yeah that's right sammy <clears throat> all same pro tag with self-contained stories like conan stories yeah yeah that's a really good point that's why i say if anyone wants to try the series they can jump into any one of them <clears throat> Just got back from work. Doing good, doing good. Yeah, this is fun. It's called Ease Othen Felgana. <clears throat> the prequel game doesn't have Adel. That's true. Uh, it's Origins, right? That was... That was impressive. Hey, yo, Highlander. Welcome back. <clears throat> Lila San, good to see you too. Let's give another run at this, shall we? You think I died? Maybe, uh... Got me. Dun, 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 dun. I got him in the air. Did you see that? That was cool. Oh, and then he he got his revenge. <laughs> Don't go close. I think I just lucked out there. I felt like that should have hit me. But it didn't, somehow. Where'd he go? Oh no, not again! <laughs> Yeah, so you can maybe dodge that. <laughs> I was trying to break its knees. Oh, Monster Hunter looking different. <clears throat> yeah, the first two are... That's true. Ease 1 and 2 are basically one game, so you're going to want to play those together if you do those. But all the others are self-contained. Let's do it again. This is fun. It's a good boss. Oh, man. Open right up with that. Rude.
Don't get hit. <clears throat> okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, I missed a little down thrust. Watch out! Doo -doo. <laughs> it was still doing the breath attack on the way down. That was kind of cool. We're still in it. We're still in it. Yes! Woo! Wow, that was intense. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, that sound was really quiet, Sam. Apologies. Thanks for Falness. Thanks for the GGs, everyone. What's up, Gamma? I'm the glowing. four statues began resonating with one another, emitting an unnatural light in the process. Axe languished. Sound like a Sammy. Job's done. Job done. Who that? The name war finami admi cheese finama clap inverted question mark one quarter finama finkies. <laughs> what did you do? As the light <laughs> faded, the entire cavern grew deathly quiet. <laughs> what did you do? Thanks, Amber, for 31 months and garbled text characters. <laughs> Better not be like, oh, phase two. Uh, okay, let's leave. I'm scared. You're not sure where that one came from me either, but it was hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hello. The rocks were packed too tightly to be broken with the terror bracelet. Adol was trapped. <laughs> That's what it was supposed to be? Wild. Dun, 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 dun. Hey! <clears throat> Doggy! Is that you in there, Adol? Are you hurt? Adol shouted back that he was uninjured. A young David Attenborough. <laughs> Glad to hear my little buddy's okay. <clears throat> that quake caused some of the crevice walls to collapse. I managed to pick my way across, though. But now we gotta do something about these rocks. Adol, I'm gonna need you to step back for a second, okay? Okay. Must have brought TNT. Here we go! Yeah! Did he just punch those rocks? That's what I'm screaming. Walls zero, Dogie the Wall Crusher like a million. <laughs> Who needs doors when they got me? <sighs> That's some real chat energy right that there. That was a new record, too, I think. <sighs> Never took down solid rock before. Should get me in the history books. <laughs> so, looks like you found another statue. He's good at Is punching through walls and rocks. Come on. Nice. Let's head back to the master's house. Let's go. He's just like this in that game too. Nice. And he's eight. Oh boy. Chester, you're here. <laughs> of course. I've been kept well apprised of your actions. Oh boy. Seems you have all four statues now. No, I don't know what those are. So, as I said before, 
I think you'd best give them to me. Makes you tired watching him. Yo, what's up, Roy? How you doing? Chester, there's just one thing I need to know. Ease 8 is one of your favorite action RPGs. I definitely want to try some of the newer Ease some days. What are you planning to do with these statues? Dude, don't tell them we have them. Oh, God. So I'm the brains of the outfit here. A mere knight <laughs> dares not question the motivations of Count Maguire. Though I cannot entirely plead ignorance, as I've heard some rumblings on the nature of his glorious plan. Bow, bow, That's not bow, what bow, I asked you. Bow, bow. I want to know what you plan to do with him. Oh. How long have you known? <laughs> I knew from the very beginning. Excuse me. The only primary action focused game you like more than Ease 8 is Gone Hand. Have you played 9? Is that one good? I didn't believe for a second that you felt such contempt toward <laughs> Elena. That's just not you. And I really couldn't see you serving someone as obviously corrupt as Maguire. Huh. Not willingly, anyway. So I figure you've got to have something else up your sleeve. Nine's very good, yeah. <laughs> Do you stream today, Roy? Your oafish exterior belies your perceptive nature. It always has. Interesting. Out with it, Chester. What are you really up to? Very well. I suppose this is as good a time as any. What I seek is revenge. Revenge? Revenge? You were born in Felgana, so <clears throat> undoubtedly you're familiar with Genos Island, no? I've never told you this before, but that is the land where my sister and I were born. Hmm. Genos Island was the one where everybody got wiped out by like a disease. I think. What? <laughs> wait, wait a second. But I guess not everybody. Well, I always heard that Genos Island was wiped out by some kind of plague or something. See? I told you. You doubted me. Wow. Indeed. We speak of the same place. You hung out and chatted the entire time. <laughs> However, it was not plague, but monsters that brought about the island's ruin. Oh, I was wrong. That's why you doubted me. GG. Monsters? <clears throat> Yes, monsters with the appearance of human skeletons clad in armor. They appeared out of nowhere and simply started Sounds massacring festive. all the villagers. Our warriors fought back, of course, but the creatures just wouldn't stay dead. We stood no chance. They probably didn't double tap, you know, or didn't use enough fire. In the end, Elena and I were the sole survivors of the attack. Have you tried killing him? What's up, FNA? Uh, oh, there you go, Kraken. But, but why? Why would monsters suddenly just appear like that? It Wait. was no random occurrence. Is that your first time talking and here? Wow. Lies the rub. Mm. It's been that long, I guess so, yeah. McGuire was directly responsible for the massacre. He enlisted the services of a dark sorcerer for the task. Interesting. My people were the descendants of Genos himself. We were charged with guarding the holy artifacts that had locked away the Demon Lord's power to prevent their misuse. Archaeozoic big hole. What? I would assume Maguire simply considered us a threat to his ambitions. Oh, you're talking. Oh, I see what you said before. And that's how my sister and I were orphaned and came to live with the mayor of Redmont. It's no surprise that Elena's memories of these events have been suppressed given their extreme horrific nature 4,000 hours that's that's amazing dude thank you then thank you, you. Want revenge on 
on Maguire. Yes. Ooh. Well, haven't you had a million opportunities to get him? He will be destroyed by the very power he so desperately seeks. That seems like a long, convoluted way to just stab him. And he won't be <laughs> the only one. I intend to see to it that every living creature in Valestine Castle burns in hell. Dang. Dang. Holy smokes, I watch. Look at that, hours. Wow. Perhaps then, the wounded, defiled souls of my ancestral people can finally know true justice. His twisted face, yeah. At long last, after all these years, their anger and hatred will be appeased. And eliminating the parasitic slime who sits on Valestine's throne will benefit the entirety of Felgana as well. What in the world? Bob, you've certainly been here more than zero hours. <laughs> How are you getting a zero hours on that? How are you watching my stream? You think your number's weirdly too low? Yeah. Yeah, yours is too low too, Jingir. Way too low. PC? Hmm. I wonder if it stopped tracking at some point. There's no way it found this as zero either. Yours is definitely low. What did yours say? 519 hours? That's about... Well, if you say you work literally every night, then yeah, that's low. Huh. I can't check it right now, but <clears throat> that's really weird. Now then, why don't you hand over the statues? So Mobile does get traced. Place. It does. Um. Yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. No, I think there's just something wrong with that bot database. <clears throat> Windows Minute Focus, fair chunk when you watch. Yeah, it's not a mobile thing because Bob's using PC and he had the same thing. Huh. To be honest, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to react to all of this. I can't pretend to know how you feel, but just hear me out on one thing. It is on the old bot that I've been using for a long time. And that database has basically never been touched. <clears throat> and it's a bot that I haven't been paying much attention to other than adding sound effects because I've been trying to move away from it. So yeah, I don't know. pretty weird well, let's just say that your plan succeeds and you do get your revenge what then do you think it'll make Elena happy hell will it really even make you happy don't eat microwave fish from two days ago uh oh are you sick now <laughs> exp was replaced with channel points in a sense yeah <sighs> sure that exp Maguire might be a horrible man and he may even deserve what you're planning for him i never used it for anything currency wise it was never the point <clears throat> it was just like a i don't know like a not branded but like i guess a flavored way to just show how long people have been here but it was something I did like six or seven years ago, and I just haven't really touched it. But imagine how Elena would feel, knowing the depths you'd sunk to in the name of vengeance. Do you think she'd be proud of what you accomplished? Your stomach voted no on fish. At least it got it out of there. Imagine how bad you'd be feeling otherwise.
Yeah, Bob. Yeah, in a sense. Like, the whole idea was like, okay, we'll, we'll keep track of how long people have been here, but then I'll assign a, you know, a level and a title to each one. It was just like something to do for fun, you know? But it was like a six, seven year old concept that I implemented. Oh, Mega Man Legends. Yeah, that's a fun game. <clears throat> You're happy to be able to watch. Thanks for saying that. I'm glad to have everyone here. You broke the system? What do you mean? I couldn't keep up adding new levels. Oh, <clears throat> right. That wasn't like broken. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> like, like, honestly, it wasn't like... It's just, I just didn't feel like it. So that's why I stopped eventually. It just like, it was like a lot of work for little to no reason. Yeah, I like Mega Man Legends a lot too. Oh man, Sammy did a payoff. If you just step back and think about it, I know you'll find some other less drastic way to deal with Maguire. If I explained everything to the townsfolk, they'd oh. understand. And I bet they'd do what they could to help, too. Which boss was that, Genma? It's been a couple of years since I played that. You should have stopped at level 6. That was 50. It was 50. Conqueror of the princess's bedroom. <laughs> if everyone banded together, we could drive Maguire out of Felgana for good. And send him into exile. You don't have to disgrace yourself over scum like him. So come on. Please, Chester. You have to put a stop to this before it's too late. Come back to town with us. We can all sit down and have a good time. Maybe enjoy one of Elena's home-cooked meals. I could use one of those right now. Look how far I've come, though. Do you honestly believe I can go back now? Mm-hmm. After all this? Mm-hmm. No. There is no turning back for me! Oh, good. Ch Chester. I wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> you stupid son of a bitch. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. The only boss I remember from Mega Man Legends is the one that like destroys the town or whatever. There is still <laughs> time to save him. If you want him to live, give me the statues. Now! Damn. Adol gave the statues to Chester. Don't give it. Oh. Excellent. Now, I can use the power of these statues to hurdle all of Valestine Castle into the darkest depths of hell. Which one? The blood spreading? It is, isn't it? He did sound like Mr. Burns there. <laughs> I hardly need to say it at this point. <laughs> but you may wish to reconsider trying to stop me. Unless, of course, you want to end up like him. That didn't go well. It almost seemed like he was getting through to him, you I know? I can't believe Chester attacked Dogi. This is all my fault, actually. Is it? Twelve years ago. Oh, here we go. I all right. Served we as got a Laura. Let's go. Knight. It's Laura time. <laughs> I was there on Genos Island that day. All the knights were. In other words. Oops. We would demand the side lines and terminate any villagers who tried to escape. I skipped the line, sorry. And we did just that. It's all right. It's all right. But then I met the Stoddard children. And despite my sworn oath to Maguire, I couldn't bring myself to harm them. 
harm them. I hid them instead, and snuck them away from the carnage. But I knew I couldn't raise them, so I left them with the mayor and shamefully ran away to this godforsaken shack. I spent my days slowly Do they have good internet, though, the shack? plans and researching the old tales of Genos and Galbalan. Maybe if it's got good internet, then it's fine, you know? Jester never knew of my knighthood, but he was well aware that I'd saved his life, so he and Dogi would often visit. As such, while secretly investigating Maguire, I also took it upon myself to train the two of them in the art of war. The shack just down the street from Arby's, so it ain't too bad. There you go. Dogie's departure aside, things continued in this manner until just last year. Around the time monsters started appearing all across Felgana, Chester came to see me in quite a panic. I think I hear my roommate coughing up a lung. Same. The monsters had brought his <laughs> memories of Genos Island to the surface, and he had no idea how to cope. I told him everything. Every single thing I knew about his past and about my role within it. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I suppose I was looking for some manner of catharsis. All it did was exacerbate Chester's desire for revenge. To be perfectly honest, Good. I haven't the slightest idea what Chester intends to do with the statues. He's gonna put them on his mantle and talk about them at dinner parties. But if he's willing to stab an old friend to get them, then I doubt there's much hope of talking him down. When they give the bad guy a sad backstory. <laughs> What? What do you mean, what? I told him what you were doing. <laughs> I said I heard you coughing up a lung. <clears throat> if we let him continue unchecked, the damage he inflicts won't be limited to Valestine Castle, but all of Felgana. Battle, I must ask that you go back to town immediately and tell Mayor Edgar everything that's happened. Chester's out of control! You needn't worry. I'll take care of Dogi. Gotta buy any long now, yeah. feet, I intend to pay the castle a visit. What kind of visit? Poor doggy. He's not feeling good. Okay, so now we go to the mayor. Which is pretty easy to do. I just use this. This thing's handy. Mm -mm. Tell it to Canada? Yeah, god damn. Every day I wake up and the sky's like yellow. Oh boy. Ado, <clears throat> we're in a bad way. Yeah, no kidding. We were attacked by soldiers from Valestine, and some of them made it inside. Uh, hurry, you need to save the townspeople. Oh no! Go! Those oh. don't look like people. Elena, I'm scared. Why are they walking like that? Huh. It's okay. I'm here with you. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Um. Globally dangerous wildfire smoke. <laughs> I guarded the same voice as Igor from Persona. Huh. Please, do what you want with me, but let her go. Hi. Hello. When I was a teenager, the sky was orange. You felt like you were the only person in your high school kind of freaked out by it. What was it? Just like the wildfire, like some wildfires by you? <laughs> oh, they're immune to wind. Okay. What about this one? Mm, that was okay. That was better. 
but it only hit one of them. Well, these hit pretty hard. Woo! Good music. <clears throat> Was it forest for fire you in LA? You, You're welcome, kiddo. You truly are a lifesaver. Thank you, Adol. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. But why? Why would the Valestine soldiers attack us? Uh, they ran out of, uh, they ran out of sugar. Adol? They're baking a cake. What's wrong? You look even more flustered than we are. Adol reluctantly told her that her brother had stabbed Dogi in the Elder Mountains. Good news for her today. My God! Why? Why would he ever do that? Her town being attacked and her brother turning traitor. Are you two okay? Who said that? Sister Nell? Oh. Papa <clears throat> and Father Pierre too. When we realized you weren't at the church, we panicked. You gonna give me a bacon cake, Roy? Thank God you're all right. <laughs> We wouldn't be if it weren't for Adol. I'm sorry, sister. I know you told us to seek shelter. Honestly, you'll be the death of us one of these days, Elena. <laughs> now, now, Sister Nell. She was clearly just trying to find Anya. We can hardly blame her for that. Yeah. I still can't believe McGuire's grown so brazen, though, as to send his soldiers to attack the town. Bacon a cake. Bacon a cake. -in. Uh, yeah, I want that. Give me that. I want to try that. I've had bacon on donuts before. If that can work, it can work on a cake, okay? <clears throat> I think it may be worse than that, actually. It was actually surprisingly good. Did you get a good look at them as they attacked? Any of you tried that before? Something about them seemed off. Disturbingly so. None of them spoke You've actually a had word. It? And their movements were like those of wooden dolls dangling from strings. Hmm. Drinks. Now that you mention it, we're not safe here. We should return to my house to further discuss the matter and propose a course of action. We have enough bacon together to make it into a cake shape. I'd like for you to come as well, Adol. I've seen a video of that. The inside of it was like meatloaf and cheeseburgers. And there was no wasted space in it at all. It was pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Similar to peanut butter and hamburgers. I still gotta try that. I had no that. idea Chester was hiding a secret like that all this time. I don't think the PSP version has voice acting, Ryo, but I'm not certain on that. You'll want to look into it. <clears throat> he lived under my roof for 10 years, and never once did I question where he came from or how much he remembered. You wanna try a donut burger? I do too, yeah. You want it to just be 100% bacon. Okay, fair enough. Do we recognize Elena's voice actor? No, I usually don't know voice actors. Except for like one or two. There's a donut place that does maple and bacon donuts. Yeah, I was just talking about that. I had those at my last job. <clears throat> they were pretty good. The PSP version is what added voice acting. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I didn't know that. I feel like such a fool. Well, there you go, Ryo. Please don't blame yourself, Mayor. Colette from Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, I haven't played Tales games yet. Right now, we need to focus on the matter at hand. We need to focus on Valestine Castle. What we know is that Chester is planning to take his revenge through the power contained in those statues. The question is, are those statues in some way responsible for the lifeless, soulless appearance of our attackers? Well, Symphonia came out before this. Right? Yeah, we can look. Let's look. Do -do -do. Where is it? There. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see when these came out. Symphonia was 2003. Wow, it was that early? And then this East PSP was 2010. So that's a long gap for voice actors. No, I've never played any Tales. I have Symphonia, Destiny 1, and Destiny 2. But I haven't played them yet. <laughs> it seems that way. I think now would be a good time to get in touch with Bishop Nicholas at the castle. You're Excuse in for a me. trick. Sister, what's wrong? You're white as a ghost. Hmm. The soldiers this. haven't returned, have they? It's like the Resident Evil 4 of RPGs. It's been poured, poured around to everything ever, and you love that. <laughs> no. Yo, Vaius. How are you doing? It's just that I haven't seen Elena for some time now, and when I asked the children where she went, it seems she's left town again. What? Well, Here we go again. Not good. Here we go again. She must have heard about Chester and gone to Valestine Castle. At least I know how to pronounce that castle now. I always call it Valestein. Yes, I think that's a safe assumption. Valestein sounds better. It's an awfully rash thing to do, though. Much Even better. For her. Dear me. We have no Wii motion control version of Symphonia. Oh, man. Thank God. <laughs> At all, I'm sorry to ask. That's the only version of RE4 I've played is the Wii version. But won't you please find Elena and bring her home to us? I liked it, but it was still using a Wiimote. I can't bear to think of what might happen to her out there. Without hesitation, Adol agreed. Agreed. You'll do it? Thank you, Adol. Thank you so very much. We're truly in your debt, Adol. I hate that we've been such a burden to you since your arrival here. I can't imagine what you must think of us. Uh, I think you owe me a lot of money. Godspeed on your journey. And a boat that won't sink. I will pray for your health and success. All right. Best of luck to you, Adol. That's what I think. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the only bad thing about that, aside from GameCube version being 60 FPS, every other one of Symphony is 30. <coughs> oh, what's up, Rob? I didn't know that. Well, it's a good thing I got the GameCube version. I technically have the sequel to Tales of Symphonia, but it's a PS3 port. And apparently it's terrible. Like, really bad. I haven't seen anyone ever play it on Twitch. I haven't seen it. I'm not saying no one has, but right? Usually, with stuff like that, I've seen at least one person do it, but not that one. <laughs> it's okay. All the boats sink and ease. Ain't a damn one of them worth the wood. <laughs> if not for the puns, you never would have finished it. Oh, man. You knew it was okay, but definitely not what you call a good game. Hmm. The good tales on PS3 is Zillia. Okay. Where's the ore seller guy? Wow, that guy's just a coward. Okay. I didn't get enough herbs for this kid, apparently. Which, what the hell? Which one did I miss? Oops, I didn't mean to talk to her. I wanted to see what she has for sale. We're going to be taking an intermission here real quick. Or not intermission. I'm just going to grab a snack. Welcome. I need food. Do, do. Don't be a stranger. I need the foods, you know? 
Wii consoles are cheap on eBay still. That's good. Doo -doo -doo. Let me go save. It's got all caps, amazing art. You had to say that or she was going to break you. Sasha could break just about any person she wanted to. <laughs> so I consider that a credible threat. The Ateliers have deadlines, the other half don't. Huh. Do -do -do. Atelier to use a to-do list with RPG elements. Gets murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. She's going to take the keyboard from you, isn't she? <laughs> and there'd be nothing you could do about it. <laughs> Wasn't there a wall that I could break in either the mines or the Elburn's ruins? Does anyone remember? I wonder if any of you were here when I was there. They do crafting stuff. There's a lot on Steam and they show up on your wish list a decent amount. <clears throat> the Ryza games do not have deadlines. You mean the Thiza games? Maybe just take a bite key, you know? Like take a bite or two and then just stop, you know, and wait 20 minutes. Don't eat the whole thing, you know? Just take it slow. <clears throat> You're thinking of picking up the Atelier Marie remake as an entry to the series? Yeah, I, don't, I haven't played any of them, so I'd be curious, like, what would be the most commonly recommended way to start the franchise? Too, too anime for you, J-Rock? That's fair. Some Atelier game deadlines are serious. I would not want to play any of them that have deadlines. <laughs> Atelier Marie is a great remake of the very first game. Oh, interesting. Like timers, quote unquote timers, or deadlines like that in an RPG will, will almost instantly get me to stop playing it. It's Diza, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even need to go here to do this. I was just gonna do this. Okay, here we go. I think it was the storehouse. This? Maybe not. Maybe that's just cosmetic. Okay. Wait. Maybe I can break that eventually. Right? Like it's glowing. I mean, that could just be a visual effect, but <clears throat> I don't know. Do 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 do. Oh, you got that autosave mod? Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's go to Ilburns then. I don't remember where the door was here, but there was a door here that I could break. 
If anyone knows where they are, please tell me. Mm -mm -mm. Max 15 minutes. That sucks that it does that to you so often. RPGs are a genre you often want to take slow so you get where I'm coming from. Right. Salonika, I'm going to get the band hammer out and make you Google Ninja now for that answer. <laughs> Don't play Atelier to Tori if deadlines aren't your thing. That series was the worst with them in Atelier. Okay. So which ones have no deadlines? Which Ateliers have zero deadlines? Because those would be the only ones I could play. Ryza? Okay. Man. This dry air is really messing me up. I'm sorry, everybody. Dun 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 what do you call two crows? An attempted murder. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Somebody's using stream loots for puns. <laughs> You've yet to play Rise of Three, but you really enjoyed the first two. Great if you want to gather and craft with turn-based combat to break up the loop. The story is either wholesome or erotic. Nowhere in between. <laughs> Ryza and Iris have no deadlines. Monokemia has no deadlines. Is Monokemia an Atelier? Or is it a spinoff? Marie Remake has a choice between deadline or not. Ooh. Tori is baby metal Atelier. <laughs> I've never done that, Veus, but if I was doing that, I would be in the same boat as you. I like that instead of just getting rid of the deadline, they give you the choice. Because I know there's definitely players that enjoy that added challenge, you know? So that's cool. I commend that. We've never been in here. Well, hello. Jesus. Oh, it's those things. There you go. There you go. <laughs> 20 rabble ore. That's not great. Doo -doo 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 -doo. The deadline can be story relevant. I can't do it. It's like, I know what would happen. I'd get frustrated and then just stop playing it. And if I was streaming it, the viewers will get frustrated. I don't know why I was trying so hard to kill that, but it was like a principal thing at that point. <laughs> it was wholly unnecessary. Alright, let's look for those breakable doors. It's not in here. Defense is so high, they do zero damage. Feels good. <laughs> 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 
do, 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 do. <laughs> Use me. Dun, dun. I don't even need to do all that. I could have just double jumped. Dun, 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 dun. Been trying to do more single player game games. Today's online battle passes make you feel rushed to the point of burnout. Honestly, I don't play any games that have that option. Like this community had to explain to me what a battle pass was. I guess there's just certain kinds of games that all tend to do that and I don't play them. But it's like, it feels like it's something that's trying to take advantage of FOMO, you know? and manipulate it. <clears throat> Some endings are based on deadlines, like ending X is only attainable if you complete Y. Is that true in the games with the optional deadline? They're almost exclusively done on gotchas and MMOs. Yeah, I don't play either of those because they're off. Well, I don't play MMOs because I get addicted. I don't play gotchas because they're almost all predatory. And that's like, if you play gotchas, cool, right? Like, I'm not judging you or anything. I just understand that their tactics are exceptionally manipulative. <clears throat> there we go. This is new. Ow! Wow! <clears throat> Those hit hard! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Mmm, I see Jingir. You shouldn't have to schedule your gaming like a career if you don't want to miss out, right? Another Eden has gotcha elements. I won't play it if it does. <laughs> but for fans who can and do play gotchas, that sounds like a pretty cool concept right there. <clears throat> You're not opposed to season pass DLC? I'm not either, as long as it's worth it. I've done a few season passes and I always got my money's worth. Can't remember which games I did it on. <clears throat> Was New Vegas doing that at the time? I think so, but I don't know for sure. Remember, holy smokes, that was a long time ago. <clears throat> Ow. Give me the twenty gravel art. I want all of it. I never played that one kitty bit. I just don't play gotcha games. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't do it around personally. Stay away from Xenoblade 2 then? Yeah, I've heard it's the same problem. It's one reason why I haven't played it. What the f 
Wow. <clears throat> that guy went flying. I think it's this way. I think we just keep going right. Till I get to the uh, crack door that wrecked my shit. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> the gotcha Xenoblade T gotcha you pay up front for then grind in game currency beyond for that sweet waifu husbando blade booty. What? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you don't mind the idea of season passes for fighting games? Rather than buy an updated version every year, you can pick and choose which characters and content you want. Hmm. Most MMOs want a time commitment that you just don't have in you. Between ADHD and a long-standing backlog, seeking hours into a subscription model just isn't a reasonable thing for you. Yeah, I can relate to that. Nice, I watch. You're not against season pass because you get forever content and DLC versus time events. Right, yeah. It gives you the DLC and you don't just like have it for that month and then if you didn't do it, it's gone, right? Like it's an actual content ad. <laughs> That's why I never had a problem with those. As long as it was worth it, right? If it was a season pass and they're like, here's like three cosmetics, like rip off. Total rip off. <laughs> That was a good Connish cheese. I watched, maybe that's what I was remembering was Borderlands Season Pass 1 and 2. It's probably what that was. Yeah, that makes sense for fighting games. It does. Because you get permanent character ad additions, right? To your roster, among other things. Hi, Flair. Xenoblade 2 is inevitability? Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, same key. I'm not big on shooters, but Borderlands were fun. One and two. Those are the ones I played. <clears throat> nah, I wouldn't know, Lemon. I haven't played D4. Holy shit, that guy almost one-shot me. You see? You see what he just did to me? Wow. How am I supposed to get through that room? Luck. Let's just do it. Let's yellow. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Got what I needed. I'm leaving. <clears throat> These guys are too strong. I don't know if there's any other doors in here to break open. If you do, you can tell me. I would appreciate it. There's no gotcha other than crack the items you find open. To get a random blade and there are infinite items available don't cost real money okay so it doesn't actually really affect the game that much then if at all yeah that's true Monty Rob it has to be a really popular fighting game <clears throat> Where my HP go? The Minotaur, whatever that thing was, wanted it really bad. <laughs> oh my god, Sammy. It's not a battle pass! <laughs> it's 
smart ass. <laughs> My Patreon isn't a battle pass. <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh. What's up, Seal? <laughs> You believe this guy? My own mod is trying to tell tell people that my Patreon is like a battle pass. <laughs> Zeal, how the hell was your stream? Tell us all about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for picking my channel to raid. I hope you had a good time tonight. I hope your crew had a good time with you. You know, I was saying this all week. Of all my views for the last five plus years that come within the Twitch website itself, about 45% of them are raids. And that's some of them right there, Cyrus. So thank you very much. When are you going to add skins to it? I should. I should just meme that thing up entirely. Just completely... I should do something like that with it. Not like that, but you know, like fill it with memes. I mean, really the Patreon support is more related to the stream and the discord itself. <laughs> Wait, you have a battle pass? <laughs> Shut up, box. <Boxkin. laughs> oh my God, I watched. That sounds terrifying. Playing 3DO? Dude, I've never played 3DO. Tell me the highlights tonight. Tell me the highlights tonight. I want to know. They're kind of like creator battle passes. I will fight you, Roy. <laughs> <sighs> How dare you compare what I'm doing for a living and giving people options to support that to predatory battle passes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Gotcha, Azure. Oh my god, I watched. That's so ruthless. <laughs> you love the E series in this game, particularly? Dude, it's great. It's great. You had a 3DO, Ryo? No kidding. Rob, how you been, by the way? Mr. Snowlock. Total Eclipse is cool, sort of like Star Fox. Gritters might be a game you need to check at some point. Road Rash was the best game of the night. How does it compare to, let's say, Genesis Road Rash? It's the opposite of that kitty bit. It's the opposite of what you just said. That'd be the new VTuber meta. Yo, what's up, Chris Iris? Client side gotcha costumes. Oh, that's already a thing. <laughs> Not so much client side, but like pay bits and it'll like change something about the the uh, VTuber avatar. Kitty Bit Games has that. <clears throat> well, they think they use channel points for it. They should have more complex ones with bits, though. Red Rash and 3DO is just like the PlayStation and Saturn one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Fingers all heal. Can't tell unless you have them together. Good. Glad. Was wondering about that. Place searching is still going down the drain. It'd be going down the drain if you weren't doing it anymore. <laughs> You're browsing Steam DB and planning out stuff you may or may not buy. You mean your just wish list on Steam? Soundgarden did music for the Road Rash on 3DO PlayStation. That's kind of cool. Your VOD will likely get muted. 
You might, it, yeah, unplug, unpublish it if it does, unless people really want to uh, watch it. You heard Haboob? What's that's some kind of desert weather? What is that, Sammy? Yeah, season passes are the ones that give you permanent DLC, Roy. Battle passes are the ones that give you, like, items or unlocks for, like, consumable things or skins, but you could only during a certain, like, month. <clears throat> Dead or Alive 6 has 461 pieces of DLC. That's gotta be like all cosmetic, right? <clears throat> oh, you're actually budgeting for it. Oh, cool, Rob, gotcha. The boob are a massive wall of dust that blow in in a matter of minutes. That almost sounds like a sandstorm. Similar concept, huh? Emotep Call the Patreon streamer season passes Oh boy Cyrus Thank you again for rating me You could have picked any channel you came here And I really appreciate that Thank you very much. I hope you have a good day at work tomorrow, all right? You got a picture and share media? Somebody fix this game for me. Please. <laughs> Watch. Click. Just mutes. Why? 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 Like, I will actively avoid games if they do that. I just won't even play them. <laughs> it's so jarring to me. Um, Here. I can just do this. Apparently, that's a, a haboob. It's kind of small. Sorry. It's Emotep. Yeah. I watch what's right. It's Emotep. Is his hot girlfriend there too? Cause damn. Everybody was hot in that movie. It was ridiculous. It's bisexual panic the movie and I'm straight. <laughs> what the fuck? Everyone's hot in this movie except that one guy. Incredibly overpriced costume things in DOA. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. You thought it was a cheesy biscuit? It's apparently a dust storm, a significantly severe one. What? Okay, so Sammy, since you've lived through them, what kind of interaction happens with a haboob? Because, like, when I think of that, I just think things get coated in dust. But is it, like, a lot worse than that? Like, what happens? Yeah, they said, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a helpful feature. I hate it. It should never be forced to be enabled. Uh, we're going this way. Yes. Yes. What happened here? This looks like a checkpoint that was destroyed. Mm -mm -mm. 
Oh, I think this is where we docked. Yeah. Yeah, that's our boat. We should sink it just for tradition. <laughs> Is every kind of hot in the first mummy movie? Yes. Run the game in a Windows sandbox? That seems like a very complex workaround. You forgot those games share a lot of the same soundboard as Castlevania, do they? Upwards of a hundred miles an hour and thunder. The thunder is all from static from the dust, kind of like volcano ash clouds, right? If you're driving, things go from clear to zero visibility. hundred miles an hour. That's really dangerous. Holy crap. It sounds like a dust hurricane, is what you're describing. Wow. <laughs> More like microbursts? A fog started pouring out of clock tower, and everyone it touched got changed. They're all like, don't go in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Have you been back to the castle and saved the boy? What are you talking about? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is the first time we've been here to this castle. <laughs> So no, I haven't been back here because we just got here. <laughs> this song is so good. What's up? X slide forever. You want a good soundtrack? You got it. <clears throat> Or in the blind forest. I get a lot of people tell me to try those. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you for rating me. Thank you very much. Did you have a good stream? Welcome everyone in Phenomenon. I like me some retro, some indie, some RPG, but mostly I like hanging out with all y'all, having a good conversation. You can link to the past rando before that and some Ori rando. Ori has randos now, huh? That's pretty impressive. to ask you to go ahead and talk more after that okay all right all right i level i think they're giving me good experience Am 
my blue bar is full. I wonder why. Ow! Oh, that's health. Which one's EXP? Oh, it's the red one that has like nothing. Okay. Look at that. That's clever. Do 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 Zyfreak, what up, dude? <clears throat> yeah, the combat system in these games is just awesome. So well done. To the point, like Blue Sammy said when he got here, that if you like the combat in this, you gotta play cross code. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, look at that. Oh, this is just somewhere you fall. Okay. And have a hard time seeing. Nah, 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 nah. Those are easy. I don't know what this thing is. Well, they were a little harder to kill. Oh, jeez. Dead end. Rip. I don't even know if this is the right way, the wrong way. Crosscode's fun. Yeah. Crosscode's great. I want to go the way that leads to treasure, not the actual correct direction. And this feels like I'm going the actual correct direction. What is this? Sense Labyrinth? Oh my god. We're playing Dark Souls! It's the upway. It is a upway, yes. <clears throat> Ori Rhino sounds like a wild time. It does, yeah. It's had one for a while, huh? Okay. I still gotta try those games. Gonna rest your eyes and lurk. Hey, thank you, Key. It was good to have you. I appreciate your time. love that you can just like juggle them in the air like that yeah Couldn't get into cross code. I thought it was a good game. It just took too much focus from me away from chat. <laughs> Imagine just trying to walk outside your house and needing to run a gauntlet first. I lost context there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta stay fit somehow. <laughs> Yeah, right, Vegas? Yep. Predated it, though, didn't it? 2005. <laughs> they did not adhere to safety regulations. Yeah, we got we got parapets at least, you know. That's good. Oh, that's good, I know. Little twirly twirls. 
Wait, let's try and charge this. <clears throat> There we go. They were being stubborn and blocking me, and that's against the rules. What this? We'll check it out. Oh, uh, that sounds very boss room, doesn't it? Wait, what is that? Oh my god, this is Dark Souls. <laughs> Silver pendant. No idea what that's for. Yeah, you can, Salem, if you're fast. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. What's up, Zenny? How you doing? What is this pendant, by the way? It's Elena's pendant. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, I forgot to see what this was. Gradually heals wounds, but only when resting. Why wasn't I using that? <laughs> oh. What is that? What is that? Huh. Oh. One of my uh, buttons on the vest came off. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> I never used them, but now it just looks weird. <laughs> One of the organs keys is missing. One of the pipes is missing. One of the displays. Okay, so we gotta repair that. What is this person that I was supposed to rescue, Salem? What were you talking about? bit of heal in there. Ooh, this is locked. Open up! Darn. Do 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 I popped a button. Sort of. I think it must have got snagged on my chair or something. There's no explanation for it because I didn't button it. I was hoping to get a heal there. <clears throat> I rescued a boy super early in the game. Did I? Okay. I don't remember. Castle owner's kid? No, I never did anything like that. This is my first time here. First time going to this castle in the whole playthrough. Uh-oh. Almost dead. There we go. Gives you a pendant? What pendant does he give you? I don't know what that's all about. Wait, it's obviously too late, right? Let's go down here. <clears throat> what the? Okay. I keep for... Ugh. I hit jump and die. <laughs> I keep forgetting I had that cloak. All right. So all we got was Elena's pendant. Yeah, I wouldn't have any clue, Selnica. It's just gonna stay broken. I don't have any way of fixing it. it. Makes enemies drop more items. Yeah, I didn't get that. Wow.
Let's see, which way did we go? This way. I think we went that way. What's up here? What if I go this way? It's locked. Okay. That's good, actually. That eliminates some variables. Take all the buttons off, maybe. <clears throat> I don't want to. But maybe. Maybe. There we go. What are fireworks on those guys? These things sound like birds when you kill them. Optional side quest way back. I didn't even know you could go here before now. Wow, that messes them up. I'm almost dead. Good. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I needed. I need that level. I was a little concerned, chat. I was running low in health. <clears throat> and I keep forgetting I can heal it now. Oh, is that the gates? How did I like the ice boss? Oh, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna take us three tries, I think. It was really cool. He kept flying me in the air and trying to drop me through a bunch of rocks. It was pretty, pretty badass. <laughs> Oh, it was before the first dungeon? Wow. No wonder I missed it. Well, I guess that guy lives down there now. Let's see how fast this heals. Huh. Uh, there it goes. Oh, pretty fast. Okay. You just gotta wait a couple seconds for it to kick in. <laughs> Yo! There's ice physics on this freaking thing. Jeez, that ain't right. <laughs> That's just not right. Uh. Max upgraded gear? No, no, far from it. We have very under level gear is my guess. Let's go this way. Let's see what's over here. Huh. Okay. Interesting platformer segment. Well, I guess I'm not getting that experience. <laughs> uh, oh. Did you see that chest up there? We need that. We need that. There was a chest up there. We need that. Uh. Okay, let's see if we can't get it. That's probably too high, huh? What the f What the heck? <laughs> okay. No chill on her. <clears throat> Level healing, I love it, right? Oh, it's before the ice mountain. Okay. That's much later. Battle armor. Ooh, look at that. We got an equipment upgrade. Is that eight more defense? Makes you the envy of all men. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Does it change his colors at all? No, it doesn't, does it? That's too bad. Right? Right, Time Freak? Yep. Where am I? I don't reckon that. I don't think I've been here. Holy shit. Okay, these things don't fuck around, do they? There we go. They really hate fire, though. What was that? Ads about to start one minute. Okay. Okay, I can please now, chat. We can please. No, we can't. There's one left. Okay, now we can breathe. <gasps> Gameplay will be paused during three minute end break so that you non subs don't miss any. Is there a death punishment? Yes, it sucks. You have to reload. So all progress you just made is lost. It's just straight, you have to reload. It's pretty painful. <laughs> You have a good night. You finished an expansion in Final Fantasy 14. Oh, nice. Na, 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 na. Yeah, on bosses, you can retry at the boss. In all other situations, it's just reload. So death sucks. <laughs> it's painful in this game. This is one of the best tracks in the game. I think my favorite though is the final dungeon. I use that song to test audio equipment and, and VST filters. Old school RPG rules. Yeah. Yeah, it is. What's up blue pastry. How you doing today? No, that one didn't work. For those of you that have been following it with my YouTube VODs channel, the last part of the Ephemeral Fantasia playthrough went up last night. <laughs> uh, to, let's see, how did I phrase it? I said, well, if you watched up to this point, your patience is absurd and I may have many concerns about the state of your health. But this is the final part of Ephemeral Fantasia. It's just as dumb as the rest of the entire playthrough. I'm sorry, or you're welcome. I really didn't know what else to say. Like if somebody watched up until that point, I commend them and I'm terrified at the same time. <laughs> You know, I just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Watch my commitment to suffering. Yeah. Whew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, ads are almost done. For some reason I thought they were done. That was mean to tell us fun. Sumo, what you talking about? What you talking about, Sumo? Reminds you of a Dynasty Warriors map where it's going well just before Lubu massacres you. Oh, good. Something to look forward to then. <laughs> uh, grinding Inquisitor. What's up? How are you? Chucky? Chucky. What's that? The ads are done. Let's go. Thanks for waiting for the ad break, everybody. Appreciate it. All right, I'm starting to get a sense of where I am here. We don't want to fall this time. Nice. I actually aimed really well there. 
I'm feeling rather accomplished. Never mind, your autocorrect hates everything you type. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Child's Play movies? Child's Play movies. That sounds familiar. This track has Dynasty Warriors energy. What's a Child's Play movie? Who knows what that is? Chucky and the Evil Doll. Oh, okay. I don't know if I ever saw any of those. Were they good? I'm assuming they were just like campy horror movies, right? Don't knock me off. Well, she decided to jump off herself. Okay. Maybe I can knock him off. Oh, I got the kill instead. That'll work. Brad Dorif. Was that the voice actor then for the doll? Dynasty Warriors tracks are timeless shreds right on. Yeah, yeah. Blue Sammy's right, Inquisitor. We do a movie night every Wednesday because I've never really been that big into movies. So I've gotten to see a lot of new stuff from with this community. Watch the first and the second. Skip the rest. Okay, fair. Horror to horror comedy. Okay, okay. Can't be good enough to make several. Brad Dourif's a great. He's a legend. Okay. Has he done anything other than those movies that I might recognize? I have that like whirlwind ability. Why am I not using it? Just fucking use it. <laughs> Just use it. Oh, that guy went off somewhere. He went on a trip. He was Worm Tongue in Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Yeah, that guy's a good voice actor. He was in Dune, the new one? What did he was he in the new one? What did he do in the new one? Oh, I haven't seen the OG. I've only seen the new one. I never saw the uh, OG because so many people told me it was just like confusing and not good. Although supposedly there was like a mini series of it that was good, is my understanding. Last episode of Secret Invasion tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited for that. Good Omens 2 on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Salmica is going to be hosting a watch party on our Discord for the new Good Omens season release that just came out. That's uh, Tuesday at 7 Central, I believe. Yeah, Discord is packed this week. It should be fun. I haven't seen One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, but I know it's regarded as a really good film. First child play is straight horror, then they become comedy. Okay. There was a Dune miniseries. Okay. It was in the box. I don't know what that is. The original Dune is an experience, but you can't say it's good or bad. That's David Lynch. That's, I mean, that's what he does, right? Most people that watch this movies are like, I don't know if this is good or bad. It was just compelling. <laughs> Alien Resurrection. I may have seen that one. He still voices Chucky. Some job security there, huh? That's from like the 80s, isn't it? Or like the early 90s? All right, let's see where this goes real quick. A boss? No, I'm not ready. I didn't finish exploring. Wait. No. I want to continue exploring. We're going to keep exploring. We can warp right back here anytime we want. So we'll exhaust the other areas first. <laughs> David Lynch projects are always an experience of nothing else. Right. Right. The first was 88, the latest 2017. Wow. That's impressive tenure. Let's 
see how this does charged up on these guys. Eh, that's okay. If y'all know where treasure is, by all means, by all means, help me identify and obtain it. Especially if you see me miss it. Brad Darif is also in blue velvet. I feel like a rube, but I've never been much of a movie guy, so I haven't heard of that one. Most of my TV watching as a kid was pretty specific. You know, it was like when I was really young, it'd be like Ninja Turtles or like Disney cartoons for the one week a year that we had free Disney. <laughs> There's like X-Men, Batman animated series. So like comic stuff. I'd watch that. Uh, I mean, a lot of Star Trek. And baseball. And that was about it. Movies here and there when my dad like made me watch a movie. But otherwise, I was playing video games every second I could. The obsession has been there for 40 years. Well, not 40, but like 35. There's an ongoing Chucky series that's gone off the rails and it's wonderful. It's fully embracing it now, isn't it? Lynch's Dune is its own thing. The miniseries was faithful to the books, but the production was low. It was like watching a stage play. Ah. The newest Dune was great, but it'll be half a dozen movies at the pacing of the first. It does seem like not much happened in the first movie other than establishing lore. And yet, I still thought it was really fun. I still thought it was really good. Yeah, I feel that way too, Vase, with the whirlwind gimmick. Treasure is in all of our hearts. Oh, okay. Yeah, welcome back, X. How's the game going? It's going well. It's a lot of fun. Using three episodes of Voyager? Nice. I like Voyager. I gotta do a rewatch of that. I haven't watched that in, I don't know, like 15 years. I did a DS9 rewatch a few years ago. Gargoyles? I watched that a little bit. Batman the Animated Series, I watched a lot. I think that was my favorite. I watched Pokemon too. Came out of the womb with a controller. <laughs> uh, yeah, DS9 is my favorite Star Trek. Oh, you just finished it, Sammy? Dude, I need to know what you thought of it. I've been waiting for you to finish it. Oh, Psycho, I do remember that. Yeah. He was that character. That was a good episode. Mm -mm -mm. What's up, Shaquille? Thanks for 25 bits, man. Do you remember Ronin Warriors? No, I don't know what that is. Sorry. What is that? Yeah, DS9 is my favorite Star Trek. Though, depending on its run, I think I can say this. Strange New Worlds, if it keeps up its consistency and quality and continues to get better, it's going to be the best. <laughs> like it is. I'm not going to say anything about any spoilers, but damn, this season of Strange New Worlds has been some of the best Star Trek I've ever seen. Like it has been incredible. Yeah, true base about the Chucky movies. I vaguely remember Gargoyles. I never really... I think that one was always like... By the time I got home, the episode would almost be over. So I rarely got to catch it. You should watch DS9. It's really good. 
Much like most Star Treks, the first season's a little rough here and there. But damn, it really picks up. And then it becomes a true serial instead of a series. Like an ongoing storyline. And it just becomes incredibly good. Yo, Bit Wizard! What's up, Bandelkins? What's up, Jack? What's up, Dr. Butt Lasers? Retro Scott? We've been rolling here. Nice. Wells. I love that like fat chocobo that's just rolling. That's so good. You finished Sweet in two? GG man. How was it? How was it? Doo -doo 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 Rancho. Let's see. Sir Cap Pila. Yeah, it's nice to have you all here. Welcome on in. Thanks for raiding my channel, Bit Wizard. Thank you so much. They are still making good track, Vayus. Yes. DS9 is my favorite. I like it better than TNG. Not much better, because TNG is incredibly good. But DS9 just did it better for me as a whole. Those storylines. Man. It also has the all-time... My all-time favorite Trek episode as well. How is it? How was it, though? How was Sweet in 2? You love raiding here? Thanks, man. It means a lot. Drusifer, cool name. Welcome on in. <laughs> Welcome on in. Yeah, X. Strange New Worlds, right? I never expected it to be as good as it was. And I and I know that it could be like, oh, you had low expectations. No, like I'm trying to measure it against the other ones too. Like it blows Picard out of the water. I like the last season of Picard, but like as far as like compared to good track. The card was like mid, um, but Strange New Worlds is, if it keeps this up, is going to be regarded as one of the best, if not the best Star Trek series. What is Prestige TV, Dr. Butlazers? I don't know what that means. You need to run to work? Okay, right on. Thank you so much again for the raid and thank you everyone for supporting BitWizard on that raid. Appreciate that. Prestige TV. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. They did so well with Pike and Discovery. I haven't seen Discovery. I haven't seen Discovery or Lower Decks or that other one that just got canceled. Prodigy? I think it's called Prodigy. I haven't seen those. Or Enterprise. So those are my gaps. I have some big gaps there. But I've seen all of the original series, all of TNG, all of DS9, all of Voyager. Lower Decks is good. I've seen... Well, I can say now that I've seen a little bit of Lower Decks. <laughs> if you know, you know. I don't want to say why. Because it might be a spoiler. <laughs> I've seen a little bit of Lower Decks <laughs> and I can see the appeal. Okay. I can tell you right now that I can see the appeal. DS9 is without a doubt the darkest of the series you've seen. You enjoyed a lot of the frontline episodes. Yeah. It really de dives, delves heavy into those themes, doesn't it, Sammy? I can skip Enterprise. Yeah, I've heard it's hit or miss from people. Some people really love it and some don't. TNG relies more on its cast. DS9 relies more on its writing. I mean, as far as acting capability goes, Avery Brooks is just as good as Picard, but he's his passion isn't acting like as a career. It's activism. So that's why we don't see him much. Like, he has bigger priorities. But, like, him as a person is so comically different than Cisco. He's one hell of an actor. Like, it's amazing how different he becomes when he gets into that role. Prestige TV is like having movie budget and storytelling for TV. Oh, okay. You've seen Voyager, TNG, and DS9. Those are all good. 
Lure Dex is one of the best ones. Yeah, maybe I'll start watching it. DS9 is highly spiritual. Yeah, that I'd say that's correct. The characters are so good in DS9. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Reiko. Thanks for hanging out with us. What was my favorite Trek episode from DS9? Uh, I think it's called In the Pale Moonlight. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best examples of writing when it comes to morally gray. I think I've ever seen like, cause it's like we would all, I, I'm not going to spoil anything about it. I'm going to just talk about a concept that's related to it in certain scenarios. I think a lot of us would like to say, Hey, I would do X or Y this way. You know, when faced with two really bad choices and trying to decide which one to go. But I think a lot of us in the main character's shoes of that episode would do exactly what they did. I don't know if I could say otherwise accurately. As hard as the things that they did were. It's, it's an impressive examination of... compromising decisions under stress making you want to rewatch DS9 I've been thinking about it honestly but maybe I'll try some of those other new shows like Lower Decks I haven't seen Discovery or Prodigy but I guess Prodigy got cancelled DS9 is your favorite series Flair yeah well I like the DS9 Prize apart those cracks in the idea of like a futuristic utopia and shows that every society has flaws, including that one. You couldn't stand Ezri? She was alright. She was alright. But yeah. TNG? Yeah, that's good. It's been a few years. Like, they, they were, you know, they didn't have much, like, choice. It was very sudden, even for the, you know, the writers and the production. TNG is about living in a utopia. DS9 is about what it takes to maintain it. Yeah, that's a really good way of putting it without any spoilers. <laughs> the Visitor? Was that the one Avery Brooks wrote about uh, racial tensions? No, no, The Visitor. I know which one The Visitor is. I don't want to say because that's spoilers. It's the one, Jake is the main character, right? In The Visitor? It's the one with Tony Todd. I have no idea who that is, sorry. Remember playing this game back on PC before it came stateside? Same, Drusifer, I did the same thing. Fan translation patch, right? It was pretty awesome. I think it was like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I think it was like, I don't know, 13 years ago or so when I did that. It was really cool. Forgot that that was ice right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely no spoiler. Yeah, thank you. The one with Jake is the main character. That one was really, yeah, yeah. You're the main character. I don't know. Is your last name Jake? Is your last name Cisco? Do you live on a space station near planet Bajor? Cause damn, if you do, I want a fucking tour. <clears throat> yeah, the visitor was really good. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, Sammy. That was my favorite of the whole series. Was into pale moonlight. Ark and Peace I played that on uh, PS2. 
I got an English release. Mm -hmm. Hi, little lady. You coming to hang out with us? <laughs> yeah. You want some company? Okay. Okay, kitty cat. She's smelling my finished bowl of food there. You want scratchies? Here you go. Yeah, there she goes. What a good kitty. Well, hold on. It's going to mute. I had to move the chat window. She's blocking it. You want room? Oh, man. Okay. I'll try to make room here. There you go. Can you lay down? You want to lay down? What's she doing? I don't think she knows what she wants to do. What? <laughs> what you doing, nice old lady? You want cheat scratch? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she likes those. There you go. We get the back too. Yeah, that's the spot, right? She's trying her best to block everything. The one with me meme-worthy line delivery deliveries. You mean the end of the episode? Yeah, but lasers, I know. Oh, that line, the fake, yeah. <laughs> Careful now. Ugh. You gonna lay down? Okay. We have we have a cat flop. We have achieved cat flop. Chat, you're all such good company. We're gonna do a little cat 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 attention here, okay? Oops, I'm on the wrong window. Hold on. I need this one. There you go. You ready, kitty? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's get her spot. Yeah. That's the spot, right? Yeah. We hitting the spot. There you go. See? Oh, you want to lick? Okay. She has to lick or she won't feel better. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. What a nice old gal you are. Yeah. Yeah. What a good kitty. Should we groom you this weekend? Hmm? Want to get a good brush in this weekend? We haven't done it since you got hurt. I think she's fine. And we think she's maybe sprained something. Cause she started jumping again. So everything looks good. Hopefully it stays that way. Yeah. Your cat Chucky says hello to you. Is that really your cat's name? <laughs> there are episodes in DS9 that are all about non-humans. Not one Federation person. They're so good. Yeah. They do a good exploration of other cultures. Puddles, hello. Welcome. Got to meet my cat Lickety Split there, huh? Yeah. I know which one that is. Sammy. The Siege. I don't remember the paper moon one though. How old is she? Um, she's almost 15. You got licked in the middle of your dungeon earlier today in Zelda and lost to the boss because of cat. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's too funny. That's too funny. It's only a paper moon. Oh, is that the one with, with Nog in the hollow suite? I'm trying to be generic because I don't want to spoil things for people. That's a really good episode. If that's the one that is. What a good kitty. That's the one? Yeah, I like that one a lot. It was really well written. Kitty, you ready for some more games? Morn. Morn was a wonderful running joke in that show. Just wonderful. I love that. The whole fucking series of Deep Space Nine, everyone on that station is always like, man, Morn, he never shuts up. <laughs> he 
doesn't speak a single line in the entire series. <laughs> Bye, Flair. Thanks for hanging out. All right, let's go. Did we go up there? I think that's where that boss was. So let's go this way. There we go. Those guys are annoying to fight, but that's all right. Just get them in the air like that. And you're good. Nog and Quark are fascinating. Yeah. Quark was an excellent character. Am I from Illinois? Yeah, I think it says that in my bio. I think it says I'm in Chicago, right? Do, 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 do. Yeah, the Quark and Oga Odo rivalry. Very good. Very good. Stop hurting me! We can just chill here, get heals. Well, let's kill the enemies first. Woo. Those shields, they're troublesome. Ow. Okay. Oh, okay, I leveled. I was just about to panic because I was starting to die. Okay, now I can chill. Oh, give me that. I think that's money. Another fellow Illinoisan. Yeah. Nope. Oh, quite a few hang out in this community. It's pretty dope. Stop saying Illinois in here. We talk about the weather. Yeah. It's because Chicago weather is dumb. <laughs> Before there was a city here, there was a swamp. If that tells you anything about our weather. A swamp where the winters are brutally harsh. So make sense of that. Okay. So we got to do something with this organ here. No, no, no. A heat wave? My camera started overheating because it was so hot. It was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, of the, all the actors in DS9, Garrick was probably one of the best. I don't know how that guy dove into that role so well, but whole. Oh. <laughs> he was impeccable. Okay, now we'll go back to that warp point. At least we get daylight in our winters. Yeah. Yeah, I've never lived in any place in the world where it stays dark. Like there's not perpetual twilight in the US other than probably parts of Alaska. I think maybe Northern Alaska sees that. Maybe not even just Northern. I just like, we, we get both extremes. So it gets a hundred plus in the summer and frequently sub zero in the winter. So it's just, you get it all. Do, 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 do. Chicago was settled in its current location due to its strategic position near the Great Lakes and Rivers. Right. It was a trade hub. And then they expanded that with the railway system. Which apparently the bot said too. Good bot. Yeah, it was a trade hub. 
Yuck, Drusifer. Your summers are quite nice. That'd be cool. I don't like this weather. Like for me, if it was perpetually between 50 and 60 degrees and rains a lot, then I would be in heaven. Anything beyond that, I'm like, <laughs> It's a highly specific and unreasonable, but it is what it is. What the hell is that thing? Death Falion? Some kind of assassin thing? Ow, that hit me. empty. Fuck. <clears throat> Boats are the fastest way to go north and south across the continent back then? Yeah. Well, then it became a tra train hub, too. 60 Celsius? Har har, Psy Freak. <laughs> right, Jam. Yeah. The wildfire smoke has been really bad out here. That's pretty much Seattle. It was Seattle. It's not anymore. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> not much rain. Darn. Stays 50 to 60 year round. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Oh. You throwing fidget spinners at me? What the hell is that? Ah! Oh, that sucks. Oh, he changed. This is like one of those guard change bosses, you know? Oh, he's yellow now. Okay. Oh, oh, oh I got two hit points. <laughs> Those are clearly Beyblades. I'm sorry. I just, you know, I'm getting my branding mixed up, so. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting my branding mixed up, so, you know. Oh, crap. This is going well. Zero. Oh. Oh, he does more. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, those are Beyblades, aren't they? You're right. You're right. I don't know how I was supposed to dodge that. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ah! <laughs> it's just so hectic. 
No. How are you supposed to dodge that? This fight is awful. Holy shit. Yep, that's pretty much right there. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Go back to town. <laughs> Jesus. This is unreasonable. <laughs> Superior. What? <laughs> you had a year between New Mexico and Arizona. Navigation out there years later. Try here. It's far superior. It is far superior. Yeah. There's a reason why saunas become increasingly unbearable. Is that one dumb guy keeps adding steam? <laughs> okay. Sell Ravel. 200 for 10,000 gold. Yes. Yeah. Thanks to you, I think I got all the Ravel ore I could ever need. Everybody wins, <laughs> especially me. He's creepy. And let me tell you, if I can sell all these in Rome, I'll be an unstoppable one-man monopoly. We made a mistake. Oh, before I forget, I certainly do owe you for all the help you've given me. Yeah, you do. Here you go. Consider it a bonus for a job well done. Jade ring. Ooh, what's that? The ore's worth more? Probably where he's selling it, yes. It's not immensely valuable, but you should still be able to get a decent price for it if you can find a buyer. We did start a villain story, yeah. <laughs> where did it come from, you ask? Oh, I'll never tell. He stole it. Consider it a businessman's prerogative. <laughs> Just take it and go. I found this. Welcome back. How the hell are you? Thank you for the raid. What's this ring? Oh, it's not an accessory. Very unique. It's some quest item. Anyone know what it's for? Welcome. Welcome. Let's buy this. We kind of need it. That's the one you want? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't be a stranger. Okay. Ba 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 ba. I may have helped an evil conglomerate form. The big boss. Sorry, I have a small raid. Please never say that. <laughs> I do not ever want to see anyone apologize for thinking that this place, this place is dope enough to support with a raid. Okay. If it's one or 10,000, that is not different. How's our progress here? We got to Valestine Castle. Um, what do you got for me? Jamming out to this cool music. <laughs> it's going well, honestly. I'm having a good time. We beat the uh, Elder Mountains, so now we're trying to beat our first boss in Valstein Castle. Do 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 do. And we started a villain story. Yeah. This the one. Good to go. This the one. Good to go. <laughs> do, 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 do 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 Come again. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would like to know what those options are, Reyes. Bom, 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 bom. Villain story? We we sold a bunch of special ore to a merchant who was trapped in town, and he started rambling about how he was going to start a monopoly and corner the market. 
So yeah, we, we started a villain origin story on accident. You know, <laughs> whoops, whoops. Oh, it's Margo. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I forgot that they say two things sometimes when you talk to them twice. Triggered the trap card. Yeah, you know, we did. You think that dude's going to be rich later in the story? Yeah, maybe. That'd be interesting. That'd be an interesting callback. Midwest born lake born humidity is just so great. They're just giant weather batteries that make all weather suck more. <laughs> A guy named Randolph in the inn or equipment shop lady. Randolph is the better reward. Okay. How do you give it to them? What are the rewards? Like what's what do you what do you get? That's I'm not looking for like a, an opinion on which is better. I just want to know what to do. Or I, I want to know what happened so I know what to do. All right, so let's see. I never found this kid's last herb in the Elder Mountains. He gives you an item that makes your boost better. Okay, and what about the equipment shop? I love the footsteps. They're so fast, right? <laughs> Yo, back. Thank you. Thanks, man. Good luck with that shift, you know? And it changes when you're on different terrain, too. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The thread says two crappy items. All right, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. All right. Oath and Felgana Jade Ring. Ba na 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 na. Do, 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 do. Well, here we go. Let's see if this has it. Nope. Man, no wonder people can't find this. Oh, here we go. This might be it. All it says is trade it for the symbol. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what am I supposed to get out of that? Multiple things she could give you, but none of them are exclusive. You're getting magic eight ball material. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what this one says. It's not even in the guide. Oh, I see. These are those segmented guides. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Nobody knows. <laughs> That's enough. Do, 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 do. Uh, all right, so I'll go save. I'll give it to her and see what happens. But it didn't give me the option to give it to anybody. Maybe I have to equip it. <laughs> He's going to blaze his own trail. Bye.
Uh. Okay. How do you give it to them? Huh. Maybe that's a later thing. It doesn't let me. Huh? Huh? Oh, hey, Red. Uh, can I see that ring you got there? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's my ring, all right. I'd recognize it anywhere. Oh, come on, man. Help a guy out. Let me have it back, will you? He's the only one that's asking for it. She didn't even care. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. I, I seriously owe you one. You're the best, Red. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I've got something I'd like to give you to show my appreciation. Walkie dokie. Thank you for trying to find the answer, by the way. Now I can go back home to my family and they won't bite my head off. <laughs> All right. I am so ready for anything now. <laughs> All right. If someone wants to help, I'm still missing one of the herbs from the mountains for that kid. Increases the duration of boost mode. Oh, that's cool. I need to find that if anyone knows where that is. Use this item. Yes, I use. <laughs> Who said you could go back to your family? <laughs> do, do. There's supposed to be like I guess at least one more of those flowers somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I, I clearly missed it. <laughs> Increases double duration. That's cool. That's pretty cool. This is where the boss fight was. The Furies. There's like three harpy enemies. Do, 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 do. Digimon World 3 vibes. It is a sprite, isn't it? Hey. What you want, Mog? Hmm. Hmm. What's up, J Mac? How you doing, dude? Woo. That's not good. Ow! I don't know if I'm gonna find it just running around in here, but I don't even know if the reward for that kid's quest is worth it. Let's see if this guy has one. No. Okay. Damn. Yikes back. That is some icky weather right there. They're not even really hurting me anymore. Back was that? I have really bad memory. Was that you that other day that was asking about Firebot for Dino? I can't remember. Somebody was asking me about that. I'm really bad with names. Your dad's from Wisconsin. Sheboygan. The only reason I know that word is because they have sausages. <laughs> That's all I know. They got sausages. 
Anyone know where the last herb is for that kid? Sip. Sip. I owe two sips. My bottle's empty. But the ad break's gonna come up in like five minutes or so. I'll get more then. Do do. Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> Greek town. No kidding. All right, let's go give it to him. I don't know how many of those are. Hopefully it's the last one. <laughs> no, play that song again. It's so good. Is this need more? No. Okay. All right. We finished his quest. There's only four. I think I have plenty now. Yay, savior of swine. Saved all of Hugo's peacards. You're awesome, Mr. Adol. Thanks to you, they're all gonna get better. It's true, all of them. Oh, yeah. You don't think it was you? Okay. I don't remember who that was then. Boop, 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 boop. It was... Oh, okay, there it is. It's in the... Okay, someone named Raycat was asking me that. Around here, when somebody helps you, you give them a thank you gift. It's the Felgana way. So, um, here's my gift to you. Okay. <laughs> More max hit points. It was all a dream, J-Mac. Gonna be moving into the new place in like 40 minutes. All packed up? You all packed up? I mean, in 40 minutes, I would assume you are. Boop. Give me them hit points. We're going to try that boss again now. Mm. You asked about dono voting? Right, no, I just looked. It was somebody named Raycat. I just got the names mixed up. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what they were asking about exactly, but that was their name. Okay. I hope I didn't miss any, like, equipment. I mean, this is a big castle. We'll probably find more. What's up, Slane? Good morning. All right, let's fight the Digimon or whatever. Ah! Too many Beyblades. Well, that was pretty good. That's not good. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> no. Oh. What color is he? I can't see. Still yellow? Oh, he's white. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you so to avoid all this shit? Oh, this boss sucks. <laughs> it just hunted my ass down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man.
every one of those hit me. <laughs> this boss can eat my entire ass. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's go. Let's do this. Who's that? Yo, what's up, Freedom? How's it going? Matt, how was your stream? Welcome, everyone. Fire. We are completely walled by this boss right now. We're gonna win, though. So, you got good timing, all right? We're gonna beat this at some point. I don't know if it's this attempt, but we'll win. You know, we'll get there. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that was good damage. What was that? Ah! Yes! Yes! You're my good luck charm, Freedom. <laughs> Dragon Quest 8 challenge playthrough. Ooh, what kind of challenge are you doing on DQ8? Oh, welcome back, Bit Wizard. A door unlatched. Treasure? Damn it, it's not a treasure. It's not a treasure. Reject percentage. What is that? Organ pipe. Okay, cool. You're not allowed to use each character's two best weapon trees. Oh, wow. So... What does that leave? I haven't played that game in a while, so I don't remember all the trees. I only remember what I used. Which was swords, axes, swords, and staves, I think. And sax appeal on her, or whatever it was called. Hero can't use spears or swords. The Angus can't do axes or clubs. Jess can't do whips or fists. Her fists weapons are good? Wow. Angelo can't do swords or bows. Wow. That sounds really freaking hard. Oops. Here we go. We want to use this. Her hunter fists ability is magic burst. Wow. Okay. I know what that is. That's kind of busted. That's kind of busted. Mm. Space hooters. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> is this open now? It is. Okay. Okay, but what about the gate by the choice? We're going to check that. And skip as much as we can. Ah! Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? The game got all weird there. Did you see that? There we go. Oh yeah, I know what magic burst is, yeah. It burns your entire MP pool to do insane da AOE damage. <clears throat> Boomerangs encourage, Yangus has been scythes, Jess has been staves and knives. Angela has been staves and chivalry. Huh. 
You won't use red? Oh, you must be playing the 3DS version. Rip. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being judgmental. I think that version's in far inferior. Yeah, yeah, Vegas, it did. It looked like it just skipped frames. 3DS is way better. Far worse audio quality, far worse OST, far worse visuals, cannon breaking weird shit at the end. Yeah, I can't stand it. I think it sucks. I think it's terrible. I don't think it should be terrible for anyone else that likes it, but I think it is. That gameplay's better at lower frame rate? I don't think so. All right, let's go put this in and see what it does. Ooh, everything's trying to murder hobo me. One of the displays is missing across. Oh, it was the pipe. There we go. All right, so that doesn't do anything until we have all the parts. That's what we just learned. Or if it did something well, then it was obfuscated. That door's open too. Okay, so we have two open doors now. What the f- These are new. What? What? Teleports! Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm not telling you you need to dislike it or change your opinion. I'm saying that I think it's just worse in every way. It takes away from the game a lot of what I like about it. <laughs> wonder where this goes. Another one of these circular towers. Does this go back to the top here? Oh, it's like an ice physics area. Okay. Back to the pit. Back to the pit. That game's so good. God damn. The fuck was that? Hmm. Weird. I don't see anything. I wonder if Mog tried to jump up and fall. Like the desk was shaking. You want SE to release a remaster remake of DQ8 and 9. That has all the quality of audio and visuals of PS2 with the additional stuff of 3DS. Except the cannon breaking stuff. That could be cool. Mog Quake? Yeah, I don't know what that was. That was weird. I don't see him anywhere nearby, so I don't know what the fuck it was. Huh. Like, it could have been something that, like, fell, too, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Oh, man, we got a lot of decisions here, don't we? All right, let's do ice physics room. I got the boots, so. What the? Oh, this is cute. Holy crap. What the? Woo. 
Have I played Terra Enigma? Yeah, we beat it like two or three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, that game was amazing. I, I was upset all over again that it never got released in North America. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What are the chances, right? Considering how long I've streamed, it's kind of amusing. Oh my god. I hate this room! <laughs> Too much! I died. I died. I have no idea where I saved. Well, this middle door is still open. That's good. It should be. Yeah. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Goes face first into a lance. That's where it goes. There's a lot of annoying enemies here. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we're fully healed. We got some good healing items out of that. All right, so that guy's not weak to fire. Oh, look at this. Oh. He lives there now. What have we here? No, just some more. Okay. This whole map feels like an anxiety attack. I got to admit. It's been a little stressful. Yeah. What the? F that happened again. How I like randomly like sprint sometimes. We still haven't figured out how that happens. I think that's a glitch. No, that's not why that happens any. It happened because Enix didn't have an office for two years in North America and it was during the release of that game. why we didn't get dq5 or 6 either what's well, your project and creative tomorrow is going to be a busy day cutting wood working on expanding storage space and making everything look tiny all right i need to see this i need to see this where is it share share media no creative probably creative yes aha uh -huh. Is it that shelf? This tall shelf thing you got here? Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Cause Zenny, the, like I said, I just beat it a couple weeks ago. I was constantly getting people coming in with weird theories about why we didn't get the game like that. And it was getting really annoying. So I was like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. It's shelf and both the benches. Okay. This reminds me of my console tower because it's really tall and slender like that too. Yeah, Terra Enigma was awesome. I really enjoyed it a lot. I was very impressed. Like if I had played that as a kid, it would have been like top 10 SNES for me easily. Maybe top five. It's a game your neighbor had in the SNES and you only had a Game Boy, so you would go over and play to the kid. Oh, so you're not North America then, huh? Yeah, we didn't get it. Enix closed doors for a couple years in the US for whatever reason. And so all the, any of the Enix releases that came out during that time period, we didn't get. So like Mystic Arc, Terranigma, DQ56, there's probably others that I'm forgetting. 
Shelf is going to work like an elevator for heavy things to make easy for lifting and carry. How are you going to do that? That's interesting. That's a really good idea. Dude, Bitwizard, the music in this game is... Yeah, it's 10 out of 10, dude. It's amazing music. Oh, yeah. The gameplay is a little frustrating at times, like stun locks like that. <laughs> oh, shit. Forgot. I gotta put the shoes on. There we go. These things are not worth fighting. <laughs> Iframes don't exist in these? No, they don't. You are so correct. <laughs> Sounds a little like Sakuraba. The music? It does, yeah. I think the synths really help that, don't they, Monty? You're bouncing between SNES translated ROMs of Seiken Densetsu 3 and Bahamut Lagoon. I've been wanting to play SD3 again. Doot, doot, doot. What's up, Hentalia? You're from Australia. That's why times are so weird. Gotcha. I... I don't think... You realize what time it is for me. <laughs> uh, I start stream at 9 p.m. my time and end about 6 or 7 a.m. my time. So I, I understand. <laughs> oh. Can you go in those doors or no? No, no, you can't. Okay. That answers that. That was a little, little close. Those Lance guys are the worst. I'm not fucking with you, Lance guy. What if there's anything else to get here? Ow. What's an iframe? I don't know. This game has made me forget. Do, 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 You're gonna use a bike chain, some gears, and a handle. Counterweight hidden behind the shelving. That's really clever. Kind of like a winch. Like you can winch and just race things up and down. Yeah, I found this. So when I first started full time streaming, which was. I think five and a half years ago. No, five. It was July of 2018. Uh, my schedule was four to 12, 4 p.m. to midnight. And I just kept like waking up groggy as hell. I would start stream and just be tired. And like the first half of my stream every night was just like a snooze, like a total snooze. Do, do, do. As far as like I had no energy, it showed. The energy I was outputting was reflected in the community because I wasn't giving them anything, right? So I was like just gradually pushing my schedule back further and further until I realized it was time to stop fighting my body and just listen to it because my brain is always like most active around midnight and beyond until about bedtime. Uh, so at this point, I've been streaming 9 p.m. my time until about 6, 5 to 7 a.m. And for a while, I was doing 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. five nights a week, which was too much. So I cut a day out, but added an extra hour or two each night, depending on how I feel. That works way better. Like, I don't need to live by anyone else's rules. Like, I... This is what I do for a living. This is why I'm so reliant on like bits, tips, subs, all that good stuff. 
So I set the schedule that works best for me so I can do the best at what I do. Right, buddy? Hi, Moggy. Are you done causing trouble? Was that you making all that ruckus? Little brother? We your handsome little gremlin. Yeah. He's getting in my way. Oh, come on. Yep. Click outside. Cuts the music. Sorry. I'm a graveyard shift streamer. Yeah. I've been toying with the idea of trying like a super late or a super early stream, depending on viewpoint, just to see what would happen. Just to see what the audience would be like. But, eh, eh, I kind of like what this is. <laughs> iframe the new photo camera by apple har har head talia how you doing oh you finally worked that out sunny i remember us talking about that a little while what what was the uh what was the uh, the process you had to do like the the settings or the trick or whatever it was what what was the setup you had to do to get that to work yeah, little Moggers is here. What you want, Moggers? What you want, Bud Bud? You gonna go down there? Go ahead. Okay, bye. Off he goes. All right, I gotta move my chat window again. Sorry about the music. You gotta put it back down so I'm not doing this to read chat. You're still impressed with the quality of cameras when it comes to cat hair? Oh, because you can see how uh, detailed his coat is with the camera I have. Do 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 do. Must have taken me a while to get for my body to get used to it. My body was never used to a schedule my entire life that was early ever. So this schedule that I'm on now is me finally listening to it. <laughs> I have always always been most active after midnight always <laughs> graveyard shifts fun there's a certain strategy to it it's not uncommon for certain populations to have a varied internal clock despite what a lot of modern place workplaces try to pretend right yeah, exactly, Vase. That's what I was going to say. Think about it from like a hunter gatherer tribal standpoint. If you had no night owls in your tribe, who's watching everyone at night? Right? Who's awake to be alert to that kind of stuff? From an evolutionary standpoint, it makes perfect sense that that's just how some people are wired. Hey, Box Hit, thanks for hanging out, man. Good luck with your project, yeah? Keep us updated. I need more water. Give me a sec. I understand that, Talia, yeah. I get it. Maybe you should take that to heart. You've come to recently realize you've always been nocturnal no matter how you time your coffee or naps. I mean, you do what you have to do, right, Lemon? And maybe for a lot of people, you have to not do that. Like you have to not be a night owl. But if you can find something, you know, that works for you, whether it be like career wise and lifestyle and do that and it does work for you, maybe it's worth exploring. The mobile stream platform has two ways to record and broadcast screen or camera. You figured cameras for pics and quick vids and screen would be what you want to record your emulator with. Okay. You need a guy who would have hung around the campfire at two in the morning to make sure they weren't attacked by saber-toothed bears. Oh my goodness. 
I mean, effectively, yeah, probably. You'll be getting pictures for sure? Right on, dude. Good luck, man. Sounds like a fun project. <laughs> you have a week or two of regular time, then back to being up all night? Ooh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, fairly. Same. No one should be forced to be on someone else's schedule. So if you're in a career where you are, and that's what you have to do, then that's what you have to do. If you're able to pivot for your own sanity, your own health, and you know for sure that being on a different schedule would be better for you, if able, explore that, right? Not everyone's in a position to be able to explore that, so... You know, don't take this as, oh, I'm in a position of privilege because I'm self-employed and I can just say that. Like, I get it. If you can't do it, you can't do it. I understand. But I do think it's more important than people place, you know. I think it has more importance than what people give to it. <clears throat> All right, let's just sit here and heal because we're almost dead. I got that nice healing cape. There you go. There you go. You get a second win around 11 p.m. Mines? I don't know if I'll get it tonight. Because, again, I feel like I'm on empty. I don't know why. But it's usually about 5 in the morning for me is when I get it. Ish. Just depends. You know, there's circumstances. The swing third shift thing has done you well. Sometimes you need to experiment to find what works for you health wise. Yep. And I know we're going to have a lot of people here who are going to resonate with that because about 70% of my viewership is North American. It's 4 a.m. in central time zone right now. There's a lot of night owls that hang out here. Although I do like that over the last year or two, my non-North American audience has grown. It used to be about 85% North American. Now it's about 75, sometimes 70. It's around there somewhere. I like that. I like hitting, you know, more regions of the world and just meeting people from different cultures. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Working from home has helped you a lot, being able to wake up after 8 a.m. Because when you had to wake up at 7 a.m. to go into the office, you were doing so much worse. Oh, this is cool. Check out this. Oh, I like this. It's like 3D kind of camera going on here. That's really dope. These freaking Lance guys. There you go. That's a good way to take them out, huh? I don't like those magic ladies. Oh, check this out. Nice. Tonight is your late work night in the studio, Loki. Hey, Loki. You work best nocturnally on your own projects, but you have to work on nine to five. You're off the next two days though, so it gives you time to recover. That's cool. So you say in the studio, what kind of studio is it? Are you able and willing to discuss that? Cause that could be a lot of things, right? Screen mode locks the size of your presentation to about half the standard size of a phone screen. Regardless of how you have the emulator visuals set up. So nobody could see what you were playing. Once you switch to camera mode and it doesn't have size restriction. So. Are you. 
broadcasting a camera feed or I'm rather confused by that wow I hit an invisible wall did you see that <laughs> I wanted to see if there was a secret <sighs> the studio is for painting music and soon streaming fictional baseball fictional baseball I need to know more about that. I used to work in the sports industry, so that was my last job. Go ahead, Mog. Go ahead, buddy. You want to explore? Let's go down here. See what happens. Okay, it just goes a little lower. I want to make sure I explore everything down here before I go up. But it doesn't look like I can go down there. Oh, I can. Okay. What's over here? We didn't go this way yet. Oh, God. Well, fuck. <laughs> let's, let's equip the fireworms armlet. Oh, Jesus. Man. Enemies here are just so rude. I gotta tell you. They're just so rude. There you go. No! Don't be ore. Don't be ore. Yes! Oh, that's a sick upgrade. Oh, man. I just smudged the hell out of my shades. Whoops. Yeah, that's cloudy. Hey, bud, bud. Four. Four defense. Stat upgrades might seem minor in East games, but they're usually pretty significant. Use out of the park baseball to simulate a fictional league on a fictional continent. You've been covering it as a blog, but you're working on streaming it. Those games. Those out of the park baseball games have been around for a while now. I've never got into them, but I always appreciated like how much absurd attention to detail they have as far as like the simulation of baseball. I always thought it was really impressive. This is sus, this thing right here. I fucking hate those Lance guys. <laughs> oh my God. Just delete them from the game. You've been making sports leagues since you were a kid using pen and paper. You recently found other people do this kind of thing. Nice. So as far as the streaming aspect of it goes, are you going to just run it as like you know, just a stream of a simulation, or are you gonna do like, cause I've, I've heard of people that do this, like they actually like get into the role play and simulate like they're a color commentator or a play by play broadcaster for like said games, which is pretty cool. It's also a good way to practice that if it's an, a career you're interested in. The uh, current uh, play by play guy for the Chicago White Sox, his name's Jason Benetti. And he's regarded as one of the best in the business at this point. When he was a kid, as a hobby, he would listen to radio broadcasts of baseball games and then pretend like he was the play-by-play -play -play guy and do his own broadcast. Just like in his bedroom, because it was fun for him. He's living his dream right now. You're essentially playing a SNES emulator on your phone and streaming it. Just now you're using the right setup that allows the visuals to be larger and clearer with no pixel smudge. Gotcha. Well, good job. Nice work. You'll be doing a sports center highlights kind of thing and a game of the week play by play. That's pretty cool. Damn it. Wow. I, how the fuck did I do that? 
shit. Damn it. Oh. I'm just gonna use wind next time. We'll just pretend those aren't there. They might as well not be, right? No! Do you see how rude this game is? Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? <laughs> Son of a... Oh, give me that. Okay. All right, cool. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo. There's some really good sports streams with genuinely entertaining commentary. We've gotten caught watching full baseball games, which means grab the beer and bratwurst. Nice. Yeah, Grandmaster. Yeah. Yo, welcome, by the way. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I need to take a breath. Holy hell. <laughs> give me this. I need to heal. Ugh. What are you doing, Mog? Mog's just chilling on my desk, staring at nothing in particular. Oh, I moved, so it stopped healing. Okay. I get it. Oh, I get it. All right. I think this will help. Yes. <gasps> it actually shows the fake platforms. Holy... That's so cool. What console is it on? PC. It was originally PC in 05 in Japan only. There was a fan translation. Then I got an official localization and got a PSP release. And now about 10 years ago, it got a PC release on Steam. So you can get it on Steam. I don't believe this ever hit consoles, but I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if it looks looks retro, it is. It's 05 PC. It's right in there. Like that PS2 era. I like that I can stun a trap. <laughs> That's kind of absurd when you think about it, but I'll take it. I should probably see what's up there. Oh, they could stand on the fake floors. Unfair. Yeah, there we go. So this was just a way to go. That's all. Okay, cool. Yeah, good luck with that low key. Sounds fun. Consider PC a console in ways. Especially if you run Steam in big picture mode. I used to have a PC set up in my apartment when I first moved in here. Just second one. I would turn it on and it would load Windows and then it would auto load Steam in big picture mode. So I just had controllers hooked up to it and played it like a console. It was pretty fun. It was like my indie box for a little while. Do -do 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 -do. As far as streaming goes, I definitely run my PC like a console because I have a dual PC setup. So you're actually seeing this through a capture card as if it was like a console. All right, see where this goes. Ooh, another save point. Okay. That's either a good sign or a terrifying one. This leads to a boss. It does. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm scared, but... Oh, it's a doggy. Zephyr Zam Schultiger. I think that was German. And I butchered the pronunciation. Oh! Wolf, wolf. Wolf, wolf, indeed. Oh my goodness. He's slippery. What you doing, Mog? Ah, he got me. 
me. How did I do? Terribly. Wow, I barely heard him. Okay. <laughs> no idea, Zy Freak. Yeah, I don't know. It was German ish. Okay. That was pretty good. Oh, that wasn't good. I'm almost dead. Whoa. Oh boy. It's like a Mega Man boss on crack. Yeah, the bosses in these East games are, tend to be pretty tough. It's not German? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Some die freak. Germanic traits. Yeah, Loki. This one or Origins are good ones to start with. I played the OG2 on Turbo Graphics CD before this, and honestly, that was a real fun time. Oh, just kill me. This is a dead attempt. Um. Because it was a 1989 game, and yet it felt like it was from, like, 95. It was way ahead of its time. It was really good. What's up, Pern? How we doing? Oh, that was terrible. So was that. I don't understand this thing's pattern. It's not doing fire at all now. There it goes. Why did it do it that time, but not previously? Who's that? Oh, it's Pern. <laughs> Pern, today I learned or remembered that you streamed. Dude, thank you. Thanks for the raid. How was your stream? What were you doing tonight? You have to forgive me. I don't know if they're... Well, there is a mod right there. Monty, appreciate you. Thanks for the shout out for Pern. DQ5, fuck yeah. It's the best of the DS ones. I'll tell you that right now. Well, it's my favorite of the DS ones. I don't think that's a very controversial opinion there. Yeah. What does that mean? What the fuck is that? <laughs> DQ5 for the SNES. Quality game. Love the story in that. Burn to the ground. I yeah, I did. I did, you know. I burned in the ground. I burned to it. <laughs> Round two, round three, four? I don't know. That's not doing a lot of damage. We should try the dash on him instead. There we go. Uh, I don't know if that was any better. Ugh. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh, I think it was because he was on the wall. That's all. I was just lucky. All right. This is probably bad. Well, maybe fire with fire, right? Oh, that was terrible. Okay, it's wind. I wonder what the regular hits do, you know? Wind's still better. Yeah, I think that's better. Maybe. Oh, he's fucking me up. Chat. Oh, that was bad. 
Oh, double fire. Oh, I didn't get hit by that one. You see that? I want that. <laughs> the dance. Dance with dogs. Where's Kevin Costner? Now he's fucking with me. Ah! There's an itch on my eyebrow. This is the worst. Uh oh. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I think fine is better than nine. Nine's really good though. Oh. Oh yeah, I know. They never finished the fan translation of six, did they? I know. It's disappointing. That howl got me good, didn't it? What's up, Amy? Sayaka, how you doing? Oh, bad start. I don't like when he does that dive attack. What are you doing, Adol? <laughs> I think that's... Do you see what was happening there? The damage is increasing each consecutive hit. This is better. Ow. It's just harder to do. I think it's better. Yeah, it is. This is better. Oh, come on. That splash. <laughs> The hitboxes in this game are a little silly sometimes. Oh, don't get greedy. What the fuck is he doing now? <laughs> Holy shit. What is this? Really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad doggies. What are you supposed to do there? Glad to hear you do a great saga. <laughs> God damn. Oh, how was I supposed to dodge that? Oh. Okay. Uh. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> that was really cool too. Oh. Do your dumb fire. He doesn't want to do it anymore. He's shy. He's shy now. Oh, come on. Now he's Blanca. Suddenly. Oh, jeez. Thank you. That was the closest one. <laughs> yeah, this game's great. Oh. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. You got to get on the first bat boat back. You're in Felcada. Oh, out of Felgana. Sorry, I misread. My bad. Sometimes it just seems like it, oh shit, like it gets stuck, you know?
There we go. I need that. I need that. And I need that Slappy Meats raid, too. That's what I need. Y'all, welcome, everyone. This is East Oath of Felgata. You can't pause during boss fights. I promise I'll say hi to you as soon as I can. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Slappy. It was a good time. It was it D and D night again? Do your fire! Oh. This thing is so rude. It's a really hard boss. It does this. It goes Blanca mode. Could have been better. No, 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 not block him out again. <laughs> run, run. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> you did a vampy drawing stream. Oh, cool. How'd it go? This boss is out of control. This boss is out of control. Wow. He's not cooperating. He's just doing that now. Oh, that sucked. I'll take the free hits, though. Oh, come on. That wasn't a double jump. Oh, misfire. That's all. I pushed the button. I pushed, probably pushed the button too fast. All right. We got boost ready. That was awesome. <laughs> Do that again. Almost. We're almost there. Whoop. Yes. That was tough. That was really tough. You're drying your... Salubri's torment and being forced to commit Diablery on his beloved what? Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw you draw that character in Discord though, right? Well, post a drawing of said character in Discord. Yo, thanks for the GGs, Zayaka, Zyfreak, Low Key. Do 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 slapping. A lot of vampire the masquerade terms. Mm, okay. I don't remember much of that stuff. All I ever did with Vampire was play uh, Bloodlines, which was pretty awesome. When was that? Four or five years ago, I think? It was a while ago. It was a good game. Really good. Mm -hmm. Ba -ba Ad should be starting soon. If you're not a sub, you will see up to three minutes of ads. Oh, they just kicked in. They, they kicked in without my permission. And it's kind of implied permission you know <laughs> <laughs> he's a warlock who eats his vampire uncle to be a better warlock but he's from the weird kind of hippie variant of the clan oh 
I see. And he was forced to do it. Wow, that's messed up. water I just I'm not even thirsty I'm just mouth dry that's all <sighs> I need to check the weather because I'm gonna need to open the windows like at some point soon to get some freaking moisture in here it's been like a desert in here oh man <laughs> oh man Nothing but 80s and 90s for at least seven days. That's not good. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Salubri. Was that clan in Bloodlines? Tremere do? I remember Tremere. Um, I don't know if that was the clan I was. I don't think so. I think the clan that I was was like blood mages, basically, like from Dragon Age. So Lubri wasn't in it, but Bloodlines didn't have all the clans. Oh, okay. How did they get forced to do that? That's messed up. Mm. What the hell clan did I play as in Bloodlines? <clears throat> Pretty sure it was like Blood Mage. I don't remember. <laughs> It's pretty strong, though. I wonder when I'm gonna get more of these topazes, these gems. Job done. All right, that's done. Let's go. <clears throat> Thanks for waiting, everyone. Oh, I thought I saw a platform. didn't go well okay that was weird <clears throat> mm -hmm. you been blasting the bloodline soundtrack enjoying a little lacuna coil there miss Christina Scabia <clears throat> All right, here we go. That guy was gonna. Yep, I knew it. Just gonna try and knock my ass off. Hmm. <clears throat> What's up, Sinny? How you been? Mm -hmm. Jameer ate your greatest granddaddy and then lied about it and ran a smear campaign. Wow. What the hell clan was I playing? <clears throat> Sound like I even remember. All I remember is I was using quote unquote blood magic. Rick Schaefer. <clears throat> I was Tremere? Okay. Well, then what was the clan of that, like, villain guy? The one in the office building. 
because I wasn't the same clan as him. <laughs> Why? I need to know what happens if I jump down there. Probably nothing good, but I need to know. It might be treasure. You never know, right? You never know. It was Ventru. Okay. Yeah, it was Tremere then. Oh. I was right about nothing good. <laughs> East Wing, I think? Whoops, that's the wrong one. This one. Mm. I had to try, Sayaka. You right. Shit. Hold on. I forgot. One sec, one sec. There you go. Let's you see which ones are fake. It's very cool. The enemies are kind of stupid in here, aren't they? Mm -mm. I didn't play Malkavian because I was told not to do that for a first playthrough. <laughs> and I agree after beating it. I think that was the right advice. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 what a dick. Oh, man. Wow, that was ruthless. Can I use this in midair? I can. That's really funny. A true loot goblin must plumb the depths. Indeed. <clears throat> Toriador. Mm -mm. Like Nosferatu. Those are the ones that look disfigured, right? How do I expect you to pick one favorite animal? You can pick more than one. Just tell us why, that's all. Oi. Back to the pit. Mm -mm. Ow. Ow. <laughs> the snipes on that thing. Right, HQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A foulness. Thanks again for the raid. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again. Do 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 This is a really cool zone right here. Oh, that almost got me. <laughs> There we go. Well, he hit me on his way down. All right, he earned that one. I'll chill here and get my HP back. They were the stealth class, gotcha. One of them are owl singing for favorite animal because your dad used to collect them. And when he passed away, you got his whole collection. Like owl figurines or something? You once had a Nosferatu who was a former boxer in a tabletop game. The mix of strength and stealth made him downright terrifying in a fight. That's cool. That's really cool. 
Ooh, look at this. Priorities, okay. Adol Christian. I can't believe you've come. It me. Tell me, do you know what's happening? No. I mean, yeah, I do. Adol explained everything that had occurred and informed the bishop that he had come in search of Ellen. Imagine them just standing there for like an hour while Adol just explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, Cinny. I like that. I see. So Ellen is here as well. Now, I know this might sound like a dumb question, but different animals live in different parts of the world. Are there owls in the Netherlands? It pains me to say that Chester is the one who locked me in here. He did so immediately after everyone in the castle began to transform. I spoke with him. I inquired as to his objective, and in brief, he actually told me. It seems he intends to use the castle's clock tower to release the energy of the statues. Count Maguire had it built several years ago, <laughs> and I believe it functions as more than a simple timepiece. Fucking <laughs> maze. It's always the boat. Simichi? What are the Simichi? Plenty of different owls in the Netherlands. Yeah, cool. You have several stone owls, barn owls, and great horned owls. Cool. Yeah, I don't know which animals are indigenous to which, you know, continents or regions of the world. We got all kinds in, you know, the US because there's so many different biomes and it's a huge, huge country. So I'm sure there are a lot of animals out here that Europe doesn't have any of. So I wasn't sure if owls were one of those or not. Do we have owls in Illinois? We do, yeah. I don't know which kind though. <laughs> Sumichi are the flesh sculptors. They do unspeakable things to bodies with vicissitude. Interesting. Was that lady that you meet in the hospital in Bloodlines, was she Sumichi then? She was like a succubus almost. Theoretically, it interferes with the vein of spirits that runs beneath Velgana, redirecting its flow. If true, the Count may have used this device to harness the statue's powers from afar, creating monsters. I would say at least in the region where I am right now, as far as animals go, the most common are squirrels, chipmunks, deer, um, there are foxes, um, tons of different kinds of birds, uh, bats as well. We have bats. They were actually uh, raised here to combat mosquitoes. Um, what else do we see out here a lot? I'm trying to think. Like those are the most common. Snakes, plenty of snakes in the woods. Pretty much all invariably harmless. A spider lady was a different bloodline. One of the Meiji ones. Okay. Spider lady. She was a spider lady? Hmm. Okay. I don't remember that part. But it's been a while. Likely, his true goal was to track their locations. So he could fully unleash their powers for his own deification. Chester beat him to it and brought about the dark mist that hangs within these halls. Oh, is that the guy that looked like a demon? Slappy. It twists the minds of the people it touches, transforming them, changing them into bloodthirsty beasts. Wow. And sadly, those affected by this mist are lost to us forever. That's the guy? Okay, I remember that guy. cannot be undone. Adol, please, you must stop Chester. His desire for revenge may be justified in as much as it can be. But in seeking this revenge, he has sinned most deeply. Okay. Elena's pendant in the chapel. 
a secret door in the chapel. You have squirrels, foxes, and deer too, and badgers, beavers, and raccoons. I don't think we have badgers here in the Chicago area. We might have beavers. We definitely have raccoons. I forgot about raccoons. Trash pandas are everywhere out here. I see them by the dumpsters all the time. They they are pretty brave too. They don't care. They just ignore us. What's up, Belvin? How are you today, man? Nagaraja was the, the hospital lady. Okay. I just remember thinking she was hot, which I don't even know if that's true. When did I get that amulet? What's this? Oh, the Holy Cross. Okay. All right, let's go to that, uh, whatever you call it, chapel, chapel. Hello and good night. Well, fair enough, Belvin. Fair enough, man. Thank you for your lurk. Appreciate that. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, they're like that, Dermis. Yeah, I don't know, Slappy. I don't know much about the clans of VTM. Vampire the Masquerade. Mm. Hot, but kind of crazy. Yeah, I... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I won't say it anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. They don't get on with other vampires. I think this is the way I need to go. That. That. Oh man, I thought I had that jump. Ow! Quit it! Alright, stone shoes. I hope I find a better sword soon. Oh! That frame stutter threw me off. I'm not making excuses. Shut up. No one said that. Just my brain. My anxiety brain said that. Oh, man. I can't do this no more. My timing's all off. A type. Honestly, my type is creatives, artists, so painters, singers, cosplayers, entertainers. That's my type, generally speaking. The creative types. Those are my favorite kind of ladies, typically. But, like we had that discussion before, a type doesn't mean everything else is excluded or is lesser, right? It's just, that tends to catch my attention first. I think it was this way. I can't remember. I'm trying to get to the chapel. Yeah, this is it. Okay, cool. One of the keys is missing. Okay. Where am I supposed to get that? Uh, well, 
We're missing something. <laughs> you thought it? <laughs> oh. That's your track record? I see, Slappy. Types are just a weakness in a sense. Doesn't mean the other things can't hit you, though. There you go. That's a really funny way of making a freaking Pokemon analogy to people I'm attracted to. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Oh, that needs to be a tweet. <laughs> Yeah, the vampy gals. I need to, like, brain reset around them. Mm -hmm. All right. Where is the broken key at? You like to write poems, sometimes lyrical. It's not much, but you'll take what you can get. That's a creative. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sure it's surprising to no one, but I tend to lean towards the creative ones, especially the ones with a good sense of style, like cosplayers. Did we beat Scooby? We beat Scooby, yeah. We we brought enough Scooby stacks on the win snacks on the winning attempt. <laughs> Does anyone know where the, uh, the piano key is? I feel like I've explored everything, but I guess not. I'm not sure what I missed. All right, we're here again. Red 12, nice. Mm -hmm. ah. So many enemies. You're so bouncy. I needed a little revenge. What's up here? Did I go up here? I don't think I went this way. Let's go this way. I'm pretty sure I didn't go this way. That's probably where it is, right? Oh, okay, she's going to go that way. Have a nice trip. This song goes so fucking hard. It's so good. I have to keep reminding myself I'm trying to swear less better for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I don't want some of my viewers who, you know, have young kids to feel like they can't watch anymore. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that was so worth it. Torpals. Whee! Oh, well, that was a lucky jump. That was a well-hidden treasure, I gotta say. Guy almost got me. There we go. All right, here we go. Pieces. They seem to be Mother, fine. Someone's here. Talk to a little girl and she'll give it to you. Thank you. It goes way harder than it has any business to, but that's easy. Yeah, and Falcom, right? Don't come any closer. Wow, that's really nice art right there. 
Also, mom's hot. She is. I won't let you lay a finger on my children. Adol gave his name I've and reassured the woman tits. that he had no intention of hurting anyone. Does she? I can't see them. She just got a nice look, all right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, the combat, Lemon, when you get, like, just locked in in the combat. Oh. Truly? Indeed. The combat's really fun. Your eyes are clear. Quite unlike those who've been corrupted by the vile mist. All right, then. I am convinced you come with no malicious intent. Let's hope she's a good judge of character. My name is Elizabetha. I'm Count Maguire's betrothed. Okay. These are our children, Alice and Kristoff. Master Adol, was it? Might I inquire as to why you've come to this castle, much less this chamber? How'd she get I up here with all those broken the stairs? At hand to the Countess. <laughs> I see. So Chester spoke the truth. He locked us in here for our safety and told me much the same story. Interesting. He said that my husband had slaughtered the people of the island to further his own ambitions. That's correct. If that is indeed the truth, then I would agree. It is entirely unforgivable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As his wife, I share the burden of that sin. Sumo. And I am prepared to answer for it. Adol slaughtered the entire family. My children do not. <laughs> they are innocent souls, untainted by this despicable act. The staff as well. I believe that Sir Stoddard's actions are unjustifiable, even under such uniquely unpleasant circumstances. I do what I can to make amends for my husband's actions. I'll see to it that he answers for them at the least. But I can do nothing from this room. I dare not leave it with the castle in such a state. Mm. Please, Master Adol, will you put a stop to this before it grows any worse than it already is? I refuse. Time has weighed heavily on my husband ever since he was sent to this land. I came from Rom to wed him. This castle was his gift to me. A show of his influence, an effort to impress. Imagine just giving someone a castle. Several years ago, I consented upon the addition of a clock tower. A rare fixture, even in Rome, much less here. The mist came from that clock tower. If my consent contributed to the horrors these innocent people now face, then I am just as guilty as he. Okay. Chester had such an angry look on his face, like a demon. What happened to him? Did Low somebody key. hurt him? Thanks for hanging with he us. He said he has a grudge against father, and he wants revenge. That's right, kiddo. What does that mean? I don't know those words. What's a grudge? What's revenge? And why does he want it? Do you see what Chester did to me? He locked me up in here like I was a misbehaving cat. Is it true? That's no way to treat a lady. He should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> so I thought if I'm a cat, then I'm going to act like one. And I clawed at him as he left. Mother pulled me away. But before she did, I managed to knock something out of his pocket. Crafty you little know one. what it is. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah, Lemon, that's... That's a, a serious, long-standing tradition all the way back to the first game. <laughs> They've been doing that. It's why every time it happens, people say, but thou must. So even the first game did that to you. The king in the first game, like, asks you to do something and you could say no. And he just goes, but thou must. And then you just, you just have to keep choosing until you say yes. <laughs> So like DQ11 plays it up. Like it's very self-aware. It's really good at it.
There's a treasure! Oh, that's a good spot to be. Jesus. Do 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 uh, is it this way? Maybe. Ouch. Ow. She threw a dagger in my butt. I'm so glad you can change momentum in air when you're jumping. That's so cool. Look at this. Boop, 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 boop. See? Just makes it so much more fun to do. <laughs> Son, Grudge is a horror movie from the 2000s. That's right. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to save. Do, 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 do. I think it was this way. No. I can't remember how to get to the chapel now. Well, fuck. Was it this way? It wasn't. It wasn't. I'm going the wrong way. Dude. She got some moxie. Yeah. Scrappy. Scrappy young lass. Oh, that still clipped me. All right, so we're going to the chapel. There's a supposed secret entrance. Oh, I still have those equipped. Never unequipped them. Whoops. I think it was this way. This way. Yeah, this looks right. <laughs> yeah, huh? Woo. <clears throat> Let's see what this does. how to play the pipe organ. <clears throat> how about that? Who taught him that? I don't know any instruments. Maybe I should learn one someday. What do you think? Dude, dude, dude. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Look at this. Oh, secret underground passage. All right, let me equip this cape. What the fuck? Defeated five or more enemies except Mora's Goose at the same time. Okay. We got an achievement. <laughs> Learn the theremin. Oh, man. <clears throat> Music's a good outlet. It's worth considering. What? What? That's the treasure down there. And Vase is like, fuck. All right. Jeez, man. Calm down. A hurdy gurdy is 1,000. Yeah. I know you have other financial priorities right now. Oh. Jesus. Those things are annoying. Mm -mm -mm. Your friend told you keyboard's a good start because it's all there. And you assume it's got less physical tricks to it. Makes sense. Oh, 
How we get that? We want that. It's probably going to involve some kind of backtracking. Look at all these disgusting bugs. Gross. There you go. That <laughs> feels good. I couldn't tell what that thing was hitting me with. That was weird. What? I can't get up there? Oh, But I wanna... I guess I can't. Okay. There's some very expensive instruments and considering Herdy are not easy to build and not very popular, they are expensive. Oh, are you job seeking again, Salmica? Yeah, good luck. You can do it. Trying to find something you can work maybe remote or with less groups of people. Like an overnight something. Get a recorder. Oh, yeah, those are dirt cheap. That would definitely at least be an entry, you know, to get you going with it again. Mm, up or down? I bet down is the right way. Boost mode is fun. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack. I feel like I'm kind of going off course here. Doodle -doo -doo, doodle -doo 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 -doo. Oh dear, more bugs. What the hell? That thing dropped a fart bomb on me. Gotcha, Selmica. Looks like there's higher floor in here. Ow, what the? Stop it. Okay. So we got some options here, huh? I don't know why this is here. Tin whistle. What's a tin whistle? An affordable instrument to learn that's extremely validating singing. I don't know if Selica would like singing. Judging by conversations I've had with them before, I think that would not be the best choice. Unless that's really something that they want to dive head first into. You don't mind going back into IT and IT being able to do night shifts is a big advantage on higher ability since so few people want that kind of shift. You just don't want anything with any kind of customer service. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Selmica. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> <clears throat> Tin whistles are well-known Irish whistles. Huh, okay. You've told me so many times that, so I was like, the singing sounds like the last thing you want to do with how much, how many times you've expressed to me your reservations about your voice. That. Nah. Okay, that thing's annoying. There we go. Uh. Aha! There we go. Okay, what's this? 
It's a jerk enemy. That's what it is. Treasure down there. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, okay. What the? <laughs> I was trying to boost and I got the treasure. <laughs> That was cool. That was mucho fun. Look at this. Battle saber infused with fire, able to cleave through rock. Yeah. I like the, uh, the weapon sprites that this has. They all look really cool. Do -do 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 -do. Learning to speak more properly and second the massive voice dysphoria. Right. <clears throat> you learned that was just your gender dysphoria? Yeah. I I know. <laughs> it's like I was telling with you, I had suspicions for years, but I wasn't gonna be like, hey, you ever think about this? Like that would have been so fucking stupid. <laughs> I've been told by many friends, you never, ever do that. And I agree. <laughs> I, I agree with them. Well, I think there was some more treasure in there that I didn't get. And I kind of want to give that a little examination. Wow. You see how much more damage I'm doing? Whoa! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Chat. I got the full suit of battle armor. His sprite changed. That looks cool. That looks really cool. It's the full battle armor sprite. Awesome. Treasure time! Yeah, I know, right? It's dope, woman. There we go. All right, so there's one right there. I, that might be the only one I saw. I'll go ahead and get that. There you go. There's a little, little cash and prizes there. These things are disgusting. Okay. Whew. What a mess, huh? Did we figure out how to get up? Oh, we did. That's how we got the battle sword, isn't it? Trans people calling people eggs. You don't get to make that. Yeah, someone else, they have to come to their, their own realization, right? That makes sense, Elnica. Go this way. Did we go up there? Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Did we go up there? I'm not sure, but I want to find out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I think so. Yeah, okay, it's just the same spot. All right, cool. Let's go. Aha! A save point. And Talia, for you, singing and speaking are very different. You dislike your speaking voice a lot, and you make a lot of weird pronunciations, and your accent is noticeable, but you like your singing voice, and your English gets more clean when singing. Interesting. Hold on, that was a music change. But this is a boss. Let's go. You ready for a boss? I'm ready for a boss. Boss time. Uh, oh, that looks friendly. Zidoros, the clockwork cannon. Oh, well, that didn't do anything. Neither did that. Neither did that. Okay. What is this, a super boss? What are we dealing with here? Hold on, maybe I charge this up. Invincible. Ow. There's a gimmick here and I'm not seeing it yet. Oh my God. Oh, I think I have to hit his butt. Yeah, I gotta hit his butt. <laughs> I gotta hit his butt. Doo -doo. I've never seen the term being considered derogatory. I just think the problem is when you quote unquote try to crack the egg and not let the person come out on their own, right? That's that's been the impression I've been given. Right, yeah, I thought that they were the ones that chose the the term. Mmm, that was minimal damage. Okay. We'll try this. Damn, he's slippery. Woo! Oh, that didn't do very much. Alright, let's try fireball on its butt. Okay. I think just hitting it is the best. Actually, I haven't tried this charge stuff yet. Oh, God. That's pretty good. We'll do that. Ow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does this thing have doomsday laser? Oh. <laughs> God. Nah. I don't know how to dodge these things. These things are nasty. Oh. You don't call somebody an egg, they can't. Correct. That's what Cindy said chosen by themselves. Dude. Sounds rude is an assumption. I guess it could be. It could be. You made it in time for Zoid fight. Oh, you know this thing, huh? This boss just care about your health and wants to give you some luminotherapy. Okay, I'll try it, yeah. Clockwork Kamehameha. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, jump! Oh, too slow. I'm not sure how to avoid those. Those, like, seeking missiles. <laughs> Jesus.
Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Wow, I'm almost dead already. That's fun. <laughs> How are you supposed to dodge that? <laughs> Just. Do it. Oops. Here, this is what I think of. Just do it. There you go. Just delete your message. <laughs> Same as Motsy. Every time he says that shit, I delete it. Clockwork Cannon has got you wound up. Sorry, Slappy. It was a misfire. Well, hi, kitty. Are you here to visit? Are you here to visit? Are you here to visit? Bam! Look. I'm going to misfire every time. Slappy got hit twice. Oh, my God. Oh my god. This is why I'm not a mod in any fucking channel. Because I can't do it. <laughs> this is why I'm always so bothered when there aren't any around. Because I can't fucking do it. <laughs> it's like, well, if I get raided or something. Or trolls. It's like, oh dear. This is going to be a time. Oh. Wow, what happened on that attempt? <laughs> Slappy's taking, yeah, a lot of collateral damage. It's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Oh, thank you, Wickety. I appreciate you right now. These things ruin the fight. These freaking heat seeking things. No, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> uh, uh. Hmm, something just hit me there. I wonder what it was. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did it hit me five times? Seriously, where are the iframes? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Some damage, not much though. I don't know why I keep getting like pushed around like that. There we go, that was pretty good. Oh man, not these things again. No, stay away! Why does it hit me six times? <laughs> Guess who hasn't moved yet because they haven't given you the key. Oh man, it sounds like the place you're moving to is not good. Is it your moving day today? 
Like, did you go to the leasing office or whatever it is? Oh! We're still in it. That was a good attempt. That was a really good attempt. Oh, we almost got him that time. Purple Rhino? No, I'm nowhere near as funny as he is. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Good God. I also don't have a Boston accent. So I could probably do a shitty one. Okay. Oh God, double jump. Yeah. What's it doing? Oh boy, these things. Here we go. What the f <laughs> This thing is so fucking rude. Mm. This is the most annoying boss in the game, isn't it? Whoa. Whoa. I kind of got a little stuck there, didn't it? Oh, Jesus. I don't even know what hit me that time. They're not on the key because the workers are fixing stuff haven't given it back yet. So, are the workers like there? Can't you just be like, get out? <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to deal with those missile things. Which ore do I have? Okay. If this gets bad enough, I think I could do this, but if I get stuck, I can always go back to town and upgrade the sword. What the f Why does that happen? It just like randomly pushes me. Not worth it. Woo! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. What's that? That's ads, isn't it? Okay. <sighs> Died over 10 times on a single boss is an achievement in this game. Are you for real? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's just rude. Like seriously? <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, we got an achievement for sucking, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Trying to call your ISP is a nightmare. Did you not call him ahead of time? Bully achievements, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's rude. I'd never get that. Oh my god. Cyfreak. <laughs> Cyfreak. I'm too good at video games. I would never see that. Okay. You streamed some of these, didn't you? Cyfreak, didn't you stream some of the East games? Now that I think about it. What's up, Pen Dragon? How you doing? Oh, hi, little lady. You streamed seven, eight, nine. I thought I thought you played some of the newer ones. Yeah, I think I lurked in one or two of those. I like to hop in your channel sometimes and be like, "All right, how's his encode look? Does he have unreasonable encoding settings?" Yes, is always the answer. You played all of them. That was well before you streamed. Gotcha. Oh, you're such a sweet old gal. You're such a sweet old gal. Can't wait for 10 to come out. Do we have a, a timetable on that one yet? I heard that one's going to have a lot more like sailing in it. Like more Norse mythology oriented. Is that true? Because that sounds kind of cool to me. You got a little scratchy kitty cat? Step. Oh, man. Mm hmm. There's a cat. She's chilling hard. She's being a cute old gal. There you go. There you go. Hair across. Hair across is pretty good. You got a scratch? Okay. You want help? You got it? Okay. Here. No, no, no. Stop looking. I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> Cat stream. When isn't it, right? I thought for sure we could beat this tonight, but. Well, you know. Maybe. Maybe. It's close. Probably not, but maybe. Alright. What do you got for me? Upgrade this. Yes. This the one? Uh-huh. Good to go. This the one? Good to go. Is it good to go? Mm -hmm. This the one? Good to come again. All right. December 28th is a Japanese release date. Okay. Don't jump. Do, 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 do. Strong bug. I don't even have my fingers on the controller yet. The uh the jump button is what I meant to say. My upgrades have not helped. <laughs> uh what do you do about these stupid things? <laughs> Fuck off! Do I have to kill this boss? Does anyone know? How much damage was that? Like 400. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, those things are everywhere. Here we go. Yeah, all that no damage. <laughs> Come on, stay away. I wish there was a way to run faster. Like, I don't, just don't get it. You see that? They just hunt you down. I do for now, Dignity. Uh, if I wanted Dignity, I wouldn't be fighting this at all. Mm, Rooks, yeah, you nailed it. You nailed it. Wow, that just destroys me. avenge myself the best way to avenge myself is to walk away from bullshit so does anyone know is this boss required You don't know the boss's name? Me either. You do know how to deal with the homing missiles? All right. Oh, jeez. The thing just like keeps pooping out spike balls everywhere. They're like turds with needles in them. <laughs> Just needle turds everywhere. You can't spell dignity without tiny dig. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Nature's counter balls. What are those things called? Burrs, right? I think they're called burrs. I recommend if you play this, you change the uh, button assignments. Because attack. I'm having a claw hammer to play this game. If that means anything to you. Attack is the left button on the, the button pad, and jump is the right button. So I'm having to do this the whole time that I'm doing shit like this. Because I have to hold attack down to charge up. It's fucking painful. <laughs> Uh. 
the first thing you heard was tiny dig dig oh Woo. I got lucky I dodged that one and that one I'll take luck How the fuck do you deal with those? <laughs> God. Ugh. Sydney's got tiny dick on the mind. I see how you are. I'm just messing with you. This is fine if he just doesn't do homing missiles. Oh, look, homing missiles. Wait, what? It's dead. Oh, okay. I still don't know how to deal with him. I was just getting lucky because he wasn't using them. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Mega Man games are really bad with that lemon. The button assignment. So wait, what is the right? Let's see what this is. A cutscene. Oh, it's Elena. Well, that was clearly not optional. What are you doing here? Wow. Bow 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 bow. Bow, bow. Yo, thanks for the GG's, Zyfreak and Cinny. And, and Rooks. Thanks, Rooks. Look at the hecky emote. Hecky's good peeps. Adol detailed everything that had occurred and returned Eleanor's pendant to her. And then he relieved himself in the corner because he was really nervous after that boss. Oh. <laughs> I, I really don't know how to thank you. I feel like I've done nothing but cause trouble for you ever since you arrived. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You came all this way for me and brought me my dearest possession, no less. Ah, her pendant. Thank okay. you, Adol. You're welcome. Chester finally told me everything. Twelve years ago, our home was destroyed by monsters. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty awkwardly time-based. Uh, let's see if any enterprising individuals have clipped of that. He plans to get revenge on Count McGuire for it. I think we've had one clip in the last three days. <laughs> Which is a big indicator to me that I need to step my game up. I understand his feelings, but I don't agree with them. I think he's wrong to do what he's doing. Yes, he is wrong. He shouldn't involve innocent people in his own selfish quest for vengeance. He stabbed Doggy in the chest. Or It'll Doggy. It'll make him no better than the Count himself. Is that what it said? Lemon, the sun Pokemon. That makes sense, because I think its initial evolution requirement was to level it up near this stone thing during the day. I tried to tell him that, but he just wouldn't listen to me. Right, Umbreon, Espeon? I think that was their original evolution criteria. It's a little odd. Like, I wouldn't call it that, but it makes sense in that context. I don't think he believes he even can turn back at this point. Not after stabbing Dogi. But if he manages to carry out this whole scheme, then... He really won't be able to turn back. So please, Adol, mm -hmm. stop him. Stop him from making the biggest mistake of his life. You got any swords? No? She didn't have any swords. You're Adol, I assume? Uh-huh. Elena told me all about you. Who are you? I'm Bob, a miner's apprentice from Redmont. Hi, hey, Bob. Yeah, I'm the guy everybody thinks is dead, apparently. Died when that bridge collapsed, according to Elena. In actuality, I've just been locked up in this dungeon the whole time. I don't even know how long it's been. Hey, Bob. 
And I was just working like usual, minding my own business, when Chester and a bunch of soldiers came out of nowhere. I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but I just so happened to overhear them discussing some of McGuire's plans. He doesn't look like a Bob. A Bob is a dude about my weight or 100 pounds more with a cop stash who eats Polish sausage and watches the Chicago Bears religiously. Okay, that's a Bob. That's a Bob. All right. I knew I was in trouble, so I tried to hide. They found me, arrested me. Mining his own business. <laughs> Fucking Cypher, get out. <laughs> a Robbie? He's a Robbie, yeah. I bet Grandma's worried sick. Okay. Mm. Did you really beat that huge mechanical beast? Spoke guarding with a every character in the game at least once. Yes! <laughs> You're unbelievable. I got caught by Chester coming out of the clock tower when I was fleeing for dear life from all my zombie co workers. They got the mine, Bob got the shaft. Hey! Jokes. Rooks has got him. I tried to get away from him, but I was so exhausted from running and so confused by what was going on. Come to think of it, what was Chester doing in the clock tower to begin with? Uh, he is a he is a watch hobby. He makes watches. I don't know if that's where you were planning on going, but if it is, you'll probably need this. Ha ha ha! Key item, probably necessary. Not. Not. Don't you worry that. about no, me. Sorry. I intend to find myself an opening, take it, and get the hell out of here. Okay. You can't rush it though, or I'll be caught again or killed. I need to plot out the shortest, safest escape route. I know, just jump off the tower into the moat. And until I do, this cell isn't any more dangerous than anywhere else. I'll just stay here and keep an eye on these two. Okay. Let's go. Whew, that was a frustrating boss. But we did it. A little tenacity, right? Just a little bit's nasty. All right, new song. Ready? You nightclub lovers are probably going to like this one. What am I slipping on? Fuck. These things create ice physics? It's like Falcom went out of their way to make the most annoying enemy possible. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Uh, doesn't matter how much I like a game. There's always going to be something, no matter how good a game is. It's like, oh, come on, guys. We know what's good in this game. We're hearing it. And the combat? Oh, I want more games with combat like this. A lot more games. This is the kind of stuff that I can get really sucked into. Good old ARPGs, you know? We've been on a huge ARPG kick lately. Did anyone notice that? It wasn't intentional. Either. It's good, right? It's a good one. Here, let me give you a little bump for that, folks. You're gonna hear the clock here. Oh, it still makes the clock noise. Um, yeah, look at all the ARPGs I've played lately. East 1 and 2, this. Secret or Evermore, Terra Enigma. Um, there was one other. What was it? Oh, Dark Cloud One and Two. We've just been doing ARPGs like nonstop, and it's totally not been intentional. It's just kind of happened that way. The shopkeeper keepers. A hey. early two thousands. Yeah. I heard music like this in nightclubs in college. <laughs> it's a pretty good track, though. I like the part after this right here. It's a good breakdown. Do, 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 do. Is this stuff you dance to at an anime convention rave? Interesting. Play H3, man! <laughs> I 
<laughs> uh, the only time I ever heard music like that once there was some guy who was trying to become a DJ and after trying and nagging the bar owners enough they let him do a set okay of music and he kept fucking up the transitions so the poor guy was nervous I fell for him and when I, I, I remember his last song distinctly because after that they kicked him out he played that fucking remix that was like all over Napster, the the Tetris remix, the Let's Play Tetris motherfucker in that robotic voice, and then it's like the Tetris song that's like techno. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone on the dance floor started laughing. <laughs> dude was out of touch oh man of distinction this was like 2002 or 2003 everyone knew it yeah so I mean you gotta laugh out of the crowd but the like the the house DJ is like all right that's enough <laughs> they're like you're done your set's over no it, it got the cloud the the crowd moving you know in a way where they couldn't do anything but laugh. <laughs> like a freaking song. Like, man. All I can hope is that dude learned his lesson, didn't try that again, and got better gigs later. Because, damn. That was certainly a decision he made. Ooh, these things hit like trucks. Holy smokes. Oh my god, they're dropping just gravel ore now. I think it's the first time we've seen any enemies do that. Better do a heal. It was like the most popular club in the town too, so I think they were trying to keep their reputation intact. <laughs> oh god. This is Castlevania. Who said that? You're totally right. You're spot on. It's totally Castlevania now, isn't it? See what did that do? Oh, that moves now. Okay. Well, that's fine. Mm -mm. There's something over there. There is, but it's too high up. Maybe not. Oh, we gotta get that chat. You see that? Something got in my way, though. <clears throat> the game might be telling me something. Wait, what's it telling me? Ruby? Now we have three rubies. How about that? Let's see what this fully, fully, fully charged does now. Ow. Or I run face first into rusty spikes. Let's do that. Uh, I don't know. It just does more damage, I guess. It looks the same. Upgrade yo shit. I would. I can't, though. I don't have enough, but I'll keep it in mind. pretty slick 
<laughs> oh, I see. There you go. Dropping keyboard inputs, USB issues. You think he's more of a Trico or Torchic trainer? Torchic. It's the red hair, right? It's the red hair. It says it all, doesn't it? All right, there's nothing up there. That was impressive. Hmm. Oh, okay. Was what? That was weird. Since it's a PC at work, you're going to troubleshoot that? Oh, yeah. I mean, first thing I would say is USB, but you're way more of an expert on that stuff than I am. So let us know. <laughs> There's treasure down there, and I want it. Ravel or What is that statue I got? Homestar statue. Oh. We're recollecting the statues that I got before, right? That's not naughty, nauseating even a little bit. Yeah. Just a shortcut. Mm -hmm. You expect this dungeon to be full of steel types. Although you stand by your Castlevania take. Yeah. Yeah, I think you were spot on with that, honestly. Man, those guys take hits. Oh, we can't go in there yet. Okay. Sunset? I'm pretty sure that's the second one. Yeah, Lemon, right? I guess the statues are the locking mechanism here for whatever reason. Hill. Come on, dude. What the fuck? I hit that guy and it made no noise. Did you hear that? What? What? What just happened? I gotta be careful. What the? F I'm healing right here. Jesus. Okay. 12 hit points. Hell yeah, Azure. It's really good. I highly recommend it. If you want more gameplay exactly like this, you can do Ease Origin or Ease 6. I think they are the same engine. Origin has multiple characters, too. Oh, is the ice physics? Okay. You enjoy that nap, Brooks. Who's emo is that? Oh, it's my BTTV. Hell yeah. You know what? I don't have to fight these. Mm. 
Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that was cool. <laughs> Holy shit. You can kind of exploit these ice physics with that. That's got to be Deramus. No, he already said hi. Who is that? Crudis, what's up, man? Yeah, Tax, how you doing today? Dead end? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. For 100 bits, Azure. This is the actual in game music. Mm -hmm. My favorite animal is sharks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because there are many different ones. Yeah, yeah. And they live as long as turtles. Mm, yeah. And they look cool. They do look pretty cool. I agree. Thank you for 100 bits. <laughs> Falcom is the dev. They made the Ease games, Legend of Heroes games, and they always go really, really fucking hard with their soundtracks. Hi. What up, Hog? How you doing? Did I say hi yet? Maybe. I don't remember. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's a bad spot to be. Can I go on these? They almost look like you should be able to. Yeah, if you like this music, I, I believe Falcom tends to put their entire like video game discography on Spotify. Like they know they make good music, so they make sure people have access. started Cold Steel 2 and compared to the other Trails games, the battle tune's a bit underwhelming. Oh, well, that's too bad, Sinny. That's pretty uncommon for them, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't want to go in there. Listen to it regularly on Spotify. Nice. The oldest shark, green and green and sharks can live over 500 years. Wow. I know it's not surprising, but my answer was cat. That's not gonna, you know, shock anyone. Mm -hmm. Greenland. Okay. I kill his teammate? <coughs> Why a cat? I think that they were in my life for the first 10 years of my life. So like it as a kid, like, they were just always there until I was 10. And I think the the loyalty that they, sh they showed to me kind of instilled, you know, that concept in me. Like, my cats when I, when I was a kid were... 
they they didn't care about anyone but me like you know like they they were just always there so I don't know like loyalty I like their unpredictability I like their independence that they're low maintenance there's a lot of reasons All right, here we go. Ooh, those things don't like fire, huh? You keep getting random cravings for certain SE games. And every time you think you want to play it, you remember they're redoing more of their library. Should you just wait for the inevitable remaster and don't play it? Is it just you? I don't know if it's just you, but it's definitely not me. <laughs> Selica. I don't share that mindset at all, personally. I don't think a potential remaster, especially one that has zero evidence of existing, is a good excuse to not play a game I want to play. <clears throat> like, if I want to play a game, I'm going to play it. I don't care. But that's just how I do it. grew up with dogs I'm assuming you don't have one anymore right <laughs> like I can start Let's say, I don't know. Sorry, my brain has been mush all night, so apologies. Thank you for your patience, everyone. <laughs> I could start. Let's say I started Parasite Eve tomorrow. I'm not, but let's just assume, right? I'm not streaming tomorrow. And then the day after they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make this remaster. I'm not gonna stop playing it Because then let's say that the remaster comes out What do I suddenly can't play that one now because I just played the original Let's say I don't feel like playing a new one. So what it's not like it's gonna disappear the day after it comes out Like that literally happened to me <laughs> during my Chrono Cross streams. Halfway through the playthrough when I was streaming, they announced the remaster of Chrono Cross. I was like, oh, that's cool. Everyone's like, you gonna play? I was like, no, probably not. Maybe eventually. You have two cats and a dog? Have you ever shared pictures of any of them? How did I not know that? Did I just forget? I probably forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. We got one of these puzzles. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy, honestly. Oh, I didn't get the statue, though. Where the hell is that at? Oh, you know what? That's it right there. It's a rescue from Bulgaria and you have her for 10 years. Wow, that's great. Your cat's a rescue cat? Yeah, both of my cats were from a shelter. So was my previous cat. You did? Okay. Yeah, I guess I just forgot. Oh, jeez. I fell like almost all the way down. Ah! 
Now I have fallen all the way down. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's all right. What the? They like behind it? What's going on there? I don't know. That's weird. What? There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Those guys hit so hard. <laughs> do, 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 do. These guys are troublesome. I was heal here. That looks really cool. You know, I was just about to say, this looks like a good spot for a safe point. <laughs> There's one right there. You're, you're loyal to me. How can you be from Genos Island? I, I, I know. I know what I've done, okay? You don't need to do this. Wow, he sounds really meek now. Please, just hear me out. I only wanted to use the demon's power to make Felgana into a strong and powerful nation. Oh, okay, Cinny. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I was just going to ask the people of the island for their assistance. Fatigue headache. Hmm. <laughs> nope, it's Maguire. I never <laughs> gave any orders to exterminate them. I swear. I hope he gets stabbed. It was a mistake. I never intended for things to turn out the way they did. He's gone full chump. He really has. It's the God's honest truth. I swear it. Please, believe me. It's not my fault. How pathetic. <clears throat> Even now, you still seek to worm your way out of all responsibility for what you've done? Mm-hmm. I don't imagine the men... Women and children you sacrificed are of the same mind on this. All of this. Every last bit of it was caused by your own foolish ambition and greed. It was just a big oopsie doopsie. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you will pay for your crimes against my people. First in blood. And then I've no doubt your immortal soul will follow. <laughs> I've told you before, you are not to interfere. What a shriek that was. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we should let him do this that. This is my affair. It does not concern you. Okay, those swords look dope. If you insist on getting in my way, those look badass. I'll cut you down, just as I did Dogi. No doggy. Anga! Take that! Gotcha! Here we go! Oh god, that <laughs> fucked me up. <laughs> Take that! Here we go! Zero! Take that! Gotcha! Here we go! Here we go! <clears throat> Told you not to get in my way. <clears throat> Anga! Take that! Gotcha! Here we go! Take that! Here we go! Take that! Here we go! Take Zero. that! Gotcha! Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> what the fuck? Is Take he just that. like... Okay. Gotcha. I don't think you can use any go. magic on him. One. Take that. Gotcha. <laughs> one. <laughs> Is it no one? Chance. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. 
Where's that? Take that. Oh, he's just blocking. Okay. Here we go. Take that. No chance. <clears throat> Whoa! What Take the? That. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. Take that. Whoa. I don't know when you're supposed to hit him. Here we go. He seems to Take do counterattacks. <clears throat> Told you not to get in my way. Are we fighting McGuire? No, oh, God no. Alright, he just seems invulnerable to all magic, except fire, which does one go. damage. Take that! Gotcha! <clears throat> Here we go! Here we no chance! Here we go! Here we go! Take that! I think I have to wait for him to do that, Take that. Gotcha. spear attack he's doing. Take that. Here we go. That. Yeah. <clears throat> that seems to Take be the that. only time. Gotcha. This is going to take go. a while. Hit points. We totally got this. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Oh God. Here we go. What? What? He didn't do that before. Told you not to get in my way. <laughs> Wouldn't blocking be nice, right? You can interrupt this spin. Spin. Gotcha. Okay, I'll try. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. What the? I did it. Work. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. No check. I cannot interrupt that. No. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. That hit me. Fuck. Okay. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Eat this. No, eat this. All right, so that doesn't work either. Told you not to get in my way. You thought you saw me do it earlier? Maybe I did. I want to block. Gotcha. <laughs> Let me block. Here we go. <laughs> he doesn't Take let that. me block, and that's just gotcha. rude. Here we go. Take that. Here we go. Whoa. Here we go. That's just a free hit he gets, Take I that. guess. Gotcha. Oh, Take that. come on. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Take that. Gotcha. All right, what, a third of the way or so? Here we go. Blah. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Take that. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. <laughs> Fuck! Here we go! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I still got him. No, I didn't. Oh no! Now he's doing this little zippy teleporties. Take that! Here we go! Take that! Here we go! Take that! Gotcha! Here we go! Take that! Here we go! Gotcha. He's got me. Here we go. Oh, that was my opening. I still got something out of it. Not worth it. It's too late. Gotcha. Here we go. <laughs> Told you not to get in my way. I'm not sure what to do about that when he just jumps back and gets that free hit on you. I'm gone. Take that. Take gotcha. that. You want me to take that? Okay. Well, I did. You're supposed to avoid that. <laughs> Told you not to get in my way. I'm gone. Take that. Gotcha. I didn't want to use that. Here we go. Take oh, that. Oh, oh. Gotcha. Here we go. <laughs> Take that. Gotcha. Take that. He has so few Here openings. I'm doing this wrong. Here we go. If he has that, such a small opening. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. Take that. Whoa. Here we go. Okay, he blocks the fire gotcha. too. That's what I wanted to test. Do the down thrust. <laughs> Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. That makes a cool sound. Here we go. What games have cool sound effects? Hey. What games have you played that have cool sound effects? Take that. Gotcha. I feel like that's underrated by a lot of uh, people. Uh, okay. Not to get in my way. Haggle? I've I've never played that. What is that? 
Gran Turismo? Yeah. Those do have pretty good sound effects. The, the vast gotcha. amount of different like engine noises alone. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. No chance. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. Take that. Here we go. What? It's on the frickin' wind. No chance. Take that. Gotcha. Alright, I wanna do the next go. attempt. <clears throat> Told you not to get in my way. <clears throat> Cute pachinko ask pop cap game with many clones. Peggle. It sounds familiar, but I don't yeah, I don't think I've seen it. I don't think I've ever seen it. Dark Souls and most FromSoft games really know how to use ambient sound effect. Dude, uh, ambient, I think, is my favorite kind of sound in a game. When it has it and it's done well. <clears throat> it just, like, I think there are few fewer things that can really, like, make me feel immersed in a game world and, like, good ambient audio. I'm gone. Take that. Gotcha. <clears throat> Take that! Gotcha! Take that! Here we go! No chance! Take that! Gotcha! Take that! Here we go! Take that! Gotcha. He keeps getting free hits on me! No check gotcha. Here we go. Take that. Wow. Here we go. Wait, I got lucky right there. <laughs> Looks like I was in it. No chance. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Take that. Here we go. Fuck. Take that. Gotcha. Take that. Here we go. Take that. Here we go. <clears throat> Told you not to get in Sound my effects way. are the most grueling part of your script projects because they're so impactful and painful if you fall short. Oh man, I can't pause those. Damn it. Yeah, he kept getting free hits on me. Every time I was hitting him, he was just getting free hits. I don't really know what you're supposed to do about that. Silent Hill sound effects nail its atmosphere. Especially that that item you have in that game that's designed to help you. Like, oh, there's enemies nearby, but it's like that scratchy white noise from the radio, and it just like adds to the anxiety and the tension. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gone. Silent Hill Take is a that. really good example gotcha. of that. Here we go. Take the that. one that stands gotcha. out to me. Here we go. <laughs> the one that comes to mind first. I'm just gonna have to play through this ad break. Take I'm just that. gonna do it. Gotcha. Is um Baldur's Gate 2. Here we go. What the fuck? I don't want to use wind. Keeps resetting. No, here we go. Here we go. Take that. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. Eat this. This. <laughs> <laughs> Told you not to get in my way. Baldur's Gate Take 2. Gotcha. Especially like the weather effects in that game. Here we go. Take that. Here we go. No chance. 
All right, next attempt. Not to get in my way. You keep realizing how many friends you're not gonna see for two weeks because Gun and Play Baldur's Gate 3 all weekend is gonna be a thing for so many people you know. You think so? Yeah. What's up, Keecha? How are you? How's it going? Uh, Take that. Fun stream. Gotcha. Frustrating game. <laughs> Take that. Gotcha. This boss is super annoying. Really fun stream, gotcha. good company. Here we go. Really annoying boss. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Take I feel that. like they probably got a lot better at go. bosses after this game. Because this doesn't feel like I'm getting better. I just have to get lucky gotcha. that he doesn't stop. You know that he doesn't keep getting free hits on me. Take that. Like that. Take that. Here we go. Take that. Gotcha. Take that. Here we go. <laughs> Take that. Gotcha. Took a shower because it's been go. too hot. Take that. Yeah, heat's gotcha. been hitting everybody, hasn't it? Oh crap. I still got some hits. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> uh, here we go. Dub, dub. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. There is a free hit. Gotcha. Here we go. Run. You keep still free hits. Take that. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, calm down. I'm not going in there. Here we go. Oh. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. <laughs> Take that. Here we go. Yikes. Take that. Here we go. Stop getting free hits. Take that. <laughs> Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Oh, I lost. God. <laughs> How are the East games? Better. The for, I like the. Other than like occasional frustrating bosses, they're really good. But I'll be damned if Ooh. I'm going to back down now. Yo, thanks, Die Freak. Sumo, Keicha, Ascorian. What's up, Ascorian? <clears throat> oh. Damn it! He's getting away. You go, you go right ahead and chase him. I'm going to go save. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. The saving's more important. Yo, thanks, Vayus. Looks like a good looking dude. He's got the look, I guess, yeah. Doo -doo. <laughs> now we got our pumping club castle music. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Oh, there it goes. Sorry. What do we got here? Please. I beg you to just spare my life. <laughs> Pathetic worm. I uh, don't know, Kicha. I don't know anything about K-pop. 
<clears throat> to think that slime like you orchestrated such inhuman atrocities against my people. But no matter. It's almost time for the final curtain. You're going to die like the disgusting pig you are. You, just stay right where you are and watch the story unfold. Oh. It'll all be over soon. Uh-oh. Stop this, Chester! I knew Please. she was going to show up. You have to stop this. No, it's a it's a artist, streamer, cosplayer, etc. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Yeah, sorry, I don't know anything about K-pop. I know what I have to do, Elena. Our parents were murdered. Our home was burned to the ground. You may not remember any of it. But I'll never forget. I do remember. I remember our father's voice piercing through the flames, telling everyone to run while he stayed and fought. I... I remember the smile on our mother's face as she died, knowing we were safe. You're a big fan of K-pop? Yeah. I've heard some of the groups from out there have gotten, like, world famous, yeah? <laughs> You? Dude, don't turn your back to that guy. He's the kind of person that could stab you. I remember everything now. It's all just as you said it was. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What monsterless route did she take to get up here? And why did she tell? <laughs> this is what I'm saying, Escorian, right? That's what's going to happen, isn't it? That's what's going to happen. Those years before we came to Redmond, the events of that horrible day, everything. Her voice actor is pretty good too. The surface I elevator. I you wouldn't have. You'd have been better off forgetting it all. But there's no need to worry. I don't intend to involve you in this. This is my struggle, not yours. I would never stain another's hands with blood. Least of all yours. Chester, I'm so sorry. Turn around, turn around. Oh, man. You hurt so much all this time, but you kept it all bottled inside to spare my feelings. <laughs> I never knew. I just never knew. But Chester, this... This is all for nothing. I don't think it's ever been possible to appease the souls of our people. What? They... They're not here anymore. After all the horrible things they've been through, I think what they really want... What they really want is just to rest in peace. Damn. <sighs> that was... That was breathy. <laughs> I know our father would want us to be happy together. I love the RPG trope happening here. The villain just standing there letting us do our, you know, our dialogue. <laughs> it is pretty good, Keecha, yeah. He wouldn't want us to take revenge. Not like this. Not at all, even. I'll never believe that vengeance would make him happy. Chester would be happy stabbing this guy. He would, yeah. And that's all I want, Chester. I, I think I Escorian's right. And our mother. Talk and you and I, too. I want us all to be happy. Talking to free action, uh-huh. Dang, broski. <clears throat> How's it going, man? How you doing? How your streams been? Your streams have started a lot later lately, so I haven't been able to hang out. But it's good to see you're still kicking ass. You may be stern, self-deprecating, and stubborn as anything. But you're the most dependable, kind, and thoughtful brother I could have ever asked for. Right, Sumo. Yeah. You were there for me when our father couldn't be. I love you, Chester. Aww. So, please. 
poor kid. Don't do this. Don't force this on yourself. Might have an extra day for it soon. Yeah? Something changing for you? Yeah, Kicha. There's uh, ten, 10, right? 10 of these? Because there's Ease Origins, which is a prequel. And then there's one through nine. I think that's it. It's a good amount. This one or Origins would be really good if you haven't played any to start with, in my opinion. But they're all self-contained stories, so you can pick any of them. You won't, like, miss anything. <clears throat> I... If you want to start with, like, nine, you totally could. He did punt us off a cliff into a volcano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, face he did. <laughs> he stabbed Dogie, right? Lemon? Yep. Well, like Zyfreak, if it was like we're talking about like Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy, who have six bajillion spin-offs. I don't know if this franchise has any spin-offs. That's why I said that. <clears throat> 10 comes out in September in Japan. Okay. Do we know what about the English release yet? You're seeing if you can get Juju into a second day of daycare most weeks soon. Oh, okay. So you and the lady would have more time to yourself to do whatever you need to do. That'd be cool. Hopefully, you know, hopefully that works out for you too. You want to play Dragon Quest first? Love that franchise. There is a spinoff or two. Okay. What was that? What spinoffs are there for this? No. What the hell have you done? I, I don't know. I never knew that much about the power of the statues to begin with. The construction of the, the clock tower, the massacre on Genis Island. I was just doing as I was told. Just following orders, huh? Told? Told by whom? You need a free day a couple times a month to catch up on housework or just get out for a few hours? <clears throat> That makes sense, man. There's ease versus trails. Oh, I have that actually. I forgot about that. <laughs> right? That's this, right? This one? This is PSP. I don't think this has a fan translation though. Yeah, I forgot about this. This is like a... It's not really like an RPG, though, is it? Isn't it something else? <laughs> that would be me. What kind of game is it? I think it's like a kind of fighting game, but I'm not entirely sure. The wizard. The fucking... I knew it! <laughs> I said it last week! <laughs> Count McGuire and Sir Stoddart. You've both done splendidly. I knew this Everything guy was too convenient. Is proceeding according to plan. <clears throat> I knew it. <laughs> Geofront has a fan translation. Do you know what kind of game it is? Maybe it's something we could look into. That chime you heard? It signals that the power of the statues has been conferred to the one true God. Oh boy. What? Spent over 10 hours in a single playthrough. That's an achievement. Well, these are weird achievements. Ease vs. Trails is a fighting game like Power Stone. Okay. <laughs> Faeus. Do we have any mods? <laughs> Are there any mods here? <laughs> Bishop, what are you talking about? I thought you were helping me exact my revenge. Is that Telson Jaff? Uh, is that a person? I don't know. Well, of course, since we were in collusion, I explained to you the secret of the clock tower. And you placed the statues in the appropriate spots, just as I instructed. See, Zelnica. Yeah, can you take care of that, Reiko? Now, their power has been drained and infused into the spirit vein that runs beneath this land. Thanks, Sinny. <laughs> The four streams shall meet deep below the rocks of Genos Island. 
We're there to reunite as one and awaken Galbalan! Good. The dark mist that's flooded the castle is merely a byproduct of this divine flow of energy. What happened? There was an auto mod two lines above your own. You just needed to hit allow on it. <laughs> Dude, just, just had to hit the button. <laughs> Still, I'd say you achieved your original intention quite admirably. Wouldn't you agree? Talson Jaff. That name's familiar if that's a name. I feel like I've seen that before. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Wasn't Galbalan destroyed a long time ago? No. Hmm. I find it highly amusing that a descendant of Genos should be so naive about the nature of Galbalan. Do, 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 do. Destroyed? Preposterous! An ancient being like that? He was simply drained of his power, cut to pieces, and forced into a wretched sleep. Sinny's been learning German? Oh, that's cool. But that all ends now. Are you still working on learning Dutch, Broski? This world will once again be under the watchful eye of a great and mighty god. Bishop, you're a man of the cloth. How can you say such blasphemous things? <laughs> oh, I cast off those outmoded beliefs long ago. Damn. I, Nicholas Garland, seek a true god with true power. Not some mythical deity invented to scare children. You've been top of global leaderboards for Dutch on the app for weeks. Is that helping? <laughs> I must say, Chester, my plan would never have succeeded so spectacularly were it not for your petty vengeance. I extend to you my deepest gratitude. Wow, Chester's been a pawn in this whole scheme. You. And he thought he was the one that was double crossing. You bastard! Damn! <laughs> I like that they increased the font size for that. <sighs> Damn it! He shielded. Oh, that's awesome, Broski. Local Pope yells, Hail Satan, while ruining everything. Film at 11. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to use this sword. Uh, okay. This sword. Ah, oh, I know that blade. Prepare to die, you filthy heretic. Yeah, Keecha, we're really close to the end. Oh, you boy. don't have the power to properly wield that sword, you fool. Bow, 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 bow. So, now it's your turn to try in vain, is it? Very well, Adol Kristen. Time to be serious with it? Good. Perhaps you can offer me a worthy challenge. Let's find out, shall we? Uh oh, is this another boss fight? I haven't saved Let's see yet. What you can do. Fuck! <laughs> really? Oh. This has got to be a scripted loss. That did half my health. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it was. I have one hit point. Scripted loss. Oh, I did save before the cutscene. You're right. Yeah, that's a scripted loss. Did you see that? You're coming with me, Chester. I think so, Keecha, yeah. There's still one duty you must fulfill. Your people sealed God away, and the children must suffer for the sins of their fathers. It did make me panic. <laughs> Of Genos, then take me, not my brother. 
do 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 <laughs> Oh, how touching. Such love between brother and sister. They're usually not that blatant. Like, it, it looked like I was doing damage to the shield. That's why I wasn't quite sure. But then when I saw how much he was doing to me. Very well. Bring her, Delarn. To learn. Adol, thank you for everything. <laughs> when you came to rescue me, I was so happy, so moved. They're just going to do it again. They're just going to be like, all right, get on with it. Say your last words. <laughs> Please, make sure Chester pulls through. <sighs> I love anime tropes. They're so goofy. Well then, gentlemen. I bid you adieu. I hope you're looking forward to God's revival as much as I am. The plot twist. Uh, oh. 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 It's happening right now. Oh, I thought it was going to show me stuff. Who's that? So Bishop Nicholas was the puppet master behind this whole ordeal. I... I just can't believe it's true. He was always such a devoted proponent of God's teachings. But the facts are the facts, and this is no time to wallow in disillusionment. Not only has Eleanor been taken, but that earthquake's brought us new monsters, the likes of which we've never seen. Galbaland's resurrection is indeed nigh. The warning signs are all here. What is that from, Smashington? I think we have that sound effect. Yeah, Alveus, that was pretty good vocal work, wasn't it? Redmond cannot survive much more of this. Dear Lord, hear my prayer. Let's not bother God just yet. Man's time is far from over. Yeah? Bearheart, what in the world are you doing here? He's got shit to do, duh. It's been a long time there. It's for many things? Oh, okay. I spoke with McGuire at the inn. He filled me in on the situation, more or less. Thought I might lend my strength to the town's defenses. That would be most appreciated. With you here, we'll be able to stand our ground for as long as it takes. I guess he's pretty strong. Is there anything you need for it, the job? It's a cool hat. Q, pre-hype music, yeah. Just for every able-bodied man to join the fray. And Father Pierre, I'd like for you to gather the women and children and make sure they're safe in the church. Understood. I'll get right on it. <laughs> it sounds like a now then adult it sounds like a like a like a late 80s action movie montage song you know like he's like he's working out so he can finally defeat his rival or whatever <laughs> Like doing one-handed push-ups and you know like running up like like stair shafts or stair you know stairwells and like office buildings <laughs> and like eating like pure protein breakfast just like it, that's totally this music if you're to set off for genos island there's that dock north of the town entrance along the road to the castle level grind montage there you go <laughs> wait are you you and Dogi came here on a small boat, correct? Oh my god, it even has the guitar solo! <laughs> Freaking Falcom, they're ridiculous. <sighs> Jesus! The island's not far offshore. You can see it from the dock and should be able to reach it easily. Arnold Schwarzenegger will walk in any moment now. <laughs> now wait 
just one second. Elena may have been kidnapped, but you can't seriously be thinking of asking Adol to... Mayor, this young man has been guided down the path of Genos himself. Ultimately, it is his choice whether or not to go. But you know as well as I do which <laughs> hey, option take. Oh, good morning. Yeah, you don't put Adol on boats, but we you mustn't know. mustn't hold him back. All we can do is give him our support. Mm -mm. Shiny toted aisle, huh? Time is precious. I'll start bolstering the town's defenses. Oh, and Adol? Chester's in the room next door. He awoke shortly after I arrived here. Good to not up. Good morning, Zordon. <laughs> I believe he has something he'd like to say to you. Before you go, you may wish to pay him a visit. Nah. Nah, we don't need to visit him. We should probably visit him. <laughs> well, okay, okay. I was looking for voice acted lines there. All right, we're going to get sad music now. You. Me. I must confess, I've made a terrible mistake. You think? I involved innocent people in my quest for vengeance. I played right into the bishop's schemes. And as a result, I helped bring about the resurrection of Galbalan. You sure did. I'm not worthy to carry this sword. That's correct. Please, take it. Okay. Blade sword! It's been handed down through generations upon generations of Genesis descendants. With it, you should be able to face the bishop on even footing. How many innocent staff and people in the castle do you think he killed with his scheme? Please, save my sister. Save Yo, nice, Raiko. Elena. GG on the shiny. You got all three? Chester lapsed really? into a deep sleep. Nice. Let's check this out. Damn. It's a lot stronger. Boo, boo. All right, let's talk to everyone in town real quick. If we can. Oh, I think they all like are hiding. I think they're hiding. Oh, that was the song. It was like, what am I hearing? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, yeah, they're all in the church. Okay. It almost feels like we've been herded here. Rounded up like animals marked for slaughter. Wow, that's uplifting. If push comes to shove, though, I will fight back. I'm fully prepared to take up arms and battle for home and family. I'm no warrior, but it's the only real choice I have. The alternative is to lie down and accept my fate, and I will not. I keep thinking of all the times I meant to ask Chester for sword training. How strangely ironic that would have been. Okay. I want to see if any of them give me stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Bob. That's a Robbie, not a Bob, right? That's, I think Slappy said that. Yep, I saved him. I saved Bob. Sister Nell's missing? Jeez, that's sus. She's in on it too, isn't she? It's me to Adol. Okay, 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 let's go. Oh my god, that song. <laughs> Those poor animals left unattended. No one to care for them. Hello, love. Ooh, 
What is he looking for? Welcome. Don't be a stranger. I bought everything. Welcome. I've got big tits. Buy that. That's the one you want? Uh-huh. Thank you. That's the one. Thank Don't be a stranger. Ba -da 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 Max HP up. Max Supposedly, HP. There's up. a way of working on Ravel without damage. Sister Nell's to learn. Energy. Ooh. Perfect quality smithing. I bet it is, actually. If only I knew the secret. Thing is, there are first off, I need more Ravel ore than the miners bring back in a month. And that's a month when the quarry's open. Plus, like I said, I was skipping when you through pound that, sorry. Ravel, you damage it. It's a soft mineral by nature, so there ain't no way around it. Uh -huh. I learned the craft from my grandfather, though, uh -huh. and he learned it from the masters on Genos Island. Okay. And from all the stories he used to tell, uh -huh. I bet the miracle workers over there knew how to do it. Probably. He's telling me I gotta find some recipe over there. What the, do you got for me? He needs the right tool. Jeez! Two more strength is 15,000 gold and 700 ravel ore. Wow. That's a couple, maybe three. Do, do, do. Come again. Come again. All right. I think that the last dungeon might take a little while. The last area, I should say. Wait, 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 wait. Gardener. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Chester gave me the sword. All right, let's go. He knows a lot about pounding. House. Guy and delicious. 